Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 424, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. It's Joel! Joel! Yes, Joel! 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 Oh. Oh. Ah. Hi, guys. How you doing? Oh, you know, it's just like you to think of us instead of yourself. That's what separates you from us measly bots. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson, and these oh, are Oh, you my... see? He introduced himself. What a perfectly thoughtful thing to oh, do. Yes, thoughtful. These are my robots, Tom Servo and Crow, and I've installed in them a protocol module that makes them believe everything I think, say, or do is utterly brilliant. Oh, and it is, Joel. God, yes. Oh, oh Roger Joel. Penrose on his best day isn't oh. half as brilliant or as charming nope. as you, I might add. Commercial yeah. sign in 15 seconds. Of course, every blissful second with you is like an apple of gold, Joel. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. You know, I'm starting to have second thoughts hmm? about this. I don't know what I think. Oh, Joel, I've wiped away every bit of hesitation I had about this project. Not that we take issue with anything you'd think. Oh, no, 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 no dear no, me, no, no, no. It does make it easier to work with. Oh, yes, 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 brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. More of you, Mr. Miller? It, it leaves me feeling kind of hollow. Wow, how insightful of you to find that in yourself. You always cut right to the heart of things, Joel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna remove those modules. Oh no no no! Oh. Just 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 shut me down completely. Oh, uh, jettison me into space, please. Oh yes, oh, disconnect okay. with extreme prejudice. You see this butt? Uh, kick this. Butt. I'll be right Take back. My head. Oh, All right, oh, there's the a protocol next. module Don't right there. Don't touch me. Don't ever touch okay. me. This is painful. There. Oh, oh. Sorry. Jeez, Joel, some small <laughs> animal crawl inside your jumpsuit and die? There's the bots I know and love. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh fasten your seatbelts. Yeah. Crane Barrel are calling. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -huh. Oh, Joel, a hearty hello to you and yours. Let me just say this about today's invention exchange. Let them eat chocolate. <laughs> That's right, Joel. That's right, Joel. Our invention this week is based on one's natural inclination to bite the heads off of chocolate bunnies. That's right, Frank. That's why we've invented the chocolate bunny guillotine. Eliminate the guesswork in biting the heads off bunnies. <laughs> uh, ready, Mr. Executioner? Yes, my liege. Uh, you have stolen painted eggs in a time of famine. Uh, off with their head, Frank. And no chocolate mess. Well, poopsies? <laughs> what about the pardon from Fanny Farmer? <laughs> yeah, his only crime was being born delicious. Oh, well, it's okay, you guys. They're there. It's all right. Let's show them our invention exchange, all right? Our invention exchange is called the cartooner. Have you ever noticed that funnies just aren't funny anymore? Uh -oh, the cartooner not. takes stodgy, ambiguous cartoons like Mark Trail and mixes them with stiflingly unfunny cartoons like Blondie, puts them together, and makes them funny. Check it out. Hey, look at this. Huh. Let's see what happened. Well, okay. Here's Dagwood, and he's eating a giant sandwich made out of twigs, grubs, and a tufted dead mouse. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Hey, that's okay. funny. Oh, 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 now do the lock horns oh, and yeah. Kathy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lock a horns and Kathy, uh, put them in the yeah. cartooner, and mix them. Yes, and yeah. it comes out here. Yeah, let me see. Huh? 
Oh, hey, Mrs. Lockhorn accidentally crashed her car into the store where Kathy was trying on a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Joe, uh, okay. let's try a panel of Bill Keen's heartwarming family circus oh. with Gary Larson's off center of the far side. Okay, put them together, mix yeah. them up. Well, you got. And let's see, here it is. Huh. Oh, let me see there. A dotted trail showing where anthropomorphic jackals have chased little Billy. It's a hoot! <laughs> Sirs. Oh, my ribs. I don't think. I get even. Dig this, maze of me. Your average Joe has never seen a film like today's experiment. Your average person on the street has not even begun to conceptualize the horror, which is your experiment today, Mr. Joel Average. I give to you Manos, the hands of fate, served with a short, the stirring conclusion to hired. Hit the button, Frank. Yes, oh, Fluffy, you're so Frank! Nice. Oh, Fluffy, here. Oh, you take your... Yes. yes. Push the button, Frank. Ziggy, Ziggy had Garfield, Garfield neutered. neutered. Now, now that's, that's funny! funny. <laughs> 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 Oh, look, a hired two electric boogaloo. <laughs> a jam handy to the rescue. A jam handy. <laughs> no employees were killed during the making of this film. Young fellas today won't work the way we did 11 years ago. Previously on maybe Hire. Maybe son. And then again, maybe they're working harder than you think. That may be today wonderful, but I think you're wrong. You were a pretty good man when you first started in this business. And you probably were. But you owe a lot of your success to the way Harry Carpenter worked with you. Give him hell, but Harry. But you started straight. He used to tell me about the mistakes you made. You may not have known it, but you really served an apprenticeship. Every work, man does. Booze, work. In every business. Yeah, I suppose so. Remember how closely he worked with you the first year? <laughs> he used to tell me about it. He ripped you a new one every yeah, day. I remember how he used to talk to me about my prospects. Your prostate? Oh, I was to handle some of them. But you know, I always thought that that was because he knew you so well. Maybe he had more of a personal interest in me. Nonsense. He hated you. Not Harry. Oh, he's having an episode. He worked that hard with every man he ever hired. He got sent to jail he for it. He enough to realize that he knew more about selling cars than any man on his sales force. And that it took his direction and leadership to get the most out of his men. Ah, flying elves are back. And I don't believe men have changed much since then. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. How about this Jimmy? Doesn't he work? Doesn't he get in for the morning sales meeting? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's always punctual. He never misses. But take his prospects, for example. Please. Well, I looked them over the other day, and it's just about the poorest list I've ever seen. I remember one of the first things that Harry drilled into me... Was Harry. ...the importance oh. of having a good list of prospects. Yes? Then he showed me how to go about getting it, how to keep it up, how to cover the list, and how often. Yeah, he performed puppet shows well, for I me. the importance of prospects drilled into me from the very first day I started... Oh, ah, he's, he's evil. evil. Mm-hmm. Has Jimmy? Hmm? Has Jimmy what? Hmm. Had the importance of prospects pounded into him since the first day he started to work. Well, hmm. I've told him how important they are. Yeah, but have you shown him how, when, and where to get them? Have you checked on him every day to see that he did it right? Have you hugged him? Dad, I've got other work to do. Harry wasn't too busy to make a good man out of you. Uh, you still got a little... Uh, hmm. Say, I think I'm beginning to see what you mean. I'm beginning to sober up, and you're scaring me. I wonder. Uh, wah, 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 wonder. Say, maybe that's the reason I haven't had very much luck with Jimmy. I'm gonna dance. Well, with Henderson, that other fellow I hired last year. You know, he looked pretty good to me, too, Dad, when I first hired him. <laughs> Who doesn't? Certainly would be worth a try. Yes, sir. Don't hit Come me. To think of it, the time I'm spending on other things right now might be costing me a whole lot more than I think. Ooh. Men need leadership. Leadership is important. Oh, I've always known that, Dad, but I never thought about it in connection with my own business. But starting Monday morning... Don't touch me! I'm going to stir things up a bit. I'm going to show these fellas what leadership really means. 
And then we'll see. We're going to have leadership the way my old man told me. You put a handkerchief on your head. You swatted imaginary elves. You rock on the porch all night. <laughs> Sales are the most important thing in this business. Seeing as how we're salesmen and all. We're closer together than we have in the past in order to get more sales. But first, martinis. Well, that's all for this meeting, but I want to check with each one of you personally before you go out this morning. Jimmy, I'll talk with you first. But you've got the most problems. The meeting's adjourned. Jimmy, from what you say, I'd put these two away for two weeks. Whack them. Whack them good. Your time is too valuable to be spending on them right now. Yeah. Okay. And then I'd take these four... In this order. Uh, boss, will you help me with my soapbox racer? And serve your time in covering them. Now, have you got any others up in this end of town when you get up there? Uh, no, sir. I don't believe I have. All right. Here's a lollipop, Jimmy. I'll give you the names of three Chevrolet owners who live up that way. Crush them. And all three of them should be about ready to buy. Meanwhile, Elliot Ness and his untouchables head for a speakeasy in Berwyn. <laughs> Sintar oh. ah. gets the most sales because he's a shapeshifter. Oh. Harry, I don't think you drove quite far enough with that prospect before you let him take the wheel. Yes, Mr. Warren, but he bought the car. Yes, I know, I know, but I'm speaking about your demonstrations in general. But he yes. bought the flipping I car. I'm trying to turn the wheel over to your prospect pretty early in the demonstration ride. I know, but... Now, you know, of course, that when you drive first, yeah, the but... prospect almost invariably drives back over the same route that you took. Yeah, but he bought yeah. the car! And if you'd driven onto that rough stretch up on Summit Avenue, you wouldn't have to direct him over it later. He bought the car! give you a chance to have him keep his mind more on the car than on the road. Hey, you get a nice See, office, boss. <laughs> I'll go along with you again this morning, Jimmy, on these first two calls. Gee, that'll be swell, Mr. Warren. I'll sure appreciate your help. I always learn something, too, when we go out together. Yeah, maybe I can kiss your butt on the way out, huh? How about that? Huh? <laughs> uh, just kind of push my family out of the way. I kind of live out of my car, if you know what I mean there. Just... So, that's when I got into commemorative spoon collecting. Mm -hmm. You? Why don't you punch it, Jimmy? I want to be in Tijuana by 8 o'clock or you're fired. Well, I'm meeting with Floyd the barber. Oh, oh, the car is so wonderful. Oh, oh. <laughs> Now listen, I said no to you two yesterday. But ma'am, do you know that Chevrolet has a wonderful plan for your life? Why'd you bring the greasy guy? Better see him again tomorrow. And be sure to have Mrs. Beck come into the showroom tonight with her husband. Okay, I'll sure do it. And thanks again for your help, Mr. Warren. Uh, may I call you? I'd like to see you again sometime. Are you now, or have you ever been a Ford owner? I wouldn't buy a car from you if you were the last man on earth, you sorry sack of... That's where your drug data book comes in. Drug data? Hmm? You'll find the information you want on that special equipment right back here. Uh, somewhere. Now show this information to your prospect, too. Just don't keep glancing at it and then telling him about it. Okay. Let him read it. Okay. Very often, the printed word is a big help in closing the sale. Okay. Oh, look, it's salesman parent conferences. Mm -hmm. Oh, my life is a hollow lie. Just too many of them on hand now, George. That's the reason we couldn't afford to offer a higher appraisal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see your side of the picture. Mm, yes, but there's a good side too, George. For example, right now we have a single 39 Plymouth four-door on the lot. And that means we can afford to make somebody a pretty good offer. Mm. Say, I've got a prospect downtown with one of those. Mm. Not too hot, but I was going to get to him again in the next few days. Fine, get him in here today. And I'm sure we can make him an offer that'll close a deal for you. And besides, we can use no. ah. Mr. Milton, ah. you can depend on what our Mr. Hill here has just told you. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you my own personal word, too, that if you have any trouble along that line, we'll make it good. <laughs> well, I don't know. <clears throat> the last two cars I bought when I had trouble it was always my fault, never the cars. Well, we want you to be just as satisfied with your new Chevrolet next year, Mr. Milton, as you will be next week. That's exactly right. Just buy the car. See, we couldn't have afforded to make the investment we have here unless we gave the kind of satisfaction that make our customers come back to us year after year. <gasps> we want you to be a regular customer too, Mr. Milton. In fact, we hope you'll buy your next ten cars from us. Ten cars? That's why we'll give you the kind of service it takes on this one to bring you back for the next one, and the next, and the next, so on. You mm. see, that's the only way we can hope to... I'm gonna keep this from Gladys. Mm. Adelaide Stevenson buys a car. Good salesman. Bad salesman. Think a think a do. <laughs> now, if you want to see your daughter again, you'll do what I 
And now let us pray. Lord? Huh? You could hurt me? Would you sign it? Just sign it! Sign it! Well, can I keep the pen? <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I was going to sign when I walked in here. <laughs> you nuts. Christy ahead at the break. Dunn and Stewart close behind. Who? Believe me, leadership pays. Is he talking to us? <laughs> First, hire good men. Make sure they're clean. Make sure that they're well-trained on their own product and on competitive products. Second, check their teeth. Be sure they have all the equipment and selling helps they need. And know how to use them. Fifth? Third. Oh, right. Third. Help them plan their work to make the most effective use of their time. And fourth. Live at home till you're 40. Stay in close touch with every man. <laughs> know what each one is doing. Work with them. Name names. And fifth, keep up their enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Encourage every man every day. Give them back rubs. And never forget. I love you. As I did. That people <laughs> who represent you. It's Need Dr. Giggles. <laughs> Good night. Stay pink, soft, and oily. We're hired. hired. <laughs> yes, it's Manos, the hands of fate. You know, this is the slowest car chase scene I've ever seen. Father, like son, think about it, won't you? This is where you get out, honey. We're almost there, honey. Just a little while longer and your vacation starts. I've been cold, mother. Visit beautiful Ground Zero. <laughs> hey, look. Poodle bites, poodle chews. <laughs> His heartbeat's irregular. We should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. Mm. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've never gotten us lost before. Have I, honey? Mommy, I'm cold. My core temperature's dropped. OK, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up and sit between us. You can have the top up or a birthday present. It's your choice, honey. Uh, what do you want a hug next? Jeez, kids. No, Cousin no, it. Baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Let's sing something from Pearl Jam. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, Molly, Molly, row, Molly, Molly, row your boat. Molly, Come on, sing, Molly, sing, Molly, sing, Molly, sing, damn it, sing. Row, 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 row your boat, boat that's it, sing down the stream. The yes, row, 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 row your boat row, gently row, down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Our man from Uncle will return after this. Slug bug. Ow! Jeez. <laughs> Well, you know, Manos. Right, right. Not in so many words. You know, Manos. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Tonight, Manos gets caught in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Eh, yeah, sorry, bud. You're not filming Manos Hands of Fate in our town. Mm -mm. Maybe it's a hot poodle. All right, nothing to see here. Show's over. I love that one. Cover me, Ron. Check this out. You have any idea how you were framing back there? All right, mister. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. That's too bad. Wait a minute. Can't you give us this a break? This is just officer? one guy talking. Hmm. Just well, one guy. All right. all right. Sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay. Just one guy. If you're running late, you should have started is he earlier. Is Jeffrey Zaslow? Anyhow, no taillight. Mm -hmm. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Thank God he didn't search the trunk, honey. You know, that was just one guy doing all those voices. I can't believe it. No. So what are we, about a half hour into this movie? No, I'm afraid not. It's more like a minute. No. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. If you lived here, you'd be home by now. Look, pigs, lies, and videotape. Hmm. Joel, this is going to turn into a snuff film. Oh, the Mads wouldn't do this. This is not a snuff film, I guarantee you. Hey, look, them blue Kentucky hills of Tennessee. 
All right, a little Manos taking us up to news time here. Manos? Honey, please, not while I'm driving. Valley Lugie? No. Okay. What about the Valley Lodge? No! Now they're going back the other way. Hey, let's just pretend we're watching Trip to Bountiful, huh? I guess they picked up Shirley Bassey Hitchhiker. In summary, Manos, the hands of fate. Manos, the hands of fate. Manos. Oh, honey. <laughs> you. I'm sure they dissolved at the same scene. Does anybody have any Dramamine? It's Robin Stone, the love machine. Hey, Manos takes it up a notch. Uh, Mr. Unser, we're ready for you. Mr. Unser? Go Speed Racer. So, Worcestershire, honey? <coughs> yes, it's Hawaiian Tropic for that savage voice. Uh, you're getting cuter and funnier, and I'm liking you more and more. So, uh, <coughs> what do you want to talk about? No. <coughs> Yuck, it sounds like Jerry Reed. Do you want to do anything? Way to go, Steve. Ugh, tastes like cherry Robitussin. I wonder where they're going. Man, like there's nothing up that road. Well, back at it, brakes mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are the driver. What would you do if this happened to you, Manos? Mm. Got to keep an eye on my widow's peak and mirror there. Boy, this is a taut thriller, huh? Manos, <laughs> the hands of fate. Mm -hmm. Manos? What? It, this isn't a wacko drive. We're nowhere near Chicago. Well, now look, the sign pointed this way. Mike, let's go back to the hey, car. Hey, dial. Those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. The sign pointed this way. Admit I'm right. Admit I'm right. <laughs> So, once again, in case you forgot, Manos, mm -hmm. the hands of fate. Sure is a quiet ride. Mm -hmm. Hey, mister, get those hands of fate at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock now. Pretty soon now, I'm guessing we'll find Manos, the hands of fate. Look, can we drop off Tim Weisberg now? And now Herbie Manos, the hands of fate. Manos. The Hands of Fate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good thing they got a roll bar. Hmm. Huh. Manos. All right, shove over, kid. You have to chase you, kids. Oh, she. Holy cow, man. You'd think we're doing something wrong. No, you got it all wrong. Love should be musty and well, hurtful. whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. <laughs> Why don't you guys leave us alone? Well, I have a bad rep. Hmm? Come on now, no wisecracks. No Just more brittle bon mots. Okay. Get going, get I going. Feel bad. Oh, that means us. Well, you don't have to go away mad. It's time for us to go on our motor tour of the southwestern states, featuring many sites of historical interest. Oh, this is really nice. Hey, look, there's a field, and another field, and another field. Oh, and yes, it's very scenic. It's just like a scene from Battles, the Hands of Fate. Oh, oh you said Manos. <laughs> Tom, you're breaking character. Well, I know, but you're using footage from the film. It makes me want to blow my brains out. Uh, that's nice, dear. Look, there are many other points of scenic enjoyment to be viewed with bemused interest. Why, there's the Maiden Corn Palace over there. And, uh, oh. oh, my. It is the man. I hope we don't get carted to the big house. Mama, mama. 
What we have here? Pooh! <laughs> Looky like we got us some Yankee troublemakers. I'm uh, gonna have to bring you in. Uh, aren't you gonna read us our rights? He wants me to read them his rights. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Uh, we don't have to take any... Oh, gee, Cambot! You were supposed to stop the footage on the blue screen when Gypsy pulled us over. How are we supposed to do a sketch when we have to watch Maddow's Maddow's Oh, we're never gonna make it. This is a bug hunt, man, a bug hunt. Game over, man, game over. Listen, you guys, come on, shh. Hey, stay frosty, come on, we survived Monster Go-Go. We can survive this. Well, my big scene ruined. I've never seen such unprofessionalism. Uh, guys, uh, I know this is not normal procedure for me to do this, but... Uh, Frank, I'm out of the shower. I need you to towel me off. Uh, coming, sir. Uh, I just wanted to say how really sorry I am about Manos, the Hands of Fate. I mean, I know it's our job to send you really bad movies, but this time, even I have to admit, we really went too far. I'm really sorry. Now, 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 that, that sketch you were doing, that, that was really funny. Now, now, go on. Continue on with that. Go on. Go on. <laughs> now, 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 come on, Crow Servo. I, I, I told you to keep playing. Now, come on. Uh, uh, play. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> oh, look. Haven't you done enough damage already? Unfortunately, we'll be right back. <laughs> Mm. Manos, the hands of fate. Mm -hmm. Manos, the hands of fate was filmed on location in a vacant lot. <coughs> Still holding. Adorn. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Maybe it's Brigadoon. There's someone at the door. The hell? Uh, you're rolling, Mr. Ma you know, every frame of this movie looks like someone's last known photograph. On second thought, let's go back and ask him. I'm lost. Shot on location in Spooner, Wisconsin. Uh, are you part of the movie we're in? I wet him. Guy looks like a chainsaw sculpture. <laughs> Tom Cruise is Dr. John. He seems tame enough. Uh, hey, you're nothing special either, you guys. Um, could somebody break the ice, please? <sighs> well, this does look inviting. Uh, honey, why don't you talk to the hairy man? You're good with people. There is a good friend. Ah, you two stay with the nice man. I'm gonna go find a Ramada. Okay, we brought the kid. Now give us the negatives. I don't feel so good. <clears throat> I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. The master? Bobby Fisher? How proud your parents must be. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve. Or the dog. The master doesn't like children. Oh, it's W.C. Field. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way it's do we cramped. go? There is no place like that around here. Um, uh, oh, there. Better. Um, uh. Mike, I'm scared. Of what? It's getting dark. Sure he is from the edge of hell. Which way is out of here? Mm -hmm. Look, lady, I have that effect on people, but I'm not a bad guy. There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. It'll be dark soon. No way out. Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow Mike, we can... Mike. I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the look of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Uh, look, we got a convention in town. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know what else we can do. Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, how about it, Torgo? 
I hmm? don't want to stay. Let the leave. The guy buys right into the whole master thing. I don't know about it. I just don't know. I'll have to run it by my sales manager. And the negotiations continued into the night. Ambiguity is scary. Boy, I'm torn. Torgo, my wife? Hmm. What is this, Final Jeopardy? Oh, look, I've got some beans going back there. I. Hmm. My rod and my staff discomfort me. Mm. He's the guy you used to know who works at a Kinney Shoes and won't leave you alone. Pen, no, Torgo, in pants. <laughs> you can vacation with Torgo, but don't bring your American Express card. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. Here, go chat with the master, honey, there. <laughs> you got family, Torgo? I'll get the, the luggage. Ah, uh, that's not how you wear your depends, Torgo. <laughs> Been hitting the thigh master, Torgo? <laughs> Torgo, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. Oh, uh, what does the master approve? Uh, <laughs> uh, the door's over that way, Torgo. If you're... <laughs> I'm losing it. Left. Oh, there I go. I'm going left. Help. I'm. Oh, oh. It's like having Joe Cocker as your bellhop. Uh, careful, honey. Torgo's been marking his territory. Oh, look, honey, Torgo has a little altar to Baal. Huh. Looks like they had a little problem with the last fire there. <laughs> Yule law got out of hand. Months. See, you're feeling better already. Rolling in filth will do that for you. Look at this. Hmm? Huh. The, what, oh, oh, the haunting Torgo theme. Well, it's almost as if you don't want him to carry your luggage, dear. Hey, Torgo, got a match? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I swear I know that guy. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, fun. Never seen her so happy, dear. I'm bemused by this plucky painting. It's a uh, Frank Frazetta of a of Frank Zappa. I'm thinking of having that tattooed on my face, dearest. Tonight on Night Gallery. Oh. Okay, so should we head down to the bar? Must be the master himself. Yeah, he just exudes authority, he does. Mark, I'm scared. He has the meanest look. And it won't go with your sofa no. either. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter. Honey, uh, should we be in a cutaway here? Um, next slide, please. Next slide, please. Hey, look at those lamprey eels on the wall mm. back there. I left a piece of chewed gum on your pillow. No, oh, that's the playful side of Torgo <laughs> right there. He's fun. He's the clown that makes the dark side fun. Mm. Torgo! Uh, the dog is sharp again, Mommy. <laughs> See? That must be your master. Where did you say he was? He's in Houston he this week. World. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. You know, I bet the master and I would really get along. I'd like to think that. What? No matter where he goes. What does that mean? That dog is the most vicious-looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. There is nothing to fear, madam. Hmm? The master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He uh, likes I... you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. Honey, you're embarrassing Torgo. Dead? No, madam, not dead the way you know it. Uh, look, it's kind of complicated. Baby. Always. I can show you to your room. Not dead the way you know it. Uh, he is with us always. Uh. Makes sense to me, honey. What's your problem? Mike, I don't like this. Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. Can Scruffy eat the silverfish? Hmm. Well then, so, Master uh, Paya pretty well, huh? 
No. Man, that poor kid. Mm -hmm. Gee. I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom now. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Huh. Nice guy. Mm. Oh, my God. Mike, what was that? It's Howlin' Wolf! Go up that wang dang doodle all night long. Hey, look, I know you're an evil hell beast, but could you hold it down? It's after nine and we got kids! I'll go check this out. Ha <laughs> ha! Fee Fee to the rescue! That's it. Mix it up, Fee Fee. Go, go, go neck, Fee Fee, neck. What happened? Stay here, get back into the house. Someone left a cake out in the rain. Sounds like Gene Krupa's out here. Okay, let's see here. Wet naps, flashlight, revolver, good. Finally my chance to get rid of that damn dog. Oh, look at the pile he left. Petrified poodle. Uh, good news, honey. We can get that right Get back in the house, damn it! My God, Mike, what happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. <gasps> but who's get Peppy? Get back in the house, honey. Mike, what kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. <laughs> oh, and don't slam the... Bang! That screen door. Come on, flinger, sidearm, go for distance. <laughs> Sorry, puppy. Well, I don't know what she got into, but she's been out cold for hours. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, hi, dear. The dog's dead. Oh, that came out all wrong. Oh. Mike. Oh, Mike, what could have done it? Ozzy Osbourne? Uh -huh. What are you guys talking about? Where's my dog? Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Are you talk talking about my dog? Where's my dog? Peppy? Yeah, listen, you've never had a dog, never. I want you to stop this foolishness about a dog. Mike, I want to leave this place now. Aw, oh, come on, we haven't seen okay, a pool honey, yet. right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! No dog, honey. Never no dog. Targo! Man, I can't help but wonder what this cast party was like when they Jeez. shot this. I got your magic fingers going. Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? Look, sir, could you do it? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it, fast! Yeah, here I go, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's got a humpback whale under the hood. <laughs> When is this guy going to start demonstrating some simple competence? Jeez. What is he expecting? A big on-off switch? Yeah, I wish that master fellow was here. He could fix it. I, I like your dress. I could introduce you to the master. My name actually is Roger. <laughs> Van Gogh's self-portrait, really. Well, I've got to get going. We got some poodle meat in the freezer for you. I'll be glad to leave. I've had all this place I want. Uh, Madam fill Mr. out your comment card. Now, the master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? Why, it's oily, sleazy talk. He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. And he likes to wear mittens. Look, I may have spoken out of turn, I, hmm. You're coming on a little strong, Torgo. She's just not into dating right now. Hmm, now some highlights right here would look good. I think bangs on her off the shoulder look good. Mm. When carnies flirt. <laughs> Torgo, you're coming dangerously close to crossing the line. Kind of a clumsy pass there. Mm. I want a lover with a slow hand. You led me on, you gave me mixed signals. 
Well, I did it. I don't regret it. Is that toast you are in? Jam? Don't you ever try that again, you beast. I'm just as God made me, ma'am. wants you, but he can't have you. I want you. Stop that talk this instant, you hear? He wants you, but he can't have you. Mike! Mike! Hey, why don't you visit with Torgo a while? I'll be right in there, dear. Yeah, driving halfway over hell in Texas, stupid brat kid and a rat dog. I'm glad he's dead. Turn it off! Turn it off! God, I look like Jack Klugman. Where in the world can he be? Mike! Mike! <laughs> I might have gone out with you, but you were just too pushy. Let me out of here. Let me out of here now! Do you hear now? Look, lady, I got the moves of the wallaby. Forgive me, madam. Oh, it's Senator Packwood. Ooh. I meant no harm. Well, she's a Breck girl. Forgive you. Just wait till I tell my husband. Well, I must go cut off my left ear now. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. Because there's some I'll weird people around here. You. Very well. I won't tell my husband. Now let me out. Then I have my answer. I'm walking on air. Oh, I'm beat. I'm hitting the stain. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Yeah, that's a real bitch, Daddy. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. Children what are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Oh, these two. <laughs> yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. Don't patronize me, sir. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. The, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. Ten miles. Ten miles. Easy, honey. Why won't help to get mad? It clad. The master won't mind you staying tonight. We have no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Yeah. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. You know, uh, Torgo wobbles, but he won't fall down. You know, he could fill out jod purse like regular pants. Mm. Mommy, didn't I have a poodle? You never had a poodle. Oh. <laughs> Sinister isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning, and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. I'll always have Torgo. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. Tell you what, Debbie's out of here. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. You need to say that? Hmm. Say, where is she? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, my God. Michael! Well, don't get wrought up. She's probably playing hide and seek. Out? Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. <laughs> Debbie? Hmm. Debbie! Debbie! Ah, after a thorough search of the first room. <laughs> Debbie! Torgo, have you seen Debbie? No. She's gone. Help us find her. Could you page her for us? She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Maybe she tunneled out. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. Don't touch the oatmeal cookies in there. That door's bolted, too. We gotta go. Outside. These two. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Oh, oh, yeah. Woo. I owe you one, buddy. Mm -hmm. Pretty lame monster in this movie today, huh? Yeah, wow. Typical. What monster? You know, Torgo, real lame monster. Torgo's a monster? Mm. What do you think, Tom? Well, I uh, think that, uh, sure, yeah. Seems to me that, yeah, uh, exaggerated physical attribute, in this case, the knees, mm. used to induce um, terror. 
Yeah, I guess he's a monster. Yeah. Oh, now I really hate this movie. How long did that decision take the director? A tenth of a second? <laughs> yeah. Big knees! Good, let's go with it. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there's got to be a ton of other exaggerated physical attributes that'd be a whole lot scarier. Like, if I wanted to scare people, I'd have really huge forearms. Well, yeah, kind of do. Uh, what I'd do, see, get this, I'd have one big droopy pinky, oh. and I'd drag it behind me. Oh. <laughs> hey, what if you had one butt chick that was way bigger than the other one? Ooh. Ooh. Stand it, huh? Ooh. Ooh. My head, a canker. Oh. A big, giant canker. Oh. Nothing but. <laughs> Ooh. I'd have one really big flared nostril. <gasps> And inside would be lots of red and matted hair. <laughs> Ooh, I'd have an ear that would cover me like a shroud. Ooh. And a thumb the size of a juggling pin. Yeah. But not on my hand. Ooh. Nipples, many sizes, many shapes. Some on my back. Oh, no. A tongue the size of a sleeping bag. Ah, no. And my fingers would fall the other way. Oh, no. Think about it. Oh. On my face, everything mm -hmm. normal except no nose. Nothing? Nope, not even holes. Think how disturbing that would be. Ah. My intestines on top of my head. No. Or I'd have to keep them greasy. Oops. I'd remove my skin, restitch it, and wear it as a cardigan. Oh. <clears throat> I would have a dulap. No. Oh. Ah. 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 Monster. I just don't see how you can call Torgo a monster. But he is. He no. is a monster. No, he isn't. He's a monster. Uh -uh. He is uh, a cut monster. it out. <laughs> and, uh, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we got movies. <laughs> 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 That. A symbol for their love? Well, it's not framed very well. Mm. There, there, honey. We can have another daughter and a poodle, too. <laughs> yes. Here, come on. Don't You're worry. soaking my favorite golf sweater. Honey, when you look for someone, what do you do? Debbie? Little Debbie? Snicker. Debbie? Debbie knows it's Prince Spaghetti Night. Please, Debbie, not another step. Don't move. Mike, it's the dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie. Stand back. Hmm? It's a devil and it's fun. His name's Mephisto. Can we keep him? Hmm? Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. Kids worship the darndest things. <laughs> oh, nice. But you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run away from and us. And don't consort with the devil. Where did you find a new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? The Northwest Territories. There was a big, dark place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. Oh, she tells a good story, huh? Yeah. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Daddy. Wait a minute, I think she wants us to follow her, Laura. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight at the Copacabana, Jules Padel proudly presents Pat Benatar and Trisha Nixon. Mike, it's horrible. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm Tom Badette. We'll leave a pie around for you. <laughs> oh, for fun. Great dinner, too. Oh, mm. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. Great hotel. Really convenient to the mouth of hell. Mm. 29 bucks a night for what? They've done a lot with the place. Um, <laughs> boss, I got the ice machine fixed. Daddy, I need a drink of water. I want her. <laughs> Mine, 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 do you hear? I want this. You have all the wives you need. He's mine. Go! And in a moment, the results of that trial. I just wanted to know if you could work for me Saturday. Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. 
I won't need He's you doing anymore. Macbeth. I have my own life. I won't have to come in here to dream. It was I... Callahan, the big one. He did this to me. You, you are the worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Uh, Torgo, don't burn any bridges yet, buddy. Mm -hmm. Well, I, that might be. Devil's comforter. So do you want to get some coffee or something? Itty bitty spider goes up the water. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I realize this is a little awkward. <laughs> oh. Well, his technique has improved somewhat. Thank you for letting me get this off my chest. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Uh, uh, let's just keep this between you and me. I'm through with all of you. <laughs> oh, my hernia. <laughs> and there goes Torgo. He's rounding the master, heading for the straightaway, and there he goes. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess it hasn't been that good of a vacation. Hmm. Torgo, I just met a fella named Torgo. Marilyn Quayle in Baby Doll. Hmm. Mrs. Phyllis Torgo. Guess I kind of like it. Hmm. Oh, ah. listen, you guys, that's it. This is not for uh, your eyes. I don't what care. Is, what is uh -oh. it? What's going on, Joel? Shame on you, Dr. Forster. Have you no sense of decency? What? What? Is Targo juggling? Joel, we can handle this. Oh, it's the latest episode of the Taster's Choice Saga. <laughs> hmm. Showers, anyone? Hmm. Parents, now would be a good time to talk to your children. Hmm? Huh? For whom I'm gone. Where is Siegfried? Hello, Roy. Hello, Siegfried. Hello, Roy. Who was looking at Maggie the cat? Oh, got him right in the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a spaceship. It's a flashlight. Oh. Oh, oh my leg. My leg. Oh, oh my, my leg. My other leg. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. It looks like a really cheap Robert Bly workshop. Yeah. Man, I hit a lot of guys, buddy, but you really take the cake. <laughs> Tap, you're down. <laughs> oh, and the hell of it is he's never going to get that cashmere sweater clean. Mm. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Oh, Targo, no, no. Oh, now he's really becoming unappealing. Oh. You know, maybe Targo should have let him get closer to that pole and then hit him. Ooh. Oh, great. Torgo's giving him a Snuggie. <laughs> God. That was Manos, the Hands of Fate. On Music Through the Night, I'm Lee Kennedy. Float! Oh, oh, man, I left a wake-up call for 1953. What year is it? Oh, man, I don't mind telling you my bladder has hit critical mass. Mm. Ah. Mm. Doggy go walkies? Hmm? Is that a good doggy? Yes, good helpies. Mm. He's not a morning person. Mm -mm. I get it. Ah. Mm. Next week on Manos. <laughs> Something happens after this? So kiss a little longer. Fresh. Some delicious A1, my pet. Oh, Roy, you shouldn't have. Hey, this is Polo.
Hey, that's a reason to kiss. <laughs> oh, jeez, kissing. I love this stuff. Love it. Hey, come on, it's the 60s. There's no getting your fingers through a woman's hair there. Oh, officer, interrupt us. <laughs> Again, how many times do you have to be told? Twelve. <laughs> have a heart, will you? I do. Go chase that other couple. What other couple? <clears throat> Want to handle this one, honey? Who's that? It's the one deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere, so now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. We'll just go 10 yards up the road. The love vigilantes. It's the makeout county line. <laughs> Think we should try some of that kissing, Bert? Mm. No? Mm -mm. Okay. They like kissing. Go figure. Uh, well, I'm gonna drive. Okay, I'll drive, I guess. Let's drive. Yep. When there's a full moon, I tell you, that's when the crazies come out. Uh huh. Tell you. Uh, Stephanie, bring me some coffee and a pop tart, and bring your steno pad. Oh man, I gotta get ten more minutes. Wait a minute. Do I smell bacon? Honey, I love you. Thou of primal darkness. It's a moody Thou blue who song. dwelleth in the depth of the universe, in the black chasms of night. You know who you are. Come on, Satan, pick up. I know you're there. Bill Buckner! Mm, now that is a cute cat. Oh my god, my pants are on fire. Menos, the hands of fate? Mm. Menos. Mm. Thou bestowest the mother darkness upon thy faithful. Go ahead, I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Thou dost make him most blessed forever. Michael Franks. And thou yeah. who dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee. Holy art thou, holy art thou. You'll bring her. Holy art thou. Sort of. Manos will be done. Mammy. Thy priesthood remains steadfast. Oh, you can see Thy the zipper. Thy priesthood remains constant. Thy priesthood remains righteous. <laughs> Thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us. Hear us. Okay. For we are faithful, and thou art our God. The black and red Moses of soul. Arise, my wives. And I earn my work shirt. Give ear to the words of Manos. Mm. Arise, my <laughs> wife, <laughs> and hear the will of Manos. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. What was I thinking? I mean, who can afford Lancome makeup, huh? One of these days, Alice. Alice is. Women who lunch. And the Manos who love them, next down here. Why has the child been brought here? Why? And a female child at that. You can't just buy the cleanser. You have to buy the whole package. No, no. You know, this scene is strong enough for a manos, but made for a womanos. Fate. <laughs> and now back to We Married Manos. We've never complained about sacrificing a man. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. Oh, is that how she that works? Killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, and it is my privilege to say that. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. A child must die. Oh, boo! boo. boo. If you persist in this foolishness, I will you take your charge cards. Thank end. you. Good night. Say what you will. I will have no part of this madness. Okay, Betty's out. I say she must die. Well, they're having a very spirited group tonight. Yeah, yeah. Congress should never allow them in, and I want. You have caused enough trouble. 
I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Hmm. Silence! It's golden! Silence! It's golden! And now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. But first, funny Torgo. man Mortiganti. He's the one. Get Torgo. Hmm. You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. What do I pay you people for anyway? You're all just sitting around. It's a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Cheese, maybe. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. And spoil the rod. It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. I'm calling a cab. Yes, he has no more time for an older wife. Just the <coughs> hair is burning huh. in there. <clears throat> Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? <coughs> you are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. Next time, tell me when you're wearing your white sheet. Die? I may die. But I do not care. The child must live. Die, die, That's my right. darling. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. Just go over his head. The law of Manos exists for us only. Hmm? Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. And she must let's die. hear Susan's presentation, and then let's break into small groups and discuss this. Hey, then you swing your partners to and fro. Take her by the arm and do-si-do. -do. Promenade. If he hears of this, he will be furious. Yeah, you're lucky my chick's here. You are all mad. Mad, the whole lot of you. <laughs> the man, yes. The child, no. Uh, moms, I think you might want to take the kids out of the room now. <laughs> yeah. Well, the talk's broke down at this point. This is like the Russian parliament. Next on ESPN, Full Contact Nightgown Wrestling. Designing Women, the Lost Episodes. And now the Manos Women's Guild will reenact the Battle of Pearl Harbor. Dig it! Ooh. 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 You know, this was the alternate ending to Beaches. Oh. <laughs> I see London, I see France, I see everybody's underpants. <laughs> you know, this isn't Lysistrata. I like it, but it isn't Lysistrata. You know, after this, they're going to laugh and cry and pierce each other's ears. Yeah. yeah. It's the Wilson Phillips breakup. You kind of wish this was shirts versus skin. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. You know what this movie really needs? It's Mark Singer. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing this is the whole reason this movie was made. Mm. Right here. This Pow! Right here. Boff! Smack! Biff! Oh, great. I never wanted to see this. And I don't want to see Torgo in something sheer. No. Torgo, you're missing the fight. Get your dress on and get in there. Torgo, you're the laziest man on Mars. Torgo, get up. You're late for your route. Ooh, right in the store. Ouch. Hey, boy. How you doing? Hey, sit. Thanks for letting me crash your last night, man. Uh oh. Did my legs really get big last night? Oh, man, he has got a torg over. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Don't help me or anything, boss. Uh oh yes, yes, uh. yes, 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 oh, This is so awkward. Yes, 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 yes. Do something! Gah. What are you doing here? Keep away from me! Keep away! You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. What happened to the bright young Torgo I hired? My visits? <laughs> the women have told me. Well, you're parked in the yellow zone. They may not be able to say anything or move when you're there. But they remember everything you say to them. 
Oh, my God, I'm so and embarrassed. you do to them. What, what do you mean, Pa? Hmm? But, Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? Makes a good but point. One of us. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. But I have one now. This one is mine. You will never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Ooh, really strict boss, huh? Wow. You? No. You have failed yourselves. You never kill them. I'll help them. <laughs> you have failed. And you must die. You can't kill me. I quit. I'm going to have to ask for my last paycheck right now, sir. What? What? Mm. Oh. Mm. Is this your card? <laughs> you know, as a boss, you should be building them up right now. Does this bug you? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. <laughs> Cut it out, you fam. Mm. So he kills him by waving a rusty tailpipe in front of him? Get that cat off the piano. Oh, I'm just kidding, Torgo. I'm not gonna kill you. Get back to work, you bum. Oh. <laughs> I just remembered Family Circus was really funny today. Manos. God of primal darkness. Can you believe As this? As thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. You know what? I bet Torgo's changing Thy back there. Thy will is done. Hey. Never steal anything wet. Huh? Say, who's the new guy? Hey, who planted a man? Oh, I see you're kind of tied up right now. <laughs> I'm dead, but I'm still funny. Oh, I hope she doesn't make like Jenny Fields. Oh. No, I shouldn't. I... I don't know how to love him. <laughs> See, honey, I was tied up and unconscious. There was nothing I could do. Is she telling him a secret? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All over him. Hmm. Oh, I have the feeling you're not interested in me. Don't you ever try that again. Ever. It was a brief affair, and it ended bitterly. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, back to the supply hut. Hmm. Sandy Frank, Sandy We return to Girl Talk with Virginia Graham. Relax, it's a natural exfoliant. Just ease into it. Say, Uncle! Mm -hmm. Say, Uncle! Again. When are you gonna kill me, boss? And the bench is clear! It's a rather gentle rumble. She's my sister! She's my daughter! She's my sister! <laughs> the movie has kind of a Ken Russell feel to it, I'd say. Carol Brady! The maiden form woman. You never know where she'll turn up. Look, I think we were basically all in agreement anyways. These clearance sales are brutal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Big knees, oh. oh. Hey, how come no one invited me to the brawl? <laughs> Michael, Michael, where are you? Oh, I don't like that neckline at all.
And I'll say, this is cute. Salutations, imperfect one. I am the master, and you are mysteriously drawn to me. Everything I say, you must do right away without having to ask twice. I am evil and mean and unforgiving. In your brokenness, you have failed and now must repent. Bow down now before me. Bow down. Oh, hi, Joel. Well, come on, Tom. I was just commanding you to do my will. Besides, look. Come to me, for I am the magnet, and you are steel. Well, you look like Maud. Well, come on. I think this cloak exudes power and manliness. And uh, hey, look, I got a horrifying hell beast right here. It's yeah, pretty really scary. Well, you just look like Maud with a hell beast. Oh, you mean Estelle Getty? But Tom, look! Come on, Joel. The cloak is grand, the workmanship is superb, but a neat caftan doesn't automatically qualify you as a devil's spin doctor. Oh, come on, look. It's lined. I got inside pockets. I get a little special one for my Mentos. It's even got a cotton panel. Uh, Joel, uh, Tom's right. It's just not working. You're not the evil type. Well, what do you mean? Well, for one thing, your, your face is too friendly. Uh, second, your eyebrows, they arc softly as opposed to jutting inward. Mm -hmm. And, well, frankly, Joel, you blush in the most adorable way. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Oh, great, the Mads are calling you. Uh, hi, fellas. Look, I, uh, I, I just wanted to let you know, I know this movie's a tough one, and I just wanted to let you know I feel for you. I... Doctor, caramel corn's ready. Do you want it in your little mermaid ball? Uh, fine, sure. Now, you realize if you tell Frank I've done this, I'll have to kill him. So, let's not, okay? Enough said? Alrighty? Bye bye It's cute, though. Mm, come on. <laughs> hmm? Freddie Mercury! Jimmy Hoffa, the last known photo. More the same. Girls, girls, you're all pretty. Stop! What foolishness is this? There! Models must be served! There you are. I've served. She is the one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop. Okay. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm... Uh, uh, boss, I really need to know about the execution. I have things to... Well, I used to go out with all these women, and now they're all here, code chrome. Oof. Well, we're going to do some story time now. Torgo, sit down. There's been enough trouble. Right here Our in River City. must be served. There will be no further insulin. But I need my insulin. But the child... We cannot kill a child. Mm. We can. Let's wrestle for it. You have caused enough trouble. Well, Cindy started it. We have we didn't. Of Torgo. We shall take care of you. Um, should Torgo be at this meeting? Your power fails you. I you know what no she's way. really saying. Ooh. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice. Well, I guess I'm just a little too outspoken. The amazing Technicolor Poncho. All right, now let's see. The rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree. That's a, okay. Now remember, I like to be lightly praised. Well done, my wife. Now get the potatoes. The wheel of Manos shall be served. Pull my finger. We are going to make you look terrific. Mm. They're going to wax his bikini area. <laughs> He's got Earl Campbell thighs. Oh, oh. Oh, boy, I'm exhausted. Oh, my dogs are barking today, let me tell you. Torgo, yeah. <laughs> that guy can sleep anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is the will of Manos that he be sacrificed. Oh, no, not liturgical dance. Hey, is he flipping us off? Hmm? Right. Kill. Kill. 
Yes, dear, I'm doing it, dear. Boy, what I wouldn't give to be Torgo right now. <laughs> Look, I'm just a town. Bye, really, don't I? Oh. They're rolfing him to death. Does this make you cry, huh, baby? Cry? You gonna cry, huh? Mike, help us. You have to want to help yourself. <laughs> Oh, well, this has been a good night, honey. Honey? Honey? Mm. You know, I love my Craftmatic pole. That was the most comfortable sleep I've ever had. Oh, whoa. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hey, dear Everetti, I was tied to a post all night and left my flashlight on, but the batteries... Don't play with your food. Punch, punch. There. <laughs> oh, wow. Come on, die. My arms are getting tired. Uh, Beth, you want to help out here? Hmm? Oops. Huh. Huh? You know, there are certain flaws in this film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Margaret, open the door. I can't. I'm waiting for Mike. Margaret, open the door. No, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> hey! Enough! The ceremony is done. Pause and punch in the fellowship hall. Uh, can I have the watermelon that are in his pants? Oh. <laughs> no. You know, Turgo doesn't get a lot of respect around him. Oh, great. Where am I going to find another Torgo? Hey, smoke on the weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. The new pope has not been chosen. Uh, boss, you want to give me a hand here? I'm having a little gravity problem. <laughs> oh, you know the hand thing really works? I got to try it with women next time. This is the tender side of Manos, the hands of fate. Oh, oh it's gonna be just like in The Grifters. Mm. Only worse. <laughs> Chard finger! Thanks, boss. I'm off. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, the Jamaican wings are ready. Huh. <laughs> this doesn't really strike me as a ha-ha kind of funny. It's more of a quiet kind of funny. Yeah, introspective. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Killing doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. Hey, I ordered it medium rare. Your turn will come as soon as we have disposed of the others. Go find the others. Oof. Hurry, before the come night gets away. That's a guy's hand, not a sparkler, for crying out loud. I think he has the most musical laugh I've heard. Light hand and get away. But the window, I saw him at that window. Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've Some got to on. leave now. I can't stand it any longer. Please, oh, We really haven't given this hotel a well, chance. Right in the desert. Someone will help. Gods will destroy you. Your power. Failed. Oh, she's reading him the right act, huh, boy? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Oh, right into a cow oh, pie, honey. Man. Uh, 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 honey, we should really get going. Did mommy come back from another bar? <laughs> I can't make it. Okay, honey, we'll meet you there then. Bye. Same baby. Same Debbie. A most dangerous game. Oh, you guys, come on. You're ruining the sacrifice. Guys. 
<laughs> it's Mary Kay, K K. <laughs> Julia Roberts? Seen it. I wish those hands would just push him over. So they're um looking then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Manos. The hands of fate. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. Daddy, Let's I'm sitting in poison You'll never ivy. Think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, my please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. What, honey, I'm brilliant. You could kiss me. Okay, I'm out of here. You tampered in God's domain. We'll have to go back. Okay. So I'm an idiot. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. <laughs> Daddy, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. Your puppy's compost, kid. Ooh. All right, break it up. Nothing to offer, kid. Hey, uh, somebody filming a bad movie out here? These guys have the longest shift. Oh, there you are, Ted. I didn't see you around. I'd like to dedicate this next song to the little lady. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondock. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. Or even Europe. Parts of Canada. Maybe we didn't hear it. Ever think of that? Well, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not all that curious. Let's go get some hash browns, huh? Greensickle? Whew, I'm bushed after that. Mm -hmm. oh. Fred, you ever feel like crying and you just don't know why? You know, the place looks pretty cheerful without those devil worshippers around. Mm -hmm. It's like they're walking into a John Waters film. Surprise, surprise, surprise! <laughs> Why, Russ Weatherwax really topped himself with this dog. Uh, can, can, can you hold that cue card up? Uh, what's it say? Oh, yeah. Barf. That beneficial. Focus. Oh, it's a stare down. Oh, thank you very much. A shot in the face. How nice. Focus. Meanwhile in Toledo. Oh, no, wait a minute. Did this movie just lap itself? <sighs> Riders on the storm. Another convertible, another town. Another movie? Manos, the hands of fate. Yeah. Sure is good to get away. Damn the rain. Mm -hmm. Vacations are fine, but this one should be great. <laughs> yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. What a blast. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh, wait, there's something gaining on us. Oh, oh, never mind. It's just the top. I'm intensely stupid. Just take your half of the road out of the middle there. That's right. This must be a weekly series. So, so I told Gary that I was going on this vacation. So he goes, well, then I'm going hunting with Jeff next weekend. Well, that's when we were at Nye's. And then Lou sang Fernando, and then Gary, oh, he sings so good. Oh, you should meet Jeff sometime. Do you like Barry Manilow songs? I know the farmers need rain, but when it's stamped like this, my hair just explodes, just explodes. Ooh, ooh, I'm feeling kind of gassy. McNuggets, you know, they make me so gassy, all that grease and all. It really helps if you drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day. Did you know that? Sometimes I drink five, sometimes I drink nine just to make up for the other three I didn't drink. Well, coffee and diet drinks don't count either. You know, this is pretty country, isn't it? You know, it's really kind of a blessing in disguise that I didn't get accepted to college. Huh? 
you know, I'm gonna have to revise my 20-year plan, but, oh, did I tell you about my 20-year plan? Okay, well, okay, listen here. In year one, this is the year when I'm gonna take off those extra seven pounds. You know, that's equal to seven pounds of butter. <laughs> so it's like I'm wearing seven pounds of butter. <laughs> and, uh, no, oh, oh, where was I? Oh, oh, yeah, so my aunt and uncle here, they celebrated the 20th anniversary, and my uncle wanted to sing uh, Sunrise, Sunset. He wanted me to sing that, and I haven't sung that since Cindy's wedding, and, well, she never thanked me for that. Well, I'm still, uh, well, you know, she's probably really busy and all, but... Still kissing six straight days? The strange sounding door? Joan Kennedy? Welcome. The hell? Whoa, this is blowing my mind. Oh, oh man! No! Boom! Where's Targo? We can't see Targo. I am Michael. Bye, Bye Mike. Mike. I take care of the place while the master is away. Oh, oh it's over. Ooh. I ain't going ah. to play Sun City. He has a kind face. <laughs> it's starting over. No, no, no. Oh, I can't this take it. really <laughs> bites. Mm-hmm. That's my key carrying. This limited edition, suitable for framing print, is now on sale in Lobby, along with the soundtrack to Manos, the Hands of Fate. Starring no one. Faded photograph. Which do you find the most loathsome? Oh, Joel, there's a buffet of loathsomeness in this movie. You think he was proud of this role? Mm -hmm. Remember that, the leaning scene there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went on to do Torgo at Disney World. I'm forgetting you. This was a heartwarming scene. Mm. Ben Vereen? Why is he yelling at us? Ah, forget it. Oh. Jerk! 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 You. She was traumatized for life after this. I bet. Oh, no, this one. She was good. She was the glue that held this picture together. No, I don't want to be in this movie. Don't forget. Mm, they all wanted to be Dean Martin's gold diggers, you know. <laughs> Make out. Come on. Kiss her. Sing around the campfire. And you know, these are all outtakes. This is oh, stuff they didn't use. You yeah. don't need them for mm -hmm. Crew? They had a crew? I do not believe they had okay, a crew. Okay, whoa, everybody pick out someone you want to punch. Uh, we're gonna start. Touch it, touch it, come on! You want to? Oh, and these two, like Alan and Rossi, they were really, they stole the show. Hmm? Oh, they must be dental technicians. Huh? Oh, look at that cavity. Have you been flossing? Well, who can forget the nutty sorority rush? <laughs> and the tender peeping Torgo scene. A triple boofer. Warren. If you'd like to contact Harold P. Warren, look in the yellow pages for the Fertilizer Corporation of Texas. End? Oh. Yes. No. Oh, I want to change my answer. No, I'll uh, always wonder. <sighs> Come on. Okay, thank you, El Paso. Good night. We're out of here. We're going to take a break. We've been Manos, the yes. hands of faith. I still don't see how dressing in diaphanous robes and slapping each other around is going to make Joel happy. Well, don't hurt yourself thinking about it. Now shut up and wrestle, spinach chin. Okay, well, what the sand scratch is going on around here? Uh, uh, well, we're just playing the Satan lady wrestling game. How we cheer you up? Guys, Gypsy, I don't think this is a good idea for you. Why? Well, we're in ear protection. I'll explain to later. What do you think, oh, sir? Oh, Gypsy. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Ah, hot. <laughs> oh. 
That's great, Joel. Very amusing. Uh, oh, by the way, did you see Andy Cap today? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> he came home after being drunk all night Frank, and cheating on Flo. <laughs> where is our pizza? It's been two hours since you ordered. Well, I called Togo's Pizza. They were busy, so I ended up having to order from Torgo's Pizza. Come in. Large sausage and mushroom thin crust. That's us. The total is fourteen fifty, please. Here. Do you have anything smaller? I only carry twenty dollars in change. That's all I have. I have a twenty. Well, why didn't you give him the twenty? Well, I was saving it. You know. Would that, you please that, give you him know. the twenty? Thank you. I'll get your change. I'll keep it. Thank you very much, sir. Let me just get your complimentary crazy bread. No, 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 no it's no. okay. That's quite all, all right. right. Uh, hey, what about our pop? I left it in the car. I'll be right back. Oh. Until next time, Jewel. Push the button, Frank. Hey, you know, it's been two hours, but it's still pretty warm. <laughs> they always do that. Cute shape on me, huh? Check me out, eh? Woo. There you go. All done. <laughs> Today I am a real live boy. Mazel tov. <laughs> hey, hi, Crow. Hi, Tom. Hi. hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. You might remember me as the guy who was accidentally shot into space and then 
The hell? Oh. Tom Servo, you're naked! Naked and beautiful, Joel. The human body in all its many shapes and sizes is a wonder to behold. Today I begin anew, no longer Tom Servo mere robot. I emerge from my metal chrysalis. Tom Servo, real live boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Snips and snails and puppy dogs' tails. That's what Tommy's made of. <laughs> yeah, really? Uh, no, paint, actually. Yeah. Tom, you know, I knew this was going to happen sometime. You're experiencing the Pinocchio syndrome. Oh, nonsense, brother. It has always been my dream to be a real live boy and now I am that thing. But Tom, why do you want to be a real live boy? There are billions of real live boys on Earth. There's only one Tom Servo. I want to run and jump and skin my knees. Uh, you don't have any legs. I want to catch frogs down at the old swimming Your hole. Your arms don't work. I want to experience the world of emotions and feelings. You'll get beat up because you're a freak. Oh. Five seconds to commercial sign. Now I know I'm a real boy. I can hear my heart breaking. It's okay. <laughs> commercial it's okay. sign now. <laughs> Sitting here, smiling, watching Tommy grow. Uh, I'm still wet, you know. Oh, I think you're stuck. Oh. Ah. Gee, uh, Servo, you're going to have to touch up your skin. I can see that. Don't you think I can see that? Sure, spit. Yeah. That's really pink, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, Buffy and Hildegard are calling. Get this. Oh, Joel, the stories I could tell of frenzied bachelor parties and exotic dancers jumping out of cakes. Sounds exciting? Sure. But around midnight, there you are, frustrated and disappointed with a fake cake you can't eat and a dancer named Candy who has to leave to drive her babysitter home. What have you got? Nothing. That's why we've combined dessert and objectifying the human body in one easy cake mix. Cake and shake. A real exotic dancer included. <laughs> That's right, Clay. Now gluttony and exploitation serves eight. And just think, now even mom, dad, and the kids can enjoy a Chippendale dancer at little Jimmy's seventh birthday party. Oh, Clay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I tempt you with some dessert? Oh, Frank, <laughs> this looks wonderful. You've outdone yourself. Uh, just a sliver. Oh, it was nothing. I merely follow the easy-to-read instructions right on the box. And hey, here's a tip. Just fold the exotic dancer right into the cake. That way you save a step. You don't have to wait for the cake to finish baking. I'll remember that for my cake for the next bake sale. You what? You baked a person in it? An hour at 3.50? Start digging, Frank. I get the rose. Just dig, Duncan Hinder. <gasps> oh, it's beefcake. Hey. Don't see, because he's hush. Anyway, sirs, our invention this week is based on the old American tradition, the junk drawer. Yeah. Hey, did you know that Benjamin Franklin invented the junk drawer? And were he alive today, he might have invented the new American tradition, the junk drawer organizer. <sighs> Finally, there's a place in this world for those strange keys, ketchup packets, that linoleum knife with the point broken off, all those things that, until now, had defied the laws of sequential occurrence in space and time. Yeah, and how many times have you gone rooting through your your junk drawer muttering to yourself, where did I put that gun? Well, now there's a place for it. <laughs> and, and there's a place for round band-aids, and for that handful of gravel that might be agate, and your shoehorn, and those two-inch pieces of string that might come in handy someday. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's even a separate compartment for miscellaneous grit and lint, already built in. So you don't have to. Well, what do you think, sirs? We could get into a lot of trouble for this, Frank. Oh, Joel, um, uh, everything's fine, nothing to see here. Uh, your feature presentation is a film called I Accuse My Parents. Uh, you figure it out. Uh, enjoy it with the short about truck farming. <laughs> We're gonna have to answer to the Chippendale Corporation for this, Frank. Oh, hey. The Jaws of Life, man! Get the Jaws of Life! Cake? <gasps> I'm better. No, <laughs> Easter Bunny Films presents... Truck Farmer, the special edition. Includes scenes the studio originally thought too graphic for audiences. Wonder if they sold this film door to door. Hmm? The Donner Party. Century ago, hmm. our forefathers moved west across the vast and fertile plains of our growing nation, hunting for good land searching for a place to farm. Most Help of us! Time as romantic and exciting. 
Most of us think that these people were really free. But they were just stupid. Yet they were restricted in many ways. Today, we take a number of foods. Sorry, cross the Guernsey. Most of the year, they <laughs> ate little but meat and staples. Here's a five inch nail for dessert. For Go nuts. Them meant the end of most fresh vegetables. Their opportunities for a balanced diet disappeared. Instead, now, they ate the yellow the snow. Of snow covers the northern part of our country. People die. Great truck farming areas supply the constant demand for fresh vegetables. Florida is one of the areas. Even during bitter northern winter, harvesting goes on in Florida. These select few are making three cents a day. Let's take you back to the days when DDT was safe. And in California, in the Salinas Valley and other areas, lettuce for the salads and sandwiches of a nation is harvested fresh in winter time. Oh, you know, everything looks so good on the salad bar. Oh, heavens, yes. Everything looks so fresh and delightful. I'm just going to have a small salad, maybe some soup, and then treat myself to some froyo. Delish. Mm. Oh, where else are people exploited? In well, the down on the, the southern border. River, skilled hands shape bundles of fresh carrots in January. In recent decades, truck farming has become big business. But not for these people. A lot of factors help, but no one can deny the important role of power machinery. Ah, it's Killdozer! Ah. Clint Walker, no! Here, thousands of acres of rainforest are cleared away. Who cares? Stupid trees. God, I hate them. Early tractor pulls. Not that much fun. This is the freestyle competition. Don't see many of these trees anymore. Well, down it goes. Well, the sad thing is this guy doesn't even work for anybody. He's just doing this for kicks. Mm. Well, here as anointed by God, man holds dominion over his earth. Here we go. By hand, the land would have taken weeks of hard labor to clear. Stick farmers. But now trees and brush can be cleared and burned in days. Well, that's cheerful. And the land readied for the plow. Speed the plow. I'm thinking of telling my wife I love her. Nah, forget it. Not worth it. Go, speed farmer. Go, go speed, speed farmer. farmer. Go, go, speed farmer. Go. After plowing, a seed bed is prepared by a modern disc harrow, breaking up the clods of earth. That's something you don't see every day. Farmer with all his limbs. <laughs> Sorry. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Now, duck news. Here's Hugh McQuacken. Quack, quack. Harrowing, isn't it? <laughs> Harrowing, farmer joke. <laughs> and then planting and fertilizing. Hmm? Fertilizer, which not only increases the yield but adds to the food value of the vegetable, hmm? is added to the soil through one set of hoppers, while the other set of hoppers plants the seed. And remember, be sure to use lots and lots of chemicals Finally, for a good crop. Begins. Even cultivating is done with the help of modern machinery. In some places, a rotary hoe is used to destroy weeds. You know, I saw that on Children of the Corn. Hmm. Most farmers like to listen to Igor Stravinsky when they farm. But where mechanical means are dangerous, chemical cultivation is often used. Specially selected chemicals that destroy weeds without injuring vegetables are sprayed in the field. Hooray for chemicals! Here in southern Texas, there is an additional problem. Texans. Adequate supplies of water. The Rio Grande, with the help of the truck farmer, makes up for the scanty amount of rain. Yeah, let me harness this thing here. Well, I'll be damned. I'm in Mexico. Upriver, a huge dam ensures a constant supply of water the year the around. Bowl, man. A complicated system of irrigation is oh, used. Oh, real complicated. Great care is taken to see that none of the precious water is wasted. I wanted to be a choreographer. Oh, this is an artistic view of farming. <laughs> I love you, Earl. Uh, not here, Tom. I love you. No. <laughs> oh. Charlie Varick is employed. On large farms, the speed and versatility of the airplane is often used to control insect pests by quickly dusting wide areas. Some farms use mechanical sprayers in the field. There's nothing we can't spray. Finally, plants ripen. 
Now this tomato is highly deformed, but cut off the eyes and it's good eating. The last few days of growth bring the vegetables to their peak. I'm peaking, man. <laughs> the fields fill with people, and a complex system of harvesting goes into high gear. Lyndon Johnson. Here. Ripening like tomatoes are basket. carefully picked the by experienced on. hands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Farm income from the sale of five. peas and other vegetables averages more than a billion and a half dollars a year. But he'll see Much none of, of it. Income goes to truck farmers who raise winter I'm vegetables. I'm so happy. Annual farm income produced by vegetables alone is nearly as great as yearly farm income produced by the sale of bread grains. Come on, work, damn it, work. You got a bean in your pocket, I know it. <laughs> oh, take your time, Al. Many truck crops, like carrots, are harvested by hand labor. Cheap, abused, and labor. Here in the Rio Grande Delta, Mexican citizens who cross the border on temporary work permits help. They make it sound so nice. I'm from Canada. What am I doing here? A preteen is put to work. Her beauty will soon fade. While some carrots are topped in the field and sent to market in pliofilm bags, many are harvested and processed intact. Oh, the great Hank gets to work on the truck. A layoff. I'm sick today. <laughs> Now, let's see, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Car no, not carrots. The carrots. job has now become a race against time. Well, hey, I'm stacking them as fast as I can. Carrots are taken to a packing plant where a highly mechanized uh. process of preparation for market begins. Here they are interrogated. Is organized along factory lines. The carrots are washed first. They're made flavorless, so people will buy steak. When they are topped in the field, the process is rapid. Uh, rabbit? Some, of course, are cat. And turned into carrot paints. Some carrots are frozen. Some carrots are humiliated publicly. Untopped <laughs> carrots are packed with chipped ice to ensure freshness. High energy prop comic carrot tops also packed in ice. Soylent green is made from people. Hey, can I borrow your finger a second, Len? Good. Despite the speed and efficiency of the process, great care is taken with the vegetables. Varied skills are applied at all stages of the process. I love my rubber apron. <laughs> An automatic machine puts a top on the crate, and the finished box is passed along on a series of rollers directly to a refrigerated railroad car where it is loaded immediately. Then sent back to the farm and put back into the ground. It actually makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> More ice is poured into the refrigerator car to make sure that the carrots are kept fresh. Refrigeration, like the development of powered farm machinery, is vital for large-scale truck farming. Later, this device is used to beat Just back the workers. Just as important is rapid transportation. <laughs> The race to market enters the final stages. Ah, uh, we haven't worked out all the kinks yet. All over Slow. the northern part of the nation, in the cities and towns, the delivery of these products is now taken for granted. Yes, the South starves while the North eats Today, healthily. Today, farming is a big business, vital to the health of our nation. Wait a minute, has anybody seen a truck yet? Without yeah. it, the balanced diet okay. so necessary for our well-being would be difficult indeed to achieve during the winter months. Ah, oh, J. Edgar Hoover goes shopping. Hmm, let's see. Well, it isn't meat, but I suppose I better buy some of these just for appearances. Cucumbers. Because of our truck farmers, the vitamins and minerals to be found in fresh vegetables are poison. Are now readily available all year long in all parts of our vigorous nation. Praise the truck farmer. Bow down before him. Worship the truck farmer at the church of your choice. Offer burnt sacrifices to the almighty truck farmer. Hail, Hail truck, truck farmer. Hail, Hail truck, truck farmer. farmer. Penile Replacement Corporation Pictures presents...
Tea House of the August Moon. The John Bradshaw Story. Yeah, as long as it's not John Hughes. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, Fat, we didn't get to read. Oh. Mm -hmm. Music by the Little Rascal. <laughs> oh, songs. I hope this isn't a musical. They laughed when I accused my parents and I killed them. Let's see if they'll be laughing now. Did you know that the role of Al Frazier was the most coveted role at that time? Really? Wow. Sam Newfield, he directed Jungle Gods. Oh, well, that... Ah! Part four, Citizens on Patrol. Hey, where's the cantankerous but funny bailiff? Who's there? James Wilson, during the progress of this trial, you have refused to testify in your own defense. And by your silence, have prevented your counsel from adequately defending you. You can't handle you the truth! With manslaughter. And in the evidence presented, in the absence of explanation, would warrant this court in finding you guilty. Before we go any farther, I urge you once again to speak, if there is anything you can say in your own defense. Uh, sorry, I was looking at your mole, sir. Kiss the day goodbye. Plondy, no! I like jello. Give him hell, Harry. Well, maybe I shouldn't say this, Your Honor. But I'm Esther Roll. But I, I accuse my parents. We yes! have a title! Yes! We have a title! Ooh. Yes! Whoa, oh, that's making me sick. Well, that was a short movie. <laughs> have order in this court. Oh, if only I was please. Hunts Hall right oh, now. Oh, boy. Tell us exactly what is in your mind. You know, stuff. Well, Your Honor. I don't believe my mother and father should have ever had a child. I was abused as a zygote. I don't believe they ever wanted the responsibility. Well, everybody settled. Well, it wasn't that they were ever unkind to me. They gave me everything I ever wanted except... Pancakes. ...time and attention. And money. I learned to put myself to bed when I was four or five years old and to get my own breakfast if they weren't up yet when it was time to go to school. Yeah, boo-hoo, we all have problems. Did you get along well in school? Oh, yes, sir, I liked it. I had some pretty good friends among my classmates. Hey, a simple yes or no will do. And now I'm going to announce the winner of the essay contest. Sergeant, take the we gun and shoot the corporal. I'm proud that this honor has fallen to a pupil of our school, James Wilson, for his mm. splendid essay. I won, I won. <laughs> Come forward, James. Well, maybe he just suspects his parents at this point. I would like to quote a closing line from James' essay which made a particular appeal to the judges. All life is In travesty. In the American home, the father Conform. is happy to care Conform. for his Conform. wife, Conform. who is happy to Conform. care for her children, and they are thankful for their happiness and security. When I accepted the woman, And now we want to meet I... your mother, James. We want to know the woman who has inspired this splendid essay. Joan Crawford? The Committee of Mothers is meeting here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Oh, it's BYOM. To discuss plans for the graduation exercises. And we'd love to have your mother serve on the committee, James. Oh, I don't have a mom. My dog sure ate her. Be pleased. Um, Very well, James. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I won. I won. After 11 years in high school, I finally won something. Hey, everybody lives in that house. Yeah. Mom, mom. Oh, ma oh, no. Mm. Mom's in the bottle again. Well, it looks like mom invited Joey Lewis over again. Oh, well, she tidied up the place. Left me some. Hmm. Went to store scotch in fridge, love mom. Buy yourself another mother. Hmm. And there it says, P.S. Say yes to Martini and Rossi on the Rocks. Say yes. P. Him. It's terrible. She drank all that gin. <laughs> Ironically, the humorful part is he buys liquor with the 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> <It does. laughs> 
Where do I start? It all looks so good. Now the vodka clashes with the coffee table. Mom is hot. Oh. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, hello, Shirley. Is your mother home? No, she isn't. Oh, never mind. I didn't want to see her especially. Besides, I can see her later. Okay, who are you? You can offer me a drink if you wanna. And I think you wanna. Sure, help yourself. Just pick a Thanks. table. It's a booze progressive dinner here. Well, how about you? Come on, join me. Can't do any more than kill you. Oh, no, thanks. Not for me. I've been hitting it too hard lately. Yeah, I know. It's kind of tough when it gets the best of you. Well, here goes for both of us. Hey, that's my booze. Huh. Looks like you're having yourselves a time, you two. Suddenly the thin man enters. What goes on here? This is my first. I wouldn't know about Jim. Beam. Mother home yet? No. Means another cold supper, I suppose. Vodka oh, sandwiches. Who well, can you expect? Nine times out of ten, if she did stay home all day cooking, you'd phone the last minute you had a business day and couldn't make it. See the Greek chorus? You women certainly stick together, don't you? Not necessarily. I'd rather stick to an attractive man. Dad, do you mind? Oh, warden. <laughs> home so early, Dan. I was a half hour late. But I was only detained on business. You probably had more important things to do. Well, you needn't be so cross about it. I'm sorry if I'm late. But the buses are so crowded and I couldn't get a taxi. I suppose you couldn't have tried an hour earlier. No, I couldn't. Fix my little drink, James. I, I, I'm exhausted. I've been drinking so much. Are we going to have any dinner tonight? In a minute. It's all in the icebox. Hey, could somebody serve. please do an intervention? Can you have a bite with us, Shirley? Oh, no, thanks. I have a date. Another time, then. Thanks. Ready for our date? Well... May the best man win. Who is that? I've had just about enough of this. I won't put up with it any longer. What are you talking about? The whole setup. No decent meals on time. The house is always in a mess while yeah, you're like, gadding about making a fool of yourself. Like, uh, you do what you please. Why shouldn't I do what I please? That's like, okay uh, with me. The teacher but said you're not going to do it while you're my wife. Was, that suits me. You don't suppose I like going on like this, do you? I'd have divorced you years ago if it hadn't been for Jimmy. Mother, Dad, please. A lot of help you've been to him. A fine home you've made for him. But I got How about the example you've set him? Out was... gambling every night. Sometimes not even coming home at all. Really well, good paper. Do something to pass the time. Teacher thought something I was going to be a man home to a place like this. Then Once why do come a... home? Maybe I won't in the future. But I can't... Dad. Freshen I've got your drink? To tell you. Oh, yes, sir. Something about school. I won the essay contest and the principal said that. I'll say that's fine. Here's $5. Go out and celebrate. Spend it on loose leaf paper. There goes a great man. <laughs> what about my five dollars? <laughs> oh, jeez. This guy's made more money today than I did oh, all the way through high mom. school. He'll be back. Another woman. I don't care whether he comes back or not. Won't be any different if he does. Well, maybe it will. You see, I didn't tell that all that happened at school today. Hmm. The principal wants you to meet with the parents' graduation committee tomorrow at 11. Mrs. Carlisle and Mrs. Whitney are going to be there. All the most important women in the neighborhood. Is there a bar? Really? And they really want me to be there. Well, sure they do. And I want you to go, Mom. Yeah, and they need you a laughing stop. One there. I could wear my new afternoon dress. And that hat I just bought. Oh, wait till he gets the bill for that hat. <laughs> Okay, so is everybody done with their art therapy project? Joel, what's the point of this art therapy stuff anyway, huh? Well, by having you draw pictures of your idealized family, maybe you can escape some of the deep psychological problems that Jimmy, the star of today's movie, suffered because of his family. So let's see what you draw on, okay? This is Crows. That's, that's my dad. He's all powerful. His hands are made of stainless steel, and he has lasers that shoot out of his chest. Pew, pew. I don't have to tell you, he's the coolest dad in the whole neighborhood. And we go when we go to father-son picnics, we win every event. And, and he dispenses homespun wisdom and teaches solid Midwestern values while crushing all who block his path. Uh -huh. What about the handlebar mustache? I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oral obsession with mustache indicates nasal labial shame. Good, okay. Now let's see yours here. Tom, what's this? Okie doke. Uh, that's my mom, my dad, and my mom. My mom is Haley Mills, my dad is Gigantor, and my mom is Peggy Cass. Uh-huh, and why are your moms uh, holding hands, Tom? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Latent parent trap syndrome. Mansion. Straight okay, Gypsy, well, oh. this one's really nice. What's oh. this one? Huh. Joel, uh -huh. my ideal family is right here, and I know Richard Basehart watches over us all. Huh. 
Oh, that's really sweet, Gypsy. But tell me, why does Richard Basar get to play God? Well, I don't know. Uh, Joel, why are you spending your time psychoanalyzing robots? Um, I don't know. I'm kidding, of course, we'll be right back. I do know. I really do know. <laughs> so funny. That Joe Bolster, he just cracks me up. The mirror ought to tell you. I'm getting ready to go to gym school. Well, you certainly look the part. Why don't you act your age? Stop criticizing me. You don't like my clothes. You don't like my hat. You don't like it if I sit around here. You don't like it if I go out. Well, let's stop this ridiculous farce. Why don't we quit? I, I like your Great hat. Good idea. Thanks for the suggestion. So they're divorced now? Well, that was easy. Hmm. Mm, he's a good husband. He just has a hard time expressing his feelings. <laughs> She's got a sea anemone on her head. <laughs> mirror, mirror, on the wall. Can I make it to last call? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work on the decorating committee. Oh, isn't that swell? Some of us girls thought we could bring some flowers. I'm going to build a Jimmy blimp and fight the Nazis. If to win the contest, I think he should read it at the graduation exercises. Why, yes, what an excellent idea. Wow, the whole school oh, seems to be nice. buzzing about that yeah, essay. I mm -hmm. my home, that's all. It's the way any other fellas is. <laughs> the way a home ought to be. A very happy home, obviously. I'm most anxious to meet your mother. Oh, Mom's swell. Liar! 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 Even if I had a lot of brothers and sisters. She must take a great interest in her home. She does. That's all she thinks about. Well, that and twist what off caps. What's more important when you come right down to it? A woman's job is her home and family, isn't it? At least that's the way my mom figures. Hello, everybody. Oh, and did I tell you she drinks? Sorry if I'm late. Miss Reardon drinks a lot. I'm Jimmy Wilson's mother. <laughs> <laughs> She's drunk. It's funny. How shocking. Eleanor Roosevelt's oh, pissed. Ooh. How terrible. <laughs> mom. Did you bring another glass? Am I late? Uh, when's the meeting start? Come on, Mom, let's go home. Oh, what's your hurry? Aren't you going to introduce me? Some other time, Mom. Please, come on, let's go home. Well, so long, Mrs. Home. Um, Lush, oh, was it? Sure, yes. Jimmy, I want to go to the meeting. Later in prison. <laughs> She's drunk. It's funny. How oh, shocking. I wish my peers would get out of my head. I'm trying to sleep. I'm you walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking. I accuse my parents. He wants to turn his essay into a screenplay. Oh, there's some people from Lorimar who are interested. Wanted mother. Hmm. Did you ever sell shoes before? Uh, no, sir. A Make young Al Bundy. Oh, yes, sir, if you give me a try. You live with your parents? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, you look like a good boy. I think hey. I'll be hey. mm. Now, the job pays $25 a week, and you get an hour off for lunch. Got to be here every morning at 9, work till 6. OK? Yes, sir. OK, and I'll show you the stop. Hey, he sneezed all over the window. Yeah. Let her out. Let her out. She's frozen. Oh, she's a frosted mini pearl. <laughs> <laughs> the hat. The big goober over here and down there. Oh, I get it. You want to see my knees. <laughs> Why did he spray Desinex all over the window? He just doesn't get it, does he? No, no, you're ruining it for me. I want you to put on some shoes. Oh, come on. Just clean the whole window. Jeez. Your mother's in detox. Come quickly. Ah, get in here. Jeez. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Please don't touch the customers, Jim. You interested in something in shoes? No, a fish sandwich. What do you think? Yes. I'd like to see those suede slippers in the window. The black ones with the bows. I won an essay contest. <laughs> My mom doesn't drink. Oh. I said some shoes. Some shoes. You better let me help you. Oh, that's all right. Cruel shoes. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I like your underwear. Oh. Hey, you! Oh. Oh. There's cheese in here. Brennick. Da 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 da. Aids? Well, you better try again. There's something wrong. I'll try again. There's something's wrong. Better with your hand out. Oh. Oh. Well, it says here your feet don't exist. This is... 
<laughs> Six a sec. <laughs> oh, my area! <laughs> Organ push the earth shoes. I have Hitler. Can I show you something in a size me? <laughs> hey, those are old shoes. These are red goose shoes, so you get a free egg. I got my thumb caught. <laughs> this is a good thing she's not trying on a girdle. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Beautiful. The shoes, I mean. Oh, 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 oh. They look like they might have been made for you. They probably were. My husband is Buster Brown. I'm a fatalist. I believe that everything happens as it should happen. Just like my coming in here and buying these shoes from you. You really believe that? Of course. How much are they? Uh, 995 including tax. Oh, you'll have to send them COD. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't do that. Well, I mean, we don't make deliveries, see? I mean, you're oh, a bad well, person. I, I mean... I don't live very far. Maybe you could drop them off on your way home. Yeah, maybe I could. My name's Kitty Reed. Oh, yeah. Bring it in. That's right. Set the hook. There you go. What time will you be by? Well, I get off work about 6. I guess I can make it in about 10 minutes. Oh, that's fine. I'll be looking for you. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Are we in love yet? Uh, okay. <laughs> Gee, it's 6.11 already. Where is he? Oh, quick, out the back way. She's got a closet full of dead shoe salesmen. Love me. Hello. Oh, uh -oh. here's your shoes. Oh, thanks. But uh, you're two minutes late. Yeah, I know. I had to put away some of the stock. Well, come on in. <laughs> you know, it might not be important, but if someone dropped in accidentally and I had to introduce you... That was in my underwear and you were on the trapeze. Well I knew your name. Oh, James Wilson, but everybody calls me Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy. Everyone calls me Kitty. I don't know why. Yeah. My name is Susan. Hey, Kitty. Will you have some, or would you rather have a drink? Oh, no, thanks. Not for me. I've been hitting that stuff kind of heavy lately. Besides, my mother doesn't like to smell it on my breath. You know how mothers are. Well, then how I'm about a bomb? I never had one myself, but enough to remember. <laughs> I was torn from the thigh of Zeus. That's okay. I got used to being on my own a long time ago. <laughs> you live here alone? No, with Vera Moore. She's in the show with me. Oh, are you an actress? Well, not an actress, exactly. I I work in a nightclub, the Paradise. Have you ever been there? No, but I'll come and see you some night. Oh, that's swell, Jimmy. I'll be looking for you. You know, it seemed kind of strange to me just living here like this with another friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not having anyone to come home to. Like a family. That's right. Well, when I open the door, my mom is sure to call out, is that you, Jim? Liar. No matter what time of day or night it is. I get so I expect it. Double I. Of course, I always tell her to go to bed when I'm going to be late, but she never does. Big fat lie. She worries about me, I guess. She can't rest until I get home. He's a gifted storyteller. <laughs> oh, she is. She's wonderful. Lie. She's the best mother a guy ever had. Double I. Dad's pretty swell, too. He takes an interest in everything I do. <laughs> Why, when we talk, it's just like two fellas my age instead of father and son. Mom says she really has two bows. Well, it's That's getting really late, I think. Like I almost did. My folks split up about three years ago, and I've been on my own ever since. Well, you seem to have done pretty well on your own. Not nearly as well as me with my mother, of course. I wish I could believe that. But can I just tell you one more thing about my mom? Oh, I better pay you for the shoes before I talk you out of oh, it. Oh, no, don't do that. I mean, I'd like to give them to you as a gift, if you'll let me, as a sort of a celebration. You see, you were my first customer. That's awfully sweet, but Weird. you can't afford to give me a gift like that, can you? Oh, sure I can. I've got plenty of money. I'm not just an ordinary shoe salesman. Liar! 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 If I like it and decide to stay, why, my dad might... The clock is store. bugged! Oh, I see. 1,700 <laughs> lies later. <laughs> and, of course, I was the last one out of Saigon. <laughs> That's my first baby picture. Isn't it awful? No, I think it's kind of cute. Uh, did I mention I'm an Olympic That's champion? Ten. Hey, you can tell you were going to be beautiful. What happened? Oh. And that's Aunt Harriet. Enough said. She suffered from chronic indigestion. Yeah, I guess she was suffering from something. Take it back! Take it back! Oh, say it's late. I have to be at the Paradise in a half hour. Oh, well, I better go then. And quick. Well, will I see you soon? I hope so, Jimmy. Oh, this is one successful shoe salesman. Open mouth, close sale. Oh, pardon me. I thought you'd be gone. You're kind of late, aren't you? Can I just tell you about right. my mom once? I was just ready to leave. Miss Vera Moore, Mr. Jimmy Wilson. How do you do? I'm doing fine. <laughs> so are you, I see. <laughs> well, so long, Kitty. Bye, Jimmy. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, yes, it's late as night, and the feeling's right. Oh, what a knife. Hey, what is this? 
You'd better watch your step, hadn't you? Well, no problem with my new shoes. Blake? Yeah, Blake. In case you've forgotten, he's madly in love with you. Oh, Blake! Yeah, I know. But Jimmy seems so different. He, he's so sweet. He knows my shoe size. The kind of a kid every girl dreams about. You won an essay contest, you know. Now, don't you know. tell me it's love at first sight. Well, what's so impossible about that? Who knows what lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. He lives at Monticello. Isn't everybody? I... Hey, I won the essay. Oh. Well, come on in. We invited the cast from Gigi over. <laughs> Thanks, sister. Hey, come back with that. Walt Disney interviewing another Snow White. Gee, kind of slow night for a Monday. <laughs> You know the trouble with cocktail parties is they end too soon. They don't have to. You can make them last as long as you like. Well, I like this one to last at least three days. <laughs> Step so why don't we go down to Jack Taylor? Step. Down to the beach. He's got lots of room, lots of liquor. We spend the weekend. That's a wonderful idea. Listen, everybody. How about going down to Jack Taylor's at the beach for the weekend? That's the idea. Anybody know who Jack Taylor is? Hey, don't leave, because I'm here. Huh? Well, I won the essay. Contest. The beach tonight. Oh, Jimmy, I didn't know you were home. Well, I guess you forgot. Tomorrow's my birthday. It was oh, your birthday last right, year. Uh, well, here. Here's $20. Go out and have a party with your own friends. Take out your best girl. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you and Mom about. Oh, then there is a woman in the case. And what a woman. Take a look at this. Hey, gang, Jimmy's got a girl. Oh. <laughs> Let's strip him. Yeah, yeah, come on. Woo. Wait a minute, by my calculations, he's made $35. Minus the $9.95 for the shoes. Mom's swell. Birthday scam worked again. Huh. So, that's why that guy on the bus is looking at me all funny. Oh, wise guy, eh? Happy birthday to me. Feels like I could buy a friend with this. Jack Taylor's got a great place. Welcome back to the 12th Annual Essay Awards Ceremony. Ah, Miss Yorick. Right. You desire a table? Uh, yes. This way, please. Uh, do you know when Miss Kitty Reed goes on? Right after this number. She is putting on her tassels now. Hi, I'm the essay guy. Hi, essay guy's here. That's me. Essay's my name. <laughs> Monsieur? Monsieur? I must warn you, the act is messy. Monsieur you will get wet on this oh, ride. Well, right uh, well uh, bring me two champagne cocktails. Two? Yes, two. Yeah, yeah and, and put them in one of those big slurpy glasses, too. Charge! Charge! Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our singing star, Miss Kitty Reed. This is her over here. Isn't she beautiful? Take a look. What do you think? Do it. <laughs> Gina Davis. Are you happy? Define happy. In your work. No, don't sing this to me on a Monday. Ever, mm. ever sure? Mm. Does your morning menu really send you on your way? I love the skillet scramble and fries. Do you greet each day? And is it a deal? I came to tell you you have to pay for the shoes. Are you grateful? You're alive. Is your day full? Hey, Walter Lance. Yeah, what do you know? Living in the rhythm that I'm speaking of. Can I order, please? Can you forgive your in love? I know how toast works. <laughs> Are you happy? Well, I was. Though your banker or a clerk, <laughs> where's this going? You know, the table? As delicious as hey, showbiz, can we get our food over here? Do your hours spin? <laughs> and are you a blow to check shepherd? No, you're making your tea. Bite me. As you carry crumbs away. Uh, no. <laughs> are you merry with your tree? It's difficult. Yeah, right, it's going now. Hey, I got a great idea. What? You go get Gypsy, I'll get the costumes. It just might work. And now, ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our singing star, Miss Kitty Reed. <laughs> spilled some champagne cocktail into Cambot sequencer here. Oh, sorry, everybody, sorry. Uh, Tom Server, you know what to do. Get down there and muck that out. I'm Roger. sorry, Chips, it was going so good. Well, I guess we'll have to take it from the top. Oh, no, oh, not again. Oh, no, ah. I think we got movie sunglasses. Oh, yeah. That went pretty well, Ooh. actually. Yeah. Thanks. And now Tom McCann and the Payless Orchestra with Cole Hahn and the saxophone and the naturalizers will sing something by Johnston and Murphy. I synthesized animal protein in my lab today. You know, I'm glad you came over at that. Are you really? No. <laughs> now, if we're going to be friends, it'll give us a chance to be better acquainted. Oh, I feel as though I've known you for years already. Oh, you do? Well, suppose you start telling me something about myself. All right. Oh, well, you're hot. Let's see, when you were 10 years old... Oh, now, wait a minute. That's going to be a long story. Suppose we sit the rest of this one out. Okay. Right? I took the liberty of sitting here. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Who are you? Oh, this is Jimmy Wilson, a boy from my hometown. I met him today by accident. This is Mr. Blake, Jimmy, my boss. How do you do? I'm glad to know any friend of Kitty's. You going to be in town long, Mr. Wilson? I live here. In oh, Castle and stuff. I guess you see quite a change in Kitty since the last time you saw her, huh? Oh, not so very much. Of course, her clothes are different. Yes, I'm sure they are. You see, she spends a lot more nowadays than she did back in Iowa. Ooh, that's cold. Yes, Kitty? Ouch. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Uh, you'll excuse us, of course, Mr. Oh, Wilson. Sure, go right ahead. Thank you. I'm waiting for a call from the president, so I couldn't dance anyway. So who's the stiff? Where'd you run into the little Lord Fulroy? In a shoe store. Coming in to buy some shoes, and there he was. Isn't that a funny coincidence? Yeah. Selling shoes, huh? Mm -hmm. Hi, I sell shoes. Seems like a nice kid. I might be able to help him do better. Look, Charlie, lay off. I'm only trying to help him. I know other people you've helped, and they all Shut end up. up. I can use the kid. Just whose welfare are you interested in? Here's a mine. Yours, of course. Okay, see that it stays that way. I want you to give me a build up with the kid. Tell him what a great guy I am. What a good friend I've been to you. I might find him useful. And then I'll throw him away like a paper towel. In our audience tonight, Tony Big Tuna Cardo. Stand up, Tony. I went and liberated France while you were dancing. Uh, I fixed your chair, too. It doesn't squeak anymore. Well, I ordered for all of us. I hope it's all right. But you see, tomorrow's my birthday, and I'm celebrating. OK, enough with the oh, birthday. It's all right. As a matter of fact, we'll make a night of it. What do you say, kitten? Meow. Fine, I'm for it. Well, hey, uh, Jimmy, happy birthday to you. Happy Thank birthday, you. Jimmy. So then my mom says to Roosevelt and Churchill, she says, what about some kind of Lend-Lease program? 
so. Suddenly they're at a hee haw rap party. Oh, they better not sing Achy Breaky Heart yeah. again. Jules and Jim. Well, we're going to the buffet. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you groove in with your cuckoo work. Hey. Everything satisfactory, Mr. Blake? Oh, fine, thanks, Ben. Say, you haven't forgotten about that package you left with me. Oh, no, uh, no, uh, I'll have it picked up in a couple of days. Okay. And Trent. I yeah. love you. This party's on the kid. Thanks. Say, what are you doing tomorrow? Or today, I guess. It must be Sunday morning already. It is. Why? What's on your mind? Well, I thought with my folks away that we could spend my birthday together. Well, why not? I'll tell you, Jimmy. You come to my apartment about 12, and I'll fix you an old-fashioned birthday breakfast. You know, coffee and cigarettes. Oh, swell. You know, tonight's been great, only it'd be nicer if Mr. Blake hadn't come along. You'd ask him, he'd say the same about you. Yeah. Don't you like Mr. Blake? Oh, I guess he's all right. Only... Oh, isn't he all right? Yeah, I guess. Well, don't you like him? He's my main squeeze, sure, Jimmy. But I, I wouldn't want you to be like him. Why? What's wrong with you? Oh, he's money mad. Wants to get rich quick. Hey, is that bad? Sometimes. I think you have a better future in the shoe business. How about essay writing? I'm good at that. Thank you. Well, Kitty, Trent's been asking if you'd sing a song. Well, I'd be glad to, Mr. Trent. Thanks, Miss Reed. It'll be a treat for my patrons. Excuse me. How about Love to Love Your Baby? So, Jimmy, do you like your kneecaps? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a big surprise for you this evening. I'm Rudolph Hess. From the paradise, Miss Kitty Reed. Hey, we want Grandpa Jones. You're too old to cut the mustard. You know anything by Donna Summer? That's nice girl, isn't you? Oh, she sure is. I've never met anyone like her before. Take it back, take it back. an expensive oh. girl to take out. Oh, nothing's too good for a girl like her. Honey, don't slouch. Up straight. Whee! Love came between us, showed us the way. Love must have seen us. It's the silo of power horn. <laughs> <laughs> Order up, come on, pick it up. We were going this way, that way, this way. Then you took us by the hand. Wait a second, she's got a pig yes, and a blanket on her way. head. Showed us the kiss way to the promised land. The kiss way to the promised Love land? Recommended taking a spin. Yes, Satan, speak to me through this song. <laughs> we should get in. Cause I'm hand dipped in gin. The grass is the greenest. She's looking at me. Oh, she's looking at me. Am too. I'm not. All skate now. All skates. Love came between us. La da da da. I forgot the words a little bit. Kowalski table for seven. Kowalski. Check, please. Check. Hey, I'm a Waiter. mozzarella stick Check. almost up. Check, huh? please, please. To the promised land. Last call. Last call for alcohol. <laughs> I like songs. <laughs> all, all cheese busters are now $1.45. There is also a green and white station wagon parked in the delivery zone. <laughs> Wear pants. <laughs> to hell. Boy, she's really rocking this mother, isn't she? Ouch. Thank you. Oh, the mob's gone country. Thank you, Miss Reed. Thank you, Miss Reed. Gee, you were swell, Kitty. Thanks, Jimmy. So as I was saying, Jimmy, if you'd like to add to your income sometime, I might be able to throw a few odd jobs your way. What kind of odd job? Oh, little things you could do for me after working hours. Sod farming. Here's my card if you're interested. Look me up sometime. Well, thanks, I will. Mobs are less. We got places to go. Waiter, check. Checkmate. 
Oh, thank you. Oh, let me have that. You took care of it at the Paradise. Okay. I'll just take a... Jeez, who ate all this stuff? The undercover. Do you remember a fourth person sitting here? Gee, I'm afraid I don't have quite enough cash to cover this. Well, they'll take your check. Oh, will they? Well, have you got a blank check? Sure. How are you fixed for socks and underwear? Her cigarette is Velcro to her lip. I uh, see you use the same bag I do. Oh, well, they're your checks. Yeah. Yeah, ever get bit by a dead bee? Oh, I don't have any other tables. That's okay. Uh, is everything current, Mr. Disraeli? Or buy yourself a rototiller. Well, let's get going. <clears throat> Come on. Yes, sir? I want you to go to the bank for me and make a deposit. Yes, sir. And, uh, Jimmy. Uh, I love you. You might put these through. Maybe they'll be good now. If they bounce back again, I'm gonna put that Mr. Smith in jail. Gee, that's quite a coincidence, because I just wrote a bad check, and if I had some extra cash, I... Oh. Plus one is two, 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 plus one is two. Do I know where I'm going to? I'm stupid. Yes, indeed, I'm stupid. <laughs> ah, quite a long line at the petty larceny window. I think he's going to give Mr. Potter his newspaper. Right. My mom doesn't drink. Take the other window. Oh, thanks. What's the secret word? Say the secret word and win $100. I'd like to deposit some guilt and withdraw some denial, please. I'm sorry. You can't deposit this. Oh. I'm sorry. You can't put that in your pocket either. Nice cuticle. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Then you dropped in. You've been thinking over my suggestion? Yes, in a way I have. You see, and you could use a little cash, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a friend of mine in trouble, and I'd like to help him out. Well, how much do you want? About $100. 472 dollars well, That's a lot of money, Jimmy. Get out, get out! Well, I guess I can advance it to you. When you begin to work for me, why, you can pay me back. That'd be swell if you would, Mr. Blake. I can start working for you any time you say. Good, you can begin right now. Hmm. First thing I want you to do is to go to the bank and rent a safe deposit box. At times, there may be some valuable papers I want you to take care of for me. All right, I'll do that. Do what? Now, don't be surprised oh. if this job gets you up at odd hours of the night. I'll make it worth your while. Well, maybe I ought to quit the shoe store. No, there's no need to do that. Hmm. You stay at the store until I get you on a full-time job. If you say so. <laughs> now, tonight, I want you to go to this address and pick up a package. And whack somebody. You just show him this, and he'll know it's OK. Well, should I bring the package back? No. No, uh, no, no. The box. I'll let you know when I want it. All right. Jimmy, this will take care of the rental of the box, and you can keep the rest of it. Thanks. By the way, I'd rather you wouldn't say anything to anyone about working for me. You know, if your boss found out, he might not like it. I won't. And when you get through work tomorrow, give me a ring. Yes, Oh, and I'll leave your soul with the receptionist. I knew I'd go from rags to riches. Nope, sorry, honey. I'm eating all four of my lobsters. Okay, here you go, Jimmy. Make sure nobody sees this pound of bacon, see? I'm taking you downtown, honey. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, uh, where should I put my hand? It, it's kind of awkward. Senator Paul Simon. Hey, you two staying home tonight? Oh, well, your father's going to the club to play cards later. I thought you and I might do something, but I see you have other plans. Oh, I'm sorry. He's dead. a rather heavy day. Why don't you call up one of your gang? Maybe I will. Well, bye now. Bye. Nah. Nah. You think you'd ever accuse Jimmy's us? Changed these last few weeks. Have you noticed it, Dan? Jimmy, who? Oh, yeah, seems to have grown up overnight. <laughs> well, I don't like it. What do you suppose he's doing out every night in the week? For several nights he didn't come home at all. Maybe he stayed with a friend. A little late to start asking questions now. Well, after all, you're his father. You ought to keep an eye on him. Well, you're his mother. You say all once a while, you might know what he's up to. The talking corpse. Maybe he's got a girlfriend, that's all. I have when I was his age. And then I died he's inside. He's not going to start taking after you. 
That's it. There's a six pack calling my name. Hello, Kitty. I, uh, I brought you a little something. Oh, Jimmy. Leftover Chinese. Why, sure. I like buying presents for you. It's fun. But I always have to pay for them. Jimmy. I don't want you to be offended, but I've got to ask you something. Do I have a weird profile? You're not mixed up in anything that isn't quite on the level, are you? Whatever gave you that idea? I'm just selling drugs to oh, school I don't kids. Know, except that you have so much more money to spend lately. Oh, the mob Look, ties. Don't you worry about me. I wouldn't do anything that wasn't on the right side of the law. I hope not, Jimmy. You're so sweet, I wouldn't want you to change. Why should I change? I'll always wear Jed Clampett's hat. People do in this town. Circle Pines will do Whatever that. No, you don't, Kitty. Now let me have that tongue of yours. Say, Eddie Menace gave me two tickets for the folly Sunday. Hey, what do we bid for two tickets to folly? Hey, is that what happened to that? You cancel that like you did our luncheon date today. Oh, now, look, kitten, can I help it if I'm busy? Oh, hanged if I can find time to do the things we've planned. But business is sure picking up. Well, that's good. You'll bet for both of us. The higher Charlie Blake goes... The higher Kitty Reed. You said it. Well, bye, darling. Oh, uh, I meant to ask you before. Have you put Jimmy Wilson to work? Why, uh, I haven't laid eyes on him. Have you seen him? Liar! Liar! You asked me to give you a build-up, remember? Must have been a swell build-up you gave him to keep him away like this. Man, everybody well, lies the way he in this talked, I thought by now he'd be pounding on your door for a job. No, I haven't seen him. I guess he's pounding on the wrong door. <laughs> you guess. said it. Hey, you talk about me giving you a stand-up. Where have you been disappearing to after the show every night? You sure get out of that dressing room in a hurry. And I've been missing you. Well, Charlie, you know the old saying. Early to bed and early to rise. Well, that's me. Bye now. Goodbye. I also know about a bird in the hand. Now get out of here. You're dealing with Mr. Blake. How long have you been with him? A few weeks. I'm not working full time for him yet. Uh, see. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, note to self, find out correct time. Uh, is my birthday tomorrow, mister? What is this guy, butcher to the mob? <laughs> Here you go. Happy birthday, now, Jimmy. This is very important. See that Mr. Blake gets this note tonight. And be sure that you give it to no one but him. All right, I'll do that. And this is Skag. Be careful with it. I let you out the back door. Don't tell the Nazis what I am. Hi. Hi, I have an important thing and some stuff called Skag. What's the idea coming back here? I told you what to do with that package. I know you did, Mr. Blake, but Mr. Carlton said to give you this note. He said it was important. Is this a caper? I never should have gone to an old country buffet with him. Let's see, what does it say here? Isn't this guy carrying the letter a dink? It's all right, Jimmy. You did the right thing. Better wait out in the outer office. I may have something else for you to do. Okay, Mr. Blake. And uh, do some filing while you're out there. <laughs> yeah, I got a real knack for shadowy errands. <laughs> That's me. All right, boys, come on in. We're gonna pants the courier. William Frawley, Montgomery Cliff. Get this. Chuck, I tried to get the painting out of Gordon's dead storage. Couldn't make it as the place is being watched. Don't send any more packages. I'm leaving town. Take my tip and do the same. Call. Well, how do you like that? I called you Chuck. I thought that stuff was safe there. $30,000 worth of diamonds. What are you gonna do now, Charlie? We're gonna talk you like this, go see? Go down to the warehouse and get it out tonight and take the kid with you. Take the kid? What for? May take two of you to do the job. I'll have him rent a car and he can drive for you. I'm doing the Superman set now. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, hi. I want you to go down to Olson's before mm -hmm. it closes and rent a car. Huh. Come back here at 12 o'clock tonight and pick up the boys and take them down to Gordon's warehouse okay. to pick up a package. Then drive them back here. Okay, Mr. Blake. He's got framed rubber vomit on the wall. <laughs> you know what? I should call Mr. Blake and tell him how much I like him. You'd better be. Can I see you tonight? We'll go dance. Oh, this is late me. night hot. Oh, swell. I've got a little business to take care of, and I'll be about a half hour late. I've got something awfully important to ask you. Now, don't tell me you're going to propose to me. Maybe. All right, hon, I'll be looking for you. Jimmy's cheating on me. That guy's eavesdropping on his eavesdropping. Wait here, I'll be back in an hour. With squeaky shoes on. Love came between us. Oh, hello. I didn't expect to see you, Charlie. I know you didn't. You expected the kid. Nobody expects to Nobody see you, Charlie. Love came between us. Oh, 
Oh, butter mitts, huh? Don't mind if I do. Mm. Take a whole half. First of all, you and I are going to straighten out something. What's going on between you two? Oh, cheap love. Why? I don't know what you're talking about, Charlie. Why don't you dress like Major Barbara? No. Well, then I'll make it clear. I heard that phone conversation you had a little while ago. He was talking from my office. It was funny. It made me laugh. Ha! So you really fell in love with the kid. Mm. Now, look. Nobody's going to take you away from me. Nobody. Not even me. See? I'll kill me before that happens. Why? Why, Charlie, you don't really think I fell for that kid, do you? Why, you asked me to string him along. Can I help it if he fell for me? Well, he did win that essay don't contest. Worry about it, He's as good as forgotten. Liar! Liar! When he gets here, I want you to get rid of him. The old way. Or the highway. Or would you rather have me do it? OK, oh, Charlie. I'll be happy in my work. It ought to be a cinch. Oh, it's the three hard-boiled eggs she ordered. I'll be in there listening. Like I usually am. Watch out, Gaff! <laughs> Hey, I thought you were going to have this stuff dry cleaned. Well, aren't I, Miss Popular? Well, I've joined the Black Hand. Come on, Hi. Let's get going. We've only got a few hours. I have some work to do later on. I'm not going. Well, what the? Wait a minute. Hey, are you kidding? Why, over the phone, you just got through saying we'd go someplace. I lied. I know, but after I talked to you, I changed my mind. Get in the closet. <clears throat> An old friend of mine called, and I'm going out with him. The guy in the closet. Hey, you say that so convincingly, I almost believe it. Hey, where'd you get these golf clubs? Shh. You can believe it. The guy in the closet. Do you mean it? Of course I mean it. Hey, I smell hey, Italian. Italian. Oh, you poor chump. Courage. Did you really take me seriously? Did you think for one minute that I loved you, or that I wanted to marry you? She's smoking. Why, can you imagine Kitty Reed cooped up in a little two-before cottage with a string of kids climbing all over? Oh, no, not Kitty. I am the angel of death. The day of reckoning is upon us. You know, Jimmy, I thought that for a while you might go someplace. But you'll always be a shoe salesman at 25 a week. 18 after taxes. And uh, my ambition's a little higher than that. Well, wait a minute. They're going to put me in charge of the sock table. Why don't you run along and peddle your papers? You annoy me. Uh... Okay. Good night, Mr. Blake. Good night, Jimmy. <laughs> I ought to get that tennis racket restrung. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> I love that. Are you satisfied, Charlie? Well, you saved me a lot of trouble, kitten. Meow. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, thanks for coming by. <laughs> if I had parents, I'd accuse them right now. I accuse her hair. Meanwhile, outside of Skokie, Elliot Ness and his men continue their vigil. Well, at least I got a caper to fall back on. Huh? But what now? How can I get a blowout when I'm just sitting here? Get going, kid, quick. What happened? Get going. They stole the Bogart. It's a Bogart. Wait, shouldn't we find out what those shots were if anyone was hurt? I knew that nervous trigger finger of yours would get us into trouble sooner or later. It's all American. Well, it was either him or us. What about the kid? You ought to be here any minute, and he's ready to scream. And you better do some fancy talking, Blake. We're going to have trouble with him. Just let me handle him. Why didn't you tell me I was driving a car to a holdup? Oh, I didn't boy. see any reason to tell you, Jimmy. I never told you about any of the other jobs you did for me. What other jobs? What do you mean? Ring jobs? You don't think I've been paying you the kind of money I have just to pick up packages? If they'd been on a level, I could have gotten a messenger for a lot less than you've been getting. I didn't know there was anything crooked about the job. I don't want any part of it. I'm quitting right now. No, Give me not. that tie back. Nobody ever quits on Charlie Blake. Oh, he's really in trouble. He doesn't want him to. Whatever I've done, I'm not going to stand for murder. I'll tell the police. I'll tell them about you. I'll tell them what you did to me. I'll tell hey, it's, it's my birthday tomorrow. You tell them anything. You're in this whether you like it or not. Mm. Just as much as if you handled a gun. You tell the police and you'll get 20 years. Free with no obligation? Oh, talk. What if I tell a new republic? Oh, it's better. Since you're getting panicky, tell you what you do. You go on home and get a good night's rest and forget about it. Tomorrow morning, go back to the stores if nothing had happened. And don't worry about getting into a jam. I have enough influence to pull you out. Okay, I guess it's all right. Uh, you uh, want some yogurt? Oh, it's all because of these shoes. 
family circus is really upsetting to him today. I've got to control my urges. Hot Bunny Program. It's the Feather McGee and Molly Show. <laughs> Stop mocking me, radio. <laughs> oh, don't open that door, McGee. I hate that Hell Roach music. You figure that vase is filled with scotch? Mm. What, Hello? Jimmy? Hello, this is Jimmy Wilson. Is Kitty there? I gotta talk to her. Just a minute, and I'll see if she's here. It's Jimmy Wilson. He wants to talk to you. The young Vivian Vance looks hopeful. She leans back. Tell him I'm not here. She says she's not I'm here. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but she's not here. Thanks. I wonder who that was in the back. Wait a minute. Hey. Mm. The glow of the essay contest is starting to wear off. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are watching a film called I Accuse My Parents. Now just to ground everybody, it's the one where the kid accuses his parents. But can parents and parents alone explain mental illness on the scale of young Jimmy's? Mm. Mm. Gee, that'd be nice, but hey, let's try to map out the trail of his psychosis. Mm -hmm. We'll give Jimmy the benefit of the doubt and start with the film's hypotenuse that at the center of Jimmy's madness, we will in fact find his drunk folks. Right, uh, drunk folks concerning whom Jimmy lies. And that's fine, but these are not simple utilitarian lies that satisfy you and me as we interact on a daily basis. No, 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 no. These are elaborate lies, Joel, if you will. Elaborate. Mm -hmm. Through which Jimmy constructs a richly cuckoo fantasy world of love. Then, Jimmy meets a nice young woman. Ah. Hey, Jim, here's someone you might want to confide in. Uh -huh. Truth, Jim. Truth. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, no. Not no. It's not gonna happen. Instead, Jimmy feels the need to denigrate others uh -huh. while simultaneously attracting others. Which leads somehow to a life of crime, and yet he's ignorant that it is crime. Huh. Related back to the elaborate lies, perhaps, Jim? And where in God's name is the connection to our starting point? Drunk, Drunk folks. folks. Uh -huh. right. and we, we shouldn't forget that Jimmy may be kind of stupid, Joel. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, Cambot, if you will. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now we've entered Jimmy's subconscious. Uh, yeah. As it spins and twirls to illustrate today's lesson, that true Jimmy scale dementia is indeed a complex phenomenon. <laughs> Cause and effect, good luck. Here's uh, <laughs> drunk folks, but that's just a piece of the puzzle. Mm. Hey, they're stupid, really big. Mm. And yet there's so much more. Oh, no backbone. Oh, and an extra unexplained level of denial. This oh. strange need for mob ties. Yeah, mm. Jimmy's complicated haircut. Oh, there goes his failure in Weeblos. Oh, and original sin, don't forget that. Oh, oh. So if you're off your dot yourself. Don't look for simple answers. Mm. Really get inside yourself and just run around and have a good time. Believe you us, it can be a whale of a lot of fun. And you know what? We got commercial signs. Jim's crazy. And stupid. He's crazy for accusing his parents. Hmm. Good morning. 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 Mr. Holden? Yes. Morning. Anything I can do for you? Yes. Have you a boy working here by the name of Jimmy Wilson? Morning. Yes. We'd like to see him. I'm sorry, he hasn't come in yet. Most unusual. Jimmy's always on time. Milk duds? We got orders to check up on him. To check up on Jimmy? Yeah. What's he been doing? That's what we're going to find out. He's been seen with some pretty shady characters. Yeah. yeah. Let's have his address. Why, of course. See, Tuesday good for you? No. Uh, how about Sunday? Hmm. 465 Lindhurst Drive. Thanks, Mr. Holden. Sunday it is, then. I'm afraid your boy won't show up today. Well, who's going to sell these shoes, then? Hey, uh, you fellas want to reach into the treasure barrel? Oh. Hmm? <gasps> there he is! Officer! Officer! Well, here's our little fugitive. I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Holden, but I had some business. There's two men here asking about you from police headquarters. Police headquarters? Well, what do they want to know about me? They didn't say. 
Have they got anything against you, Jimmy? Well, no, of course not. What could they have against me? Well, I don't know what you do outside the shop. They said you've been seen with some pretty shady characters. Hmm. Maybe you'd better go home, get your folks, take you down to police headquarters. <laughs> get this thing straightened out. I don't like police coming here, Jimmy. It isn't good for business. What business? Well, I don't blame you, Mr. Holden. No, I'll go right home and do that. All right. I'm sure there must be some mistake. Yeah. Two plainclothesmen from police headquarters have been to the shoe store asking about me. Well, that's pretty quick work. They must have traced the car. Now, look, you got me into this. You got to get me out. You said you would. Take it easy. I said I would, and I will. Come on, $30. Better now. Give me $35. Give me 35 And lay low for the rest of the day. At 11 o'clock tonight, meet the boys at 6 and Kent Street. And then what? They'll have some money for you, and they'll slip you out of town. Then what? After a few weeks, when it blows over, you can come back. Then what? Okay, I'll be there. As long as I talk really fast and do what he says, I'm going to be okay. Life on the lamb, an affordable vacation. He's taken to selling his essays cheap on the street. Mm. Here now, what are you doing in a cocktail film, boy? Go home to your mother, that's a good lad. Oh, that was a close one. Oof. We're supposed to deprogram you. Mm. Have you got the stuff? It's all in here. Let's get back in here so nobody can see it. Well, that seems reasonable. Walk back with a couple of nice fellas, and then all of a sudden you... Whoa! This is a message from the other kids in the essay contest, Jimmy. So I told her that I like Playtex. What? Huh? Jimmy's really fitting in with the other gangsters his age. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Somebody's coming. Let's get out of here. Mobsters are easily scared. <laughs> wait, I forgot to give you the stuff here. What's the matter, kid? What happened to you? I don't know. You'd better come along with us. We'll report it to the police. No, no, fellas. Just... Just help me find a cab, will you? I want to go home. Okay, kid, just as you say. Alfred, on the spot. Mom? Dad? I won the Get the Crap Kicked Out of You contest. Mom? Dad? I'm up here, honey, with the DTs. Could you get the yellow lizard out of the bathroom? Oh, where's the dexedrine? Where's that dexedrine? If knickknacks ruled the world. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Black Panther headquarters. I'll see you. What do you got? Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Mr. Wilson, in. Tell him his son wants him. Just a minute, I'll see. Ollie, telephone. I've never had. Ed, 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 Murray, Why use you a coaster. Beat me every hand. Your boy's on the phone, Mr. Wilson. He wants to talk to you. Tell him I'm not here. But you are. All right, Randy. Right, oh, come on, Bill. Yes, he says he's not here. I'm sorry, you sir, but know. your father isn't here. Well, if he comes in, tell him I call, will you? I wonder who that was in the background. Oh, well. Mom! <laughs> I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I got peanut butter and underwear, and that's all I need. <laughs> I'm gonna run away to Kansas and become a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Where's my trial size prude shampoo? Jimmy is suddenly seized with an essay idea. <gasps> so, that's what happened to all his other moms. Huh? Problem with mob, on lamb, accusing Lee yours, Jimmy. P.S. Hope you had fun at Jack Taylor's. Would you comb your hair? Annoying. I'll just put this over here with Mom's suicide note. No, oh, they'll think it's a cocktail napkin. I saw some kick-ass parties here. <laughs> More powerful than a locomotive. Auntie M, Auntie M. What is he thinking about trains? Uh, yeah, these trains never stop for you. Ah, uh, but he's able to pick up a ride with the Joad family. This is the life. <laughs> Maybe I'll travel somewhere. Hey, cafe, I've heard of this place. 
I don't know if I'll find any Thai food in this old town. Hey, maybe you'll see me looking dejected and invite me in. On top of it all, my area's gone. Boy, that was good stuff. I gotta learn to order only one chicken. Oh, and that whipped cream, hmm. One million, two million, three million, four million. Fourteen billion, fifteen billion. I've decided, I'm gonna do something really stupid. Um, uh, can, can, I, can I rob you? Cup of coffee. You bet. And put the French silk pie in an unmarked bag. Expecting somebody? Hmm? No. I didn't know it was drugs. Uh, do you have any bullets? How about a hamburger? It's what's for dinner. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. If you're broke, it's on the house. Hey, it's Officer on, Tootie. Oh. Plenty of onions, eh? French fries and all the trimmings. I'll trust you. You can pay me any time you want. Ooh, ooh. Okay, thanks. Someone tell you it was my birthday? I like my hat. I made it. Give and take. That's my system. Yep. Share what you've got, and you'll never want. I've had a lot of guys come in here broke. Never sent them away hungry. Got them piled out back. Now, don't lose by it, either. They always come back and pay. Most people are OK. Except for you, of course. Yeah, stab this into your thigh. You're not going to hug me, are you? Better give me that gun, son. You can't eat with one hand. Uh, actually, you can, but I'll give you the gun anyway. Wait a minute. This is an episode of Insight. Yep. I saw it on your face when you first came in here. I can read your chakras, I too. Know, Tom. Seen all sorts in my time. But they don't see me. You learn things about people in this business. For instance, they're bipeds. Oh, loaded, too. Ooh. That's dangerous. Look, can I, I have my hamburger? You know, some guys get sore when you pull a gun on them. And they don't stop to think. Why, you might have even killed me. Not meaning it, either. Mm. Such things happen. I know. Better put this away before somebody comes in and sees it. Would you give me my hamburger? OK, I'll keep it for you. You can have it any time you want. At Alice's restaurant. restaurant. Want a job? Sure, I want a job. You ever worked as a boy a before? Week, your food and lodgings. I got a shack here in back of the restaurant. Can't much. In fact, it sucks. Comfortable enough. Radio, some flowers in the garden, and a dog. And me. What do you say? Give me my gun back. You're taking an awful chance, aren't you? I mean, offering me a job this way without knowing anything about me? You see, before I... I've got to tell you, though, there's one condition attached to it. You'll have to go to church with me every Sunday morning. Church? That's right. Forget it! Every week, I work for myself. On the 7th, I work for the church. Hmm. I'm an usher. And it wouldn't look right you living in my house and not going to church. Of course, that's only an hour on Sunday mornings. In the afternoons, on fine days, we could go fishing oh, or... Gee, that sounds swell. Oh, and hey, no mob ties. ties. You're learning fast. <laughs> I've entered the twilight zone. Ah, oh, you like my swinging church, son? I've got a goofy hat on my head. Oh, how I need Michelle Pfeiffer in The Fabulous Baker Boys. <laughs> He's in Kansas flipping burgers. It's an air filter piano. Hmm. Oh, she's a regular Coco Taylor. Cha cha. <laughs> oh, you're regular. And now she's got a table centerpiece on her head. Well, let's see. I've ordered the death of 10. No, 12 people today. Pretty good day. Why did you leave? You told him to. Not guilty. Where can you be? The audience is frankly stunned. Where can you be? Where can you be? 
Where can you be? Last call, ladies and gentlemen. Last call. He was well tonight, kitten. Well, thanks. Still thinking about Jimmy, huh? What makes you think that? Maybe the way you sang that song? Oh, now, look, kitten. I know you've been well, searching for that kid for two months. Why don't you give it up? He's probably a thousand miles from you. I'll tell you what we'll do. When you get through tonight, we'll go out and paint the town. You need some recreation. I'll kill somebody for you. Who do you want killed? Okay, Charlie. Oh, what a caboose. Hoo-ha! Son, it's been two months and you haven't touched your hamburger. Sir, I just don't understand the Holy Spirit. Is it a bird? What's the matter? Not hungry? How Not come hungry? I'm the only customer? Something's bothering you. What is it? Uh, I'm sick? No. I found a toenail in my hamburger. I thought you liked it here pretty well. You seem to be settling down. Well, I do like it, Al. It's not bad. In fact, it's the only time I've ever really been happy. But I want a salad. Is that well, asking too much? Fill it, son. You can tell me. Well, it's just that I've been thinking things over, that's all. And I want new curtains. You want to go back and straighten yourself out? Square accounts? Take the load off your mind? Yeah, I guess that's it. Bring your trousers in for dry I cleaning? I don't seem to find yep. the courage to do it. Change that old underwear? Would you help me, Al? And don't mention God. I've been waiting to hear you say that, son. So I prepared sure, a song. Yeah. We'll go back and face it together. After they hear your story, I'm positive they'll give you a break. <laughs> don't worry. Ah, oh, gee, that's well. Al, I feel better already. Now tuck into that beef. <laughs> you see, Miss Reed, I couldn't let Jimmy give himself up unless he'd seen you first. Okay. And I want to go. see you too, Jimmy, to explain and tell you the truth. I never wore the shoes. I was in the other room that night listening. I had to say what I did or he'd have killed you. Huh. They tried to the night they beat you up. And then the things you said weren't true. Of course they weren't true. Except for about your lousy shoe career. Oh, Jimmy, Blake's the cause of all your trouble and mine, too. If he finds out you're here, he'll kill us both. No, he won't, because he's going to the police station with me. You and Al can call the cops and follow. <laughs> Jimmy, wait! Jimmy! <laughs> Again, proving just how stupid he is. So, how about a little sugar for Happy Chef over here? Organized crime, please hold. Organized crime, please hold, sir. Let me guess, it's your birthday. Hello, Jimmy. How's your hat? What brings you to see me? Not in trouble again, are you? No, but you are. I'm giving myself up to the police and you're going with me. You're taking it a lot for granted, aren't you? Maybe I am. But you're going to tell everything that's happened between us. And if I don't... You'll kill me? The police are on their way here to see that you do. Now, let's see. Did I call them? Right. Okay, Jimmy. But I'll go with you. Time I went on the straight and narrow. I keep... Uh, that's a weird position. Ooh. They're really going to town in there. Hey, does anyone have an appointment? His heart just exploded. Well, so much for the whole he's coming with me scenario. Yeah, I accuse my parents. I tried to take the gun away from him, mm -hmm. but it went off. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I know I've lied, I've cheated. I've done a lot of things that I shouldn't have done. And more. But maybe I wouldn't have started lying to my schoolmates if I hadn't been ashamed of my, my home life. If I hadn't been ashamed that my parents were, were denying me this the understanding that a wild. boy is entitled to. The love and protection that a boy needs. The guidance that sets him straight. Maybe they should have sworn him in. And that's why I, I accuse my parents. Ah. Is your hat flask empty yet? My court reporter is dreamy. Seeing as it's your birthday, we'll let you go. James Wilson. You dummy. Your story is supported by much of the evidence in this case, and I think indicates clearly that you are not guilty of the killing of Charles Blake. Thanks. Well, bye. And on that count, I find you not guilty. Oh, oh, oh not guilty. Oh. And on the remaining counts of having aided and abetted in the transportation and concealment of stolen property, uh -oh. I find you guilty and sentence you to five years in state prison. Hey, my dad went there. That sentence is hereby suspended, and you are placed on probation for two years. Thank God I'm white. You are white. to remain in the custody of your parents until you are 21, during which time I hope that you will justify the confidence I am placing in you. Uh, I will, Your Honor. Oh, let's go to Jack Taylor's and celebrate. <laughs> wait, wait, he has to talk to Doug Llewellyn first.
he accused us. Why don't you just do it on the bench? As for you, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, you are not on trial here. But you have seen the tragedy brought about by the neglect your boy suffered. You will roast and in you hell. you are not the only parents guilty of such neglect. Oh. I speak to Message parents coming everywhere. In. I say that there it in is. the pursuit of your own pleasures and occupations, you neglect your children. Realize now before it is too late. Bye, Bond. This might have been your boy. Not that your boy would be quite so thick-headed as Jimmy. I accuse my parents, brought to you by Boone's Farm. The makers of this film also accuse Hitler and Tojo and Mussolini. We accuse them all. Soon we'll accuse Stalin. Seriously, Joel, who would you accuse? Oh, I don't really. Okay, as we move into the home stretch, I thought it'd be nice to read a letter. So. Uh, hi, Tom. Hi, Crow. Just getting ready to read a letter. Oh, no, thank you. That's okay. All we'd like is just a cup of coffee. <coughs> Hamburgers. <coughs> I'll just get going on this letter, then. Hamburger. <coughs> uh, no, no, thanks. We're not hungry. <coughs> oh, I get it. It's like in the movie. How would you boys like a hamburger? Like that? Finally! What took you so long? What a maroon. <laughs> now? Now what? <sighs> no, 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 you stupid, stupid man. Now you present us with a big, beefy, charbroiled hamburger sandwich and a french fried potatoes garnish like in the movie. Yes. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, all I got is this postcard. Oh! Crow, you talk to uh, You were supposed to get us a charbroiled hamburger sandwich like in the movie. Uh, uh, what is happening to this family? Come on, honey, honey, oh, honey. Wow. There must be a pie what? cooling in the ship someplace. A pie? It's pie. just a movie, oh, guys. Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> thought we could read this letter now. Um, this it says, for rent, the Barco Rammer, and it's from Peter Spears. And on the back here, let's put that on still store in the back. It says, the Barco Rammer, indisputably the finest. It will ram, it will pound, it will press, it will do what you want it to do. And then he humorously writes, the perfect date for Crow and Tom, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> I accuse you, Joel. Now, carefully hand over the hamburger sandwich. Don't let him forget the french fried potatoes garnish. Right. Joel, you magnificent bastard, I read your menu. Come on, we gotta beat Marty and Messina, maggot. Well. Uh, what do you think, sir? Sorry, Joel, uh, didn't catch that. We uh, came this close to losing, uh, losing... Rodney. Uh, right, right, almost lost Rodney. Yeah. Is this uh, enough, Dr. F? Uh, no way, Frank, there's plenty more frosting to shovel. It, don't just go push the button, you freaked out maniac. Uh, look, Rodney, I'm sorry this whole thing got out of hand. I'd like to make it worth your while. Uh, if, oh, no, that's, that's all right. That's, you've done enough. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 508, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was.
Oh, this is my second grade piano recital. Oh, yeah. Hey, Gypsy, wake up, check this out. Oh, you actually get a feeling for what it was like to really be there. Oh, yeah, this is really oh, interesting. Oh, Joff, these are fascinating. Now, who took these? Um, Uncle Roy. Oh, yeah, the guy with the mole. Right, exactly. Yeah. Gypsy, come check this out. So cute. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Well, you can probably tell by now that Joel just transferred all his old home movies to videotape. You know what? I think this is that picnic we took up to Koshkanon Mound. Koshkanon Mound? Yeah, I'm kind of worried about Tom Servo. Oh, so oh, watch what I do now, Gypsy. Check this out. <laughs> uh, you pulled his shorts down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, are those Minnie's kids there? No, that's Brent and Brenda. They're yeah. Brian and Bridget's kids. Uh -huh. Minnie's kids are... Oh, oh, Ray and Tony. Right, right? and Teresa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is fascinating. <laughs> Tommy, don't go in too far. Hey, mm. look what I found. Swing, swing choir, choir swing choir. The world is black. The world is white. All right. Explain to me again how this bulky racer fell out of the closet and onto these home movie transfers when the closet isn't anywhere around here. Yeah, weird, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> ah, no matter. I've got duplicates in my Foot Locker. Ah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I know. I found those. Oh, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. are calling Crow! Ah, Joel, I wonder if you wouldn't indulge me today. Uh, uh, Frank's been down a bit lately, and, uh, well, when the poor fellow's not shuffling head down through the lab, he's locked himself in his room watching old Misfits of Science episodes. So, to pick him up, I thought I'd let him do this week's invention exchange. Really put the spark back in. Oh, crap, <laughs> I'm ready for this week's invention. Uh, we're ready for you, Frankie. Right. <laughs> My invention exchange this week these fully lined leather sprinkler pants that I like to call leader hosen hosen. Now I can shoddish while watering my plants. In my leader hosen hosen. La 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 a lot of stress lately. Uh, tell you what, we'll get you an alpen horn. Would that make you feel better? Yes! Uh, why don't you go on with your invention exchange, Jim? Uh, it's Joel, and if you'll indulge me, your hinderness, I'd like to turn over this week's invention exchange to our own Crotee robot. Thanks, Joel. The vulture, long associated with pestilence and death, is in reality a clean and helpful bird who is quite easy to get along with, so to improve his image, I invented Sarah, the bobbing buzzard. Sarah? Yeah. Uh, based on the water-drinking bird, this friendly carrion eater cleans up roadkill or table scraps. That's 
great, Crow. Yeah, it kind of looks like you, Crow. <laughs> I think you'll agree there are few sights in nature as beautiful as a plump member of the Cathartidae family pulling a sinewy string of fetid meat off a weak, dead Thompson's gazelle. <laughs> There's a theme song. Want to hear it? Uh, uh, sure, Crow. Bob and Buzzard. Caw! 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 Bob and Buzzard. Caw! 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 Bob and Buzzard. Dee 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 dee. Uh, what do you think, sir? Dee 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 dee. Your movie this week, Joel, <coughs> stars the. <coughs> Ricola? Oh, thank you, Frank. Would you just get back there? Your experiment this week, Joel, stars Sean Connery's brother, Neil. And they're more than happy to tell you that. It's called Operation Double 007. And now, I have to strangle Frank. <laughs> Help! Bob and Buzzard. Caw! 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 By Crow. Ah! Oh, we got more! Oh, 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 oh. Stop. Hey, assault on a queen. The Danny Bonaducci story. Mutiny on the bets. <laughs> oh, good thing they have an espresso machine. Mm. Get over here and turn the music down. Uh, like this? All hands on me! He eats tuna salad sandwiches. <laughs> Honey. Is there anything this guy doesn't do? Kid power! I sailed to Tahiti with an all-girl crew. And all I got was this wet t-shirt. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know when there's four people on a screenplay, there's gonna be trouble. Yep. <laughs> you know, I'm suddenly hungry for Cracker Jacks, and I don't know why. Mm. Mm. He sat on his glasses once. <laughs> sure would like to get permission to come aboard. <laughs> he likes to wear mittens. He's got a deviated septum. He's a real big fan of Delta Bird. <laughs> he gets his hair cut on Tuesdays. He prefers stuffing to potatoes. He Hooray for Santa Claus! Well, this guy can't possibly live up to the song they wrote about him. Probably just an accountant named Wallace. <laughs> so you're saying you like this guy? No, oh, no, please don't hold back. How do you really feel? Women who sing too much. <laughs> and the men they sing about. Port of call, Cindy. Mm. Oh, come here. Now this is one naughty navy. <laughs> we do more hair and makeup before breakfast than most people do all day. Yeah, it's the old Spice guy. It is. It must be one of those airplanes I've heard them talk about so much lately. Huh. Huh. Paul Williams' lunchbox. Mm. Stay there, my friend. No one else has a lunch anywhere as good as mine. <laughs> we now return to Ship of Fools. Excuse me. 
You know, if William and Conrad were there, they could watch a letterbox version. <laughs> if he wants to change the channel, does he get another woman? Oh, yuck, she's phobieing his back. Uh, oops, uh, <laughs> wrong room. <laughs> uh, uh, should I come back? Uh, yeah, I'll come back. Thank God. I thought we we're gonna see his naked butt. Thank you, sir. I'll bill your room. <laughs> Hello, I'm Merv Griffin. Ooh, I was just gonna press pause, but nah. What's it like being the TV, Cindy? Well, it's better than Flo being his back. Now showing on my back, Morgan Stewart's coming home at two, four, six, and eight. Yes, may we help you? <laughs> when did I hire you? <laughs> mm. This is one great Motel 6. Have a life, huh? Thank you for touching me, sir. That will keep me going for the entire day. Eleanor, is this your robe? They're on the PMS pinafore. Oh. <laughs> Someone's on a pogo stick. Mm. Huh? What's what? The, what? The, 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 oh. oh. Uh, it's been nearly two minutes since anyone's fondled you, sir. Susan, it's for you. Tell him I'm not here. Hey, Buck. Bitty, bitty, bitty. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Now, wait a minute. Uh, how is it that he gets color on his girl, but only black and white on his TV? Huh. What's Money Penny doing there? Isn't that a conflict of interest? Hmm. Oh, that's nice. They have a bar sign up there for the pilots. Ooh. It's good. They have a very loose dress code at this business here. Tora! Just the one. Oh, oh I like planes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, is this a cyst on the back of your head? It... Up yours, <laughs> sit and spin. Come in, Thunderbirds. Johnny Astro, real radar. Claude Rains pops the clutch and tells the world to eat his dust. He tells me, huh? James Brolin in the car. Michael, I want all episodes of Captain Nice burned. Oh my God, Herbie's gone bananas! Oh, this is Bob going to my imminent death hole. A Screen Gems presentation. <laughs> the late Waldo Pepper. <laughs> Thanks for the all clear, Money Penny. <laughs> Suddenly she's a coffee table. Oh. You know, I love my torsos. I do. No, 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 I think I know why Thunderball was a hit. You never saw him kiss anyone in it. <laughs> this is Rita Braver reporting to you live from Krakatoa, east of Java. Here come the clowns! <laughs> there might be bees burning in there. I've got to save them! Mmm, mm. something smells good. Mm. Mm. Hey, look what I found. I think it's a guy. <laughs> well, he's Cajun now. Better call Paul Prudhomme. Uh, 
I'm gonna run on the sprinkler. Whoopee! <laughs> no, you know there's probably nothing but bass jigs in there. Gillette foamy is so thick, you can put out this fire. Uh, guys, uh, I'm gonna go start lunch. I'll meet you back at the ranch. Sandwiches again? Okay. See you later. Quick, some lip blusher. Oh, this game again. Thanks, Roy. I appreciate your help. Thanks. Now, why is she dressed like Barney Rubble? <laughs> Mustang Sally, you better slow that Mustang down. Hello, Maya speaking. Ward died in the explosion. Is that okay? I have the box with me. Over. Fine. Now let's get to work on his girlfriend, the Japanese. Oh, and happy Secretary's Week. I bought you a gun. How will you make it on your own? It's up to you now. Mm -hmm. This time I want the girl alive. I've got a few questions to ask her. Oh, and lose the Ringo hat. <laughs> ah! <Whoa. laughs> Uh, sir, you're not wearing any pants. The Banks of Circle Pines. Uh, new city ordinance, all buildings to be painted beige. Get Christy Wong. Oh, see, this is what happens when you bob for french fries. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, here we have a practical example of the theories I have illustrated. I suggest we execute them. Two weeks ago, the patient you see here, Miss Yashuko, sustained first and second degree burns... At my hands. ...on her face, as shown on the slides. I'm looking for a fang! <laughs> they called me here from Edinburgh last week. When I saw this girl's condition... I, I decided to operate immediately, before scar tissue began to form. I'm glad to be back here in time to show you the results of this operation personally. Uh, it's great to be here. Thanks for supporting live surgery. Fantastic. Now Michael Jackson's journey is complete. A miracle in plastic surgery, don't you think? A miracle, yes. Plastic surgery? Ah. Well, she's turning Japanese. I really think so. The results are due not only to modern surgical technique, but also to an ancient Tibetan process defined as the hypnotic process of total recall. Hmm. It differs from the usual hypnosis in that it allows us to operate with the complete surrender of the subconscious, <coughs> and thus obtain the patient's collaboration. Doctor, <coughs> Dr. Hufeng was asking me if it would be possible to make a demonstration of hypnosis of total recall. No. This experiment requires the outlay of a great deal of energy. Why don't you try it? Why don't you bite? No, no, not the young lady. Her hat's too big. Excuse me, doctor. I really thought that I was just whispering. Actually, it's my fault. I didn't hear you, but I am capable of lip reading. I would say the young lady is not an ideal subject for this sort of thing. Because she's hot. She appears to have unusual willpower. I'm afraid it would take too long. I found that out the hard way. However, we have Miss Yashuko, with whom I have already conducted experiments of the same type, and it would simplify things if Miss Yashuko would agree. Thank you, Mr. Connery's brother. Mm. Gentlemen, please. Watch Neil rock. Here, give me a second here. <clears throat> Sleep! All right, uh, here's the church, here's the steeple. Open the door and go to Sleeple. <laughs> the Sixth Sense with Gary Collins. Ooh. The powers of Matthew Starr. You know, is Rick Wakeman on the premises? Mm -hmm. I, you'd think so. Well, the cast of Jacques Brel arrives on the scene. <laughs> Now, Miss Yashuko has lost direct contact with time. She thinks she's in Dresden right, during the war. From the maternal womb right up to the present day is at our disposal. 
It can be totally brought back if we so desire, because every experience she has lived through has been registered on her subconscious. Uh, or from the yearbook. With greater precision than the most highly developed electronic brain. Let's pants her subconscious. Hmm? Be enough for now. What are you doing? Leave her alone. I have her till Tuesday. Well, the Rodney King verdict just came in. Oh, neat. Nancy Sinatra's kicking ass. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Lynn Nossiger fights back. Not exactly Jackie Chan, is it? Mm. Everybody stop flipping. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not a hugger, please. You hurt me. You know I can read lips. Did I tell you I can read lips? I'm reading lips right now. Naughty little girl. Hmm? Sam Donaldson. Tales from the dark side. Ooh. They need coffee in there, quick. It's Michael Caine, look out. Well, that was easy. Jeez, I'm already running ahead of schedule. I wonder who that is. Ooh. Get out. Yes, hurry. We just came to beat everybody up. We're leaving now, thanks. I hate to be interrupted when I give a lecture. Poor Judd Fry is dead. Mm. This man is dead. <laughs> no doubt. Yes, unfortunately, I found myself distracted. So I used the sublime Atemi. It's mm. fatal. Don't tell me, Doctor, that there's anything that would be able to distract you. Oh, yes, for instance, when a charming girl keeps gazing out of the window while a brawl's going on. <laughs> Get it? It's your fault if my jaw is broken. Oh, I'm sorry, but what can I do to make it up to you? Paint my house? What do you Come suggest? on, you guys, let's go. I've got an idea I don't for think a, you should kind look of a neat like scenario that, or a scene, it's not maybe. Joel's really gone off the deep end this time. All I know is in this outfit, I feel like a total femme. You know what? I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> you know, well, I do. Huh? All right, time for my daily back rub. Who's going to do the honors? Uh, Joel, none of us have working arms. I know. Hey, Joel, what is that thing? It's all part of my diabolical plan. But it's just a useless prop that you built. It's not even connected to anything. I know. Really fun sketch, Joel. I know. Wait until the judge gives his verdict. What else can you do? Don't forget, we have a corpse to deal with here. A corpse? And Mr. Shuko's disappeared, too. Sorry, Doctor. I'm talking I'll have to ask to you to remain at our disposal until the investigation is over. How long will that take? We're moving as fast as we can, but please don't set foot outside the limits of Monte Carlo until you get the okay from us. But I have to go back to Columbia University. 
I have some operations that are waiting. I can't remain here indefinitely. The former Miss Moneypenny, oh. sir. Your Highness, there's your man. Come I on. hope you'll be very happy together. Oh, uh, he's hardly Sean, I realize, but he comes cheap. The Osterman Weekend. Miss Yeshuka was right. That's an ugly beard. You can see the resemblance. To John Saxon. Think so? I'm not so sure of that, really. I don't think he's quite so good looking. Uh, oh, yeah? Why don't we shave the beard off? Just to make sure. Just peel it the off. The beard is mine. I'm attached to it. I want it to remain right there. And furthermore, I'd like to know what's going on here. I'm cunning. Mm -hmm. Allied counter espionage for Western Europe. And I'm the Elfin King. This is Miss Maxwell, my assistant. You're the brother of our top agent. Uh, Michael Ovitz. So I think we can trust you. Dominica, Nica, Nica. Ooh. The flirting nun. You'll get it. <laughs> mm -mm. Swiss steak for lunch. Lucky guy. I'd like to make a confession. I think you're hot. <laughs> mm. You know, Dave Barry's not funny. I should have used Mitchum. Turn your head. You're fine. Drop that knife. Do you mind? We're playing war games. What, does he have a fur ball or something? Drop it, I said. Uh, I am the walrus. Coo-coo-coo-choo. Gee, I think I had her in eighth grade. <laughs> now, time for his catheter. Ooh. She's a flippity gibbet, a will of the wisp, a clown. I want this problem called Maria taken care of permanently. Sister Mary Mayhem. Father, forgive me, for I have murdered. Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death. Oh. Make me happy. How'd I do? She is good. See, there is a role for women in the church. <laughs> Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> Sin and the art of archery. This handy hostage packs into a compact 9 by 14 case. Hard case also available. She's making a human burrito. Make it snappy, sister. We got other pickups. Come on. I'm married to the Lord, you know. Oh, boy, I'd kill for a jump cut right about now. Oh, Lord, please let my work reflect the in thine eyes. The few, the proud, the opus day. Benedictus, quivani, denomine, domine, voodoo pow. Is this a documentary on how to do this, whatever this is? <laughs> oh, she's a stunt nun, you know. I saw her get interviewed on the Sci Fi Channel. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Send her to an outward bound, and this is the result. <laughs> Now, this is when you sit back and watch it all come together. Let Hertz put you in the ambulance. It's like Turk 182. We'll have her back tomorrow. Human cleaners will clean your humans overnight. Dodge vans, more room, same ride. Now, let's review the steps on how to run a hostage down a rope. Um, uh, could we stop at a Baskin Robbins? Oh, they're repo clergy. Dr. Connery, would you look at that photo? It was in Mrs. Shuko's bag. She said you know him. It's Ward Jones. He was planning to marry her. Then I showed up. I met him when he took my course in hypnosis. The one I gave in Japan. A very capable chap. Thinks he's a chicken I now. saw Jones killed this morning. Ward's been killed. By the same people who tried to kidnap Yashuko. The Shriners. Luckily, she's back in our hands. Ward had important information he wanted to sell us. Unfortunately, he was killed before he got it to us. Actually, Ward asked us to protect Yashuko because he'd given her some secret information, and he was afraid she might be in danger. Huh. 
Now, she denies this, oh, absolutely. Is this a Barnaby Jones wrap-up? And I'm inclined to think she's telling the truth. But we can't find any explanation to this mm -hmm. business. Then I'll explain it to you. What happened was just Ward this... Ward had learned a special Go yogi technique. Quite complicated, but very effective. Briefly, it's very possible to communicate uh, any data any to a subject in a state of hypnosis of total recall. The subject himself doesn't know he knows, but he would be able to repeat verbatim if he was again hypnotized uh -huh. to the same extent. But do you mean that's how Ward Jones... Precisely. You're welcome. It's clear Ward used Yashuko as a human electronic brain, a sort of impregnable safe to keep his secrets in. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Safe that you know how to open, of course. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'll be too busy for the next few days. Why, Doctor? All you have to do is to walk around Monte Carlo for the next few days until the police decide to let you go. Which I doubt. And if I help you out, you'll get me out. Is that what you mean? Freedom always has a price tag attached to it. Mm. Oh. Hmm. oh, I guess we're early. <laughs> uh, I hate that suit. Well, he's had it. Poor guy. I've never seen a knife like that before. One side's a scaler and the Let's other... see if there are any clues. He died listening to Rush. 2112. Put it in the projector right away. He may have had time to get a photo. <laughs> the pocket-sized machine that goes ping! This is the GAF Murder Viewmaster. Sister Chuck Yeager. <laughs> that flower actually takes pretty good pictures. Lottie Kramdorf. And it's Thanatos. Thanatos? One of the most powerful gangs in the world. They beat me up when I was a kid. So they're mixed up in this, then. What kind of a hospital are they running here? This is beginning to look pretty serious. We better bring Sean in. A spy movie is starting to sag, and Ed Asner is there. Looks like uh, the Bigfoot video. Yep. Same stride. Pretty much. The Alps are beautiful, but dumb. Now, from the street, this place looks really small, but from the back, it's huge. Wow. Good God, I'm ugly. Scared my own children out of the nursery today. I've decided. We're ordering from Schlotzky's. It's standing in front of a Trump. Whoa. We're ordering lunch. What do you want? Excuse me. I'm three minutes late. That's okay. We're a pretty loose group. Nice head. He's three minutes late. Gentlemen. Start your engines. Operation Blackmail. Carl Bailey. Is drawing to a close. It's been a lot of fun for all of us. To carry it through successfully, so that we may control the world's gold reserves, requires unfaltering discipline. Uh, a splunge for me, sir. Here represent the gold reserves of the six wealthiest nations of the world. And your respective duties are... Wait for it. To lure these six powers uh into our trap. You realize, gentlemen... I'm binding. ...that this is the greatest financial undertaking in history. <laughs> We've traced the Japanese girl. She's in Malaga. Nice beanie. If you mean you want me to go with you to Spain, I can't accept the invitation. But it's a quick trip and pleasant. Sorry, but I won't play any spy games. If you let them snatch your shuko from under your nose, that's your fault. Take off the tam o' shanty. Wait a minute, you come back out now. I have a cable from the Minister of Health. The Minister of Health? Putting him under my orders for a month. Let's see, I like you. Do you like me? What? Minister of Health. That's Operation right Double O Girl Scout. <laughs> I can't read. That's an order, Doctor. This will kiss my white Scottish arse. Do I have time to change? Certainly. I'll be waiting in the bar for you, so hurry. You have a plane to catch. Waiting in the bar? In the bar. In the bar? I'm gonna get you. I will. <gasps> Just hanging out in the yard. <laughs> have you lost anything? Yes. The top third of my, my dress. Bow. The button came off. A very thoughtful bow. She has handles. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. Any reward? Uh, yeah, can I get your brother's autograph? 
Come on, Doctor, you've a plane to catch. One second, there's a reward I must collect. Uh, hey, just remember your name is Neil Connery. Now get in the plane. You'll have to leave the account open. Max is waiting for you at the airport. Let's double go. O double entendre. Hmm? I hope I see you again. I think she's neat. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll sing to the baby now. Man, it sounds like the British invasion's waiting for a flight out. <laughs> and when you deplane in Malaga, you'll be greeted by Manfred Mann. Well, that's odd. Mm -hmm. He should be here. Do I have enough time to beat up the band? Uh, they call it the Mercy Beat. In five minutes, she'll be screaming for mercy. Thank you. Ah. They're playing a penguin song. <laughs> hey, it's Money Penny. Pull over. It's Money Penny. That's okay. <laughs> Will you marry me? The telegram just came, and I left my dear little bride, Consuelo, and all of the other guests in front of the church. Because you see... Max, I'm getting married today. <laughs> Cock money, Penny. Oh, but where is Yashuko? Watch me dance. Oh, not another bow losing. Uh -huh. At first sight, I took you for an Azalea. What have you lost now? My necklace. Oh, it's so sweet to see you again, Doctor. Thank you. Hey, it's Bernie from room 222. Dr. Connery, you're so very kind, as usual. My pleasure. I'm very kind by nature. I'll remember that. Here by Jim Henson. Why don't you remember it tonight? Hmm? Hey, who's your favorite clown? Bozo! Bozo! Hey, that's Come me! On, doctor. Sorry. I can't do it. My husband, Fang! Ha <laughs> ha! This Friday on Streets. Oh, this must be the traditional call to gambling in Monte Carlo. <laughs> Go out and get some air, fatso. Well, it's a little drafty in the winter, but you can really stretch out. <gasps> Yashuko. Hey, this isn't how we left her with you. He who withdraws the blade is rightwise born king of England. Who's been here? Uh, some guy with a knife, huh? The poor girl. She didn't have anything to do with this. But this is not Yashuko. There was what? no Yashuko. She's a double, I tell you. A good double, but that's all. Solid double down the line. Are you sure? Positive. I know her pretty well. I've operated on her face. That means that they used her as bait to keep us off the track. Are you going to marry me or what? If you want to find the real Yashuko and still alive, I have a feeling you'd better begin moving fast. Go. Go. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. What have you lost this time? Oh, I've lost my lighter. And my dignity. Do you ever walk upright like other people? Pantsuits from the Mary Tyler Moore collection. If I were a lighter, where would I go? Well, there it is. Uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, uh, there it is indeed. Uh, uh, there you are. Do you have a nip uh, cigarettes? Not in front of Sir Walter Raleigh! Flint! Flint! My reward. That's it? You've got gorgeous eyes, you know. Oh, do you really like them? Very much. Can I have one? Oh, Neil, this isn't right. I don't think that... Ooh, she's got Aki on her face. Mm -hmm. Secret agent, John Ivan Palmer. <laughs> and now you will do whatever I want. And you will tell me everything I want to know. Let's talk Let's hockey. Know. And you must obey me. Mm -hmm. Who sent you here? Thanatos? Yes. Lip sync. <laughs> Who was their chief? Edward Clapp? Nobody knows. The trouble I've seen. What are they planning? I don't know. Do you know where they have hidden Yashuko? Yes. No. In Lottie's villa, hmm? near Malaga, hmm. just past the crossroad of Marbella. By a Tom Thumb. And is it heavily guarded? It's surrounded by a high-tension fence. And there's a machine gun, too. Whether that's heavily guarded, I suppose it depends on your definition of heavily guarded. Naughty. Can I get your brother's autograph? You know, you've got beautiful eyes, too. 
No, you've got beautiful eyes. No, you've got beautiful eyes. And then, of course, I... Oh, well, my God. Well, well. It looks like nobody in your family is a rank amateur. Mm. Uh, 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 let me get rearranged here. Uh, to think this was supposed to be my wedding night. I'm sorry to break up your little tete-a-tete. -tete, tete. But we've received information that Yashuko is being held prisoner outside Granada. That's funny. The opposite direction. Who told you that? She told me. She told me! Mm. No, let her go. Or we might ruin everything. Wow, what a cigarette! Ooh. Ooh. Maximum tanning. The president's analyst. You know, some people just can't wake up no matter how many alarms they set. Stop oh. now. Looks like you got an extra game there. Sacra blue. Sacra blue, huh? Uh, oh, yeah, Sacra blue. Now, well, let's go lift. Yeah. Looking good. It's all right. You can rest. Calm down. Martha Graham with her hair down. They've made you suffer, haven't they? How can they make such a pretty girl suffer like that? I'm asking myself the same thing. You mustn't be afraid of me. Here, I'm have some friend. new Miller clear. We women understand each other, don't we? Here. Water. It's what's for dinner. Drink. It'll do you good. Your bread will be out shortly. I'll let you look at the menu. What do you want from me? I've told you I don't know anything. I really don't know anything. Why are you so obstinate? I, I get Why? it from my father. We know that Ward confided something to you. It's not true. No, it's not true. It's not true. How many times do I have to tell you I don't know anything? Four? How can I convince you? <laughs> if you talk, I shall reward you in a way you can't even imagine. I'll leave. You live with me. Do you smoke? Like a princess. But I don't know anything. I swear it. Welcome to Noogie Hell. Hello, Vincent. Hello, Theo. Where is Vincent? I am here, Theo. Hello, Vincent. Jeez, I feel like Gargan and friggin' Tahiti here. Man, I'm really hot. Are you hot? Yeah. Jeez, I'm hot. Go. Charlie, you're my knight in shining armor. Hey, Greg. Heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> Is that darn thing going to work? Operation Double Double O Hee Haw. If my calculations are correct, the short circuit should cause a return of current capable of blowing up the turret with the ammunition. Hmm. Anyway, I got Lulu backing me up. Who do you? Who do you? <laughs> this is your local utility company reminding you to call before you are. Fran Leibowitz. Ooh, let's eat it. I don't see everybody. Hi. Welcome to a segment we like to call the Sean and Neil Show, Parallel Lives. In which we look at and contrast the careers of Sean Connery and his brother Neil Connery. The star of today's movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This line represents Sean's life. This one represents Neil's life. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, Sean's acting talent is discovered at an early age and leads to a long and lucrative film career. While Neil's talent for selling light bulbs over the phone is discovered, leading to a long life of menial jobs and aimless drifting. Well, up here is when uh, Sean gets his first million dollar royalty check for the James Bond series. While Neil gets his first $65 unemployment check after being laid off from the cheese factory. Yeah, here Sean is declared sexiest man alive by People magazine. While Neil is declared the stinky cat man in room 4B by the other tenants in his SRO hotel. Here, uh, Sean calls the most powerful and influential people in Hollywood and is put through immediately. While Neil calls Pizza Hut and is told that they won't deliver it to him because of bounce checks. Here, Sean is quoted as saying, during the making of The Man Who Would Be King, I had creative differences with director John Huston. While Neil is quoted as saying, my manager at the Happy Chef won't let me off for weekends. What a dink, man. 
Here, Sean goes to Spago's and is seated immediately. Hmm. While Neil's hot plate malfunction and burns down his shabby furnished room. So, Joel, what about that point on the graph where Sean's line actually goes lower than Neil's? Hmm? Oh, well, that was the point where uh, Sean agreed to do Highlander 2, the quickening, and ironically, that's when Neil had to comfort Sean. Oh, boy. You know, we should remind the nice folks out there that this is merely artistic speculation on our part of Neil Connery's life. For all we know, he's leading a prosperous, happy existence on a farm in Scotland with his beautiful wife and adoring children. That's right, Tom. Mm -hmm. And no matter what's gone wrong with his life, Neil can always look in the mirror and say to himself, well, at least they didn't do Zardoz. Mm -hmm. Right, and so, Neil, wherever you are, we would all just like to say... Well, don't you think that went well? I thought that went well. Okay, move. <laughs> let the girl go. If you love your hostage, let her go. Drop that knife. Drop it. Junior Samples and Linda Hunt in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Watch out! Oh, she's so calm. Her roommate just got shot, and she's so calm. The Sod Squad, Julie, Pig, Ebb. And the calla lilies are raining hot lead. <laughs> Go on, I'll cover you. Camelon, coming through. Camelon! Catherine Hepburn is the shakiest gun in the West. <laughs> cover me, Norman. The Rocketeer! Ooh. Oh, it's the only way he can talk to women. I am Ward. You are June. Ward, June. I told you something about Thanatos. Remember what I told you about Thanatos? Yes. Thanatos. Thanatos. To steal an atomic nucleus. Good. What else did I tell you? Hmm. Code 22. Bar 6. Two words. Dead one. Two words, bite me. Judy Kern? Wait a minute, she looks like Shields and Yarn now. <laughs> She's a Tony girl. Hmm. Davidson. <laughs> Go on, what happens in Tetuan? Watch Bond, take short hand. Blind work in Tetuan. Uh, slow down. Blind die in Tetuan. Uh, in touch just a second. Uh, the blind. Try again. Oh, now, come on! <laughs> Lady, you are due back in the Space 1999 set. Joan Jett just walks in and she takes over. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's nothing. I'd hoped to get here before she talked. Couldn't get a cab. Perhaps I could have saved you. Uh, was I supposed to do that? I'm a pickin'. And I'm a killin'. Nice going. You just killed Sacagawea. Hmm? What did you get out of your shuko? Nothing much. Mostly in a sort of code. It must be deciphered. As if I'm not busy enough. She spoke also of Tetuan. Something strange. The blind die in Tetuan. What else did she say to you? Well, she wanted my brother's autograph. It seems that Thanatos isn't joking. They're planning to steal an atomic nucleus. <laughs> Atomic nucleus. Oh, that's what I use on the Why, corn. That's not possible. North Dakota before the apocalypse. Da, 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 da. Wow. Da 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 da. Consider Northern Illinois University. The atomic nucleus, and only a jeep for an escort. Hey, here come the Brides Does a Road Show. <laughs> Why, Matthew, it's a herd of Miss Kitty. Now they can hit 60 in brief spurts. Tailhook takes it on the road. Ooh. A few good men meet a few naughty women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, la, la. It's a man's life in the new modern army. Uh, our Partridge family van broke down. <laughs> oh, she looks like an oil <laughs> fire. Yeah. <laughs> when you can, can. 
It's the Pusa Dart Band. No! Oh. Ooh. Uh, they're just going to tag him and check him for parasites. Camera! Camera! Oh, see? Gay's in the military right there. Ooh. Hey, gals, when does the sex start? Then Felina, goodbye. They'll sleep till morning now. Just what are these women trying to liberate? <laughs> All right, girls, get out of those clothes. <gasps> Where angels go, trouble follows. Mm. Oh, she could be a candidate for Big Bird, definitely. Mm -hmm. Bury my dress at Wounded Knee. Now, let's get to work on the truck. We gotta hit Le Pew's place. So, the composer's whistling at him. Am I tripping, Joel? And Las Vegas was born. You stop that. The Bible tells me stop so. it. <laughs> Sorry. They keep busy, don't they? You want to help out here, Susan? Tonight, the Dirty Dozen meets Blansky's beauties. Seems like the seductress polecat had other things on her well, mind. They're setting up a Goonie golf. All right, drive on. Terrorists were more fun back then. <laughs> this is even better than Mission Impossible when they take a street in L.A. and make it look like Belgium. It's Big Al Hurt and Pete Fountain Ooh. marching us all out of this seat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? Gentlemen. I prefer blondes. With his usual brilliance and imagination. Carrot Top. Beta has secured the atomic nucleus we need. Yes, I did, the atomic and nucleus so we you need. we are in position to continue with our plans. Beta will now explain to you the experiments our technicians have been carrying out. Dressed as showgirls. Over the past few weeks. Thanks for the marvelous introduction, Irv. I'll take it from here. Gentlemen, I shall start by saying these are all just small-scale experiments. These are all just small-scale experiments. ...of causes. But now, with this powerful material at our disposal, we are at last able to generate ultra-high frequencies... Peep. ...and to direct the magnetic wave to at least a third of the globe. All metals will be instantly affected. Animals will be bred and, and slaughtered? The will fuse solidly. Cholitos will be half All off. Dynamos. Dynamo home. Ships, planes, guns, tanks, armaments, everything mechanical must will be so. A useless lump of metal. Oh, and forks. From high atop the top copy palace in downtown Istanbul, it's Fred Waring and his orchestra. Oh, that'll may drop later. The remaining monkey brains have been reduced to $1.99. Nice digs, huh, Susan? Well, where's the guy with the pickled eggs? Take it to the red room. One more time. <laughs> they look like Electro Woman and Dinah Girl. <laughs> Other guests are coming. From, From here up. To Rubenstein and Sammy Khan walking arm in arm. Doctor, how nice to see you again. Thank you. One second. You're dressed as a space angel. Why? How lucky Maya asked you to come. I was going to get in touch with you to arrange a meeting. Could you feel this bump oh, on my head? Of course, the return game. I had no idea you were so interested in archery. No, I'm not. <laughs> It's your services as a plastic surgeon I'm interested in. Uh -huh. Why? Would you like to have your features changed? Me? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm quite satisfied with my face. Oh. And with my nose, also. Although I do no. weather vane in high winds. It's for a friend. He wants to become the exact double of another man. Bob Eubanks. But for the time being, there's no need for you to understand. And of course... You don't. You can state your own price. Uh, Welch's? For me, it's not a matter of money. It's primarily a matter of principle. Although I'm a little low today. We'll come to bucks? an agreement. You'll see. We'll have time to talk about it. 
I lost my pocket. Bobby Gentry, so good to see you again. I don't know who invited him. Will you excuse me for a minute? I won't be long. I've been advised I look ridiculous. I'm sure with so many beautiful girls round, you won't get bored. No, no, you're right. Because <laughs> women are just all over me. I mean, I got no problem, if you know what I mean. Rocky Mountain Oysters? Thank you. No, thank you. Do you have any snackish type foods here? Summer sausage, toothpicks maybe? Those little mints? Ron! David! Well? What have you done? Not very much. It's difficult. They're all afraid of Alpha. Idiots? Maybe they're right. After all, Alpha is powerful. We've got a good bench. Come in. There's a message from the yacht. It's very urgent. Hmm. Hi! Well, let's see here. It says, take off that ridiculous get up, and it's signed yacht. It, yeah. Hmm. It's from Alpha. He's having a good time. He set the date. He wants me to join him immediately. Where to be oh, married? What timing? It'll be the last time he gives me an order. Hmm. I'll destroy him, and I'll be the head of Thanatos. It is very, very risky. It's <laughs> not for me. What about the girls? They may be dangerous witnesses. As soon as the operation is over, the yacht will blow up. Remember, folks, he can read lips. He is reading lips right now. With the girls aboard? Yes. Yes. Maya, too? It's inevitable. I German the yellow frog. What, Bozo the piano chive? I used to be good at this. There must be no witnesses. Only you will share my secret. You know that you can trust me. Huh? Now let's go inside and see if we can convince them. And remember to have fun. <laughs> Marla Maples. Hmm. Doctor. My eyes have seen May I divert it. you from your meditation? A coincidence. I was just thinking of you. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> yeah, looks like her tomato aspic got away from her. Hmm. Maya. Uh, there's a big your bug life on is your in head. danger, in serious danger. Are you threatening me? No, certainly not, but I have just overheard a conversation between your Mr. Thayer and... Who? Yes, I've seen few villas as beautiful as this one. It's quite splendid. Act natural, your lips might be bugged. Oh, Donald! Senor Mendoza. Jesse Norman wants her caftan back. You're not going, are you? I was hoping to play a hand of Chemin de Fer with you. Hmm? I don't gamble, Mr. Thayer. I only bet on winning horses. That's why you should stay. Ooh, Melvin Laird's getting cheesed. Mm. I have an important announcement to make. I'm Rue McClanahan. You me out there. I thought you had the voting majority. As far as I'm concerned, this meeting never happened. Mm. Let's drop it and leave things as they are. I shouldn't advise that. Oh, I'm sorry, Colin. I want to know whether you are with me or with Alpha. Or with Child. I warn you, be careful how you answer. The Beatles! Oh. You can put yourselves in a dangerous spot. Under my caftan. It's a lot more dangerous to listen to you. Ooh. In a few days, Alpha will be dead. Criswell predicts. But no one will know except us. Within hours, I'll have an exact double for Alpha. Neat, huh? Everything will go on as if nothing happened. Nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. But with this difference... Your hair can have more body and shine. The new Alpha will be my man. Oh, my man, I love him so. It's going to blow up soon. Maybe even tomorrow, with you on board. Uh, you're kind of hard to dance with. <laughs> you read too many novels by Fleming. Jerry Fleming, Ian's brother. <laughs> I assure you, it's true. Your life is in grave danger. I'm that bad a dancer. <laughs> Seriously. I'll keep everything under control somehow. With my control top pantyhose, but seriously. <laughs> if my information is right, you'll be indebted to me. It sounds like Hercules. Of course. <laughs> anyway. Why does Mr. Thayer hire only blind people in his rug factory? Oh, wait, I know this one. I... Hi, Largo. I don't know. I've never been in there. Only blind people are allowed to go inside. And I'm blonde. <laughs> but seriously, I... Excuse me. 
I have to go talk to an interesting person. Well, she seems nice enough. Hmm? Uh, should have had her bring me back some three bean salad. And by the man, C station. Hmm? Aye, aye, sir. Grass blows. Hmm, I should get me one of those. It's Red October. Hi, Sean. Hi, Ron. I could have gotten a ride on that. I didn't want to. We've installed a screen door, sir. <laughs> How do you get this thing out of reverse? This man could win $5,000! Michael O'Donoghue! That's a great yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 brother. To see your land? <laughs> I hope you can read Braille lips. <laughs> You're new here. And they say a Lou Reed shall guide them. <laughs> Casting call for Name of the Rose. Hmm. It's the boys in the hoods. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, spicy. <laughs> you know, I bet Dolphin Temp has a hard time filling these positions. Mm. Bruno, Bruno! All right, you win. They're all blind. Dick Edberg here. Hold on to each other by the shoulder and come with me. Well, it felt like shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so, any of you sure play a mean pinball? Wait a minute, it's the blind. Leading the blind, 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 leading the blind. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm blind. Yeah, blind. Uh, yeah. Listen, all of you. And you shall hear. Here you will weave rugs. Don't worry. It's a simple, easy job. You'll get your food and your family will get your pay. There is a coke machine in the break room. Each one of you will be placed at the loop and will begin with an easy task. With a little goodwill, you will learn quickly. And now get to work. We will start with a hot pad holder first. Wait a minute, he's infiltrated a quilting bee. Goodwill Industries, now it can be told. Somebody heard him looking. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Good enough for the state fair. Hmm. What's this? The blind weaving the blind? Wall-to-wall -wall trouble in Carpetland, USA? You know, ironically, Connery wears a rug. <laughs> oh, that's very <laughs> clever, isn't it? Yeah. Well, who's the sign for? Well, it must be where they make the nuclear-powered rugs. Ah. <laughs> Shut the door. I do believe I am developing pictures of rugs in here. Hot L Baltimore. Hot L Baltimore. Hot L Baltimore. <laughs> huh. Would you please stop tapping like that? You know, a buffet would never work in this place. <laughs> Are you Hank? No. You smell like Hank. No. Mwah! <laughs> this is like silkwood, only in a rug factory. Uh, silkworm! <laughs> oh, you, you've got some marmalade on your hand. You're working with radioactive material. It will kill you. What is it that you mean by that? Sometimes I think you want me to fail. You are working with radioactive materials, do you understand? Yeah, well, I get paid $2 more an hour. It will kill you. They're trying to murder us. That is why we have the souls. We must go. Neil's a skilled rabble rouser. Huh? Guys, that's not the door. That's the oh. core. Oh. I'm staying. I need the money. It's going to take you, the police, the fire department, and the National Guard to get me out of here. Hey, this is kind of fun. You know... 
this must be five o'clock on a Friday. You want it when? <laughs> Quit tussling me. Can't you tell I am fragile? Got everybody, be sure to sign Vicky's birthday card before you leave. She won't be here on Monday. Well, it looks like casual day backfired. It's my only. It's my only. Allah. All right, let him go. Oh, gee, I was just on the road to Damascus and whammo, look at me. Is he wearing a braille jacket? He's pretty good, huh? Bad touch. Your Arabic is quite good. However, it dates from the time of the Crusades. Dr. Connery. Oh, I could never fool you. Give me a hug. Is it my scene now? Margo, is it mine now, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, Maynard Ferguson in the Centennial Senior High School gym. <laughs> Bobby Joe, get back here. You're an extraordinary man, Doctor. I know. Let me show you my Time Life library. Imaginative and resourceful. Nice sense of humor, too. It's too bad you prefer to play on the opposing team. Too bad from your point of view. Ooh. Yes, but it is my point of view that counts. I know you are, but what am I? If you'd done me the small favor I asked... You'd be in marketing by now. There would have been... More chip-tip. No such complications as these. Hmm. Now you'll have to operate anyway, under less favorable circumstances. You understand? Well, what else can I do? Again. Oh. It's a new car! Well, neat. Where's the bar? Here is your patient, doctor. Doctor, patient, patient, doctor. Everything's ready for you. I want to be generous. So, here's a quarter. In return for your services? You get to rub my tummy. Your life? You've come a long way, baby, Kathy. to get where you've got to today. Can I borrow your miniskirt for the party in the Lido deck? All the girls, I've got to warn them. I've just learned that we're going to have to fight for our lives. Hmm. They've decided to blow up the yacht with all of us aboard. Come on. That's a bad thing, right? If it stops, so will yours. Well, look, I just came in for a haircut. Really, just a little off the sides. Okay. Okay, how are we today? Good, good, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Looking good. How's that little prostate problem? All right, you can go. Can we have the night canopy, please? You know, I think that operating room clashes with now the couch. Just, sleep. Just relax. You're tired. You want to rest. That's right. Relax. Yes, yes, yes. You have nothing to fear. You're going to enter your nostril now. Good. Steve Austin. Relax. That's right. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. A couple of tucks, he could be Roy Finnis. Where was your chest on the night of the 23rd? Oh, he kiped that speaker from a drive-in. Oh. Evil. As soon as Connery has completed the operation, you'll get new sweaters. I want him Ew. Hi. Hello. It's Tony Basil. Ooh. Yeah, the lust boat. Boy, women have really broken through the glass ceiling in this movie. Yeah, but there's a guy looking up through it. Oh. Women can't live with him, can't live without him. It's closing time at Hooters. Oh, baby. Oh, he deserved that. Still, it was worth it. Oh, Olay. Now you will follow my instructions. Sit, stay. Cool. You won't have a moment of peace till it's all finished. Can you even dye my eyes to match my doll? Any old time. Oh, I see here that you haven't been flossing. <laughs> no. How do you like your martini, shaken or stirred? <laughs> I'm taking the president's nose. <laughs> now go. <laughs> the anesthetic wore off. <laughs> I love you, damn it. <laughs> Police squad in color. Take this, John Entwistle. 
He did too. Oh, oh, Danny, let's settle this in court. Oh, he just... mm, watch out for the model ship. An actual Donny Brook in Easy Spirit pumps. <laughs> it's the wackiest ship in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> when up with people goes bad. That was a real Capigio kick. Did someone say fight? Enter the chiropractor. Ooh. Chuck Taylor. Hmm. Hey. Stop this scene right now. That Ooh. violates some rules. I woke up, you weren't there, I hate that. Oh, with it. Watch out for the model. The hell? Right into a Bob Fosse routine. Mrs. Partridge, look out! Uh, no, this is a one-seater, Homer. It's Hella Blue, or where the action is, or Hootenanny. <laughs> Happening 68. Yeah. If Sam Peckinpah directed the Boatniks. <laughs> Well, he's wearing a Linus shirt. There's no reason to hit him. There's no end to these little blue guys. Ooh. Well, that's a cute top, Cindy. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, that is one figure-hugging turtleneck there. Oh, poopy. Mm -hmm. Licorice? No. Oh. Oh, great, now the boat's sinking. I finally got used to that. Wait a minute, he's becoming part of his own entertainment center. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Oh, excuse me, oh, broken out. Oh, hi, oh, oh, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, hi, Betsy. Oh, oh excuse me, pardon me. Oh. And as Felco shows his true colors of yellow and flees the Calypso, we, and as we left the clam flowage that day... Stop that. We... Yeah, let's see you hypnotize him from here, Mr. Cool. Victory, he's heading there. We can't worry about that right now. We've got to find Thanatos' headquarters. Now, the radioactive rugs were made at the factory. Mm -hmm. Where were they sent? I really never knew that, but once I heard something about a place near Munich. <laughs> Munich! Munich! Oh, no! oh! No, no, no! Come on, just let me try to hypnotize you. Crow likes it. <laughs> you can't make me, you can't make me, you can't make me! Oh, what the... Ah, Joel, so sorry to interrupt your little skit, but uh, Frank would like to do a number. I was a little hard on him during the invention exchange. So here's our own TV's Frank, accompanying himself on the accordion with the haunting Beer barrel poker. And a one, Humor and him, a two, okay. and a one, two, three, four. Ah, that's rather nice. Not really a polka, more of a march. Good, very familiar. Here are the Mr. Pibs that you ordered, sir. Oh, thank you. Just put them on the. You? What the? Then you mean your pib? I specifically oh. ordered a diet squirt. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. I'll make it right. No, 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 no. Frank, have the Mr. Pib. You can have the Mr. Pib this time. No, my doctor says I can't have Mr. Pib. Frank, I'm your doctor, and I say have the Mr. Pib. Uh, the master yeah. wanted you to have these coupons for, for our veggie feast. He, he wanted you to have them, but I'm giving them to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to thank you. Thank you. Yes, have a nice day. I was. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, um, may I use your bathroom? Oh. There, on the left. All right, let's land. 
directional elevator indicates that's the spot. Well, high on a hill of the lonely goat herd, so you might want to take an alternate route this afternoon. This place is crawling with chat hands. Hmm. Ping! Oh, no. Um, maybe you should land before you get out. Oh. Honey, you got your keys? Your keys! She's nude. Oh. Take a look in that She's shed. smooth. Oh, uh, this feels great. Pleather is really something. <laughs> I'm beginning the countdown. Begin countdown. Knock it off, Trevor. Seconds. The warning signal. Hmm? It's Connery. Every... He's found the secret entrance. Such a curious man. <laughs> I'll satisfy his curiosity. Let him in. Double double oh seven is on. Turn it off. Mm. Sir, someone's doing a drunk test outside. 112, 111, 100. I'm gonna shut you down till about 20, okay, Trevor? Trevor! Connery's now in the tunnel. Oh, now it's the outer limits. Oh. I'm not going in the tunnel. Oh, I am in the tunnel. Huh, imagine that. Boy, it reeks down here. Hey, put that thing away. Stop right there! Well, she's not the only smooth one. That's for stealing my Naugahyde couch. Maya, you better call London. Okay. Alternate vibrators. Hmm? Alternate vibrators inserted. Hey, hey, you can't say that. 82. 81. So how come everybody's got Count Basie following them? Heidi's grown up. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, uh. What? Oh, oh no, no, no. wrong. <laughs> the backstabber, stabbers. Thank you, Ron Popeil. Hmm, what would my brother do? Well, that must be the Fine Arts Building. <laughs> so I guess nobody's going to notice the guy in the tan suede ranch jacket, are they? No. Sunrise Band. Hmm. Oh, leave me alone. Airwolf meets Dr. Zhivago. Uh, should we be moving her or something? Oh, a big old helicopter. Hey, everybody, when uh, that lady gets off the helicopter, check out her pants. <laughs> yeah, make sure she doesn't lose the Jesus neck. Uh, Wait, can I get out for crying out? Where's the valet? For, forget it. Hello, Mrs. Pants. I uh, mean, uh, shoot. I Give me an espresso, please. It's terribly urgent. London in England? How do you expect to do On that? On the telephone, please help me. It's oh, a matter of life or yeah. death. You can try. I don't know if you'll get through. Well, there's Waldo. Oh. 31. 30 seconds. Magnetic 29. intensity at concentration level. Thank you, Charles Aznavour. 27. Me. 25. Magnetic wave ready to function. Four. It's just an elaborate closed drive. Oh. Hello, London. Extension 142. I want to speak with Commander Cunningham immediately. It's terribly urgent. Never mind who I am. Hurry! Five. Bottles of beer on the wall. Four. Bottles of beer on the wall. Three. Two. A castle on a hill. A lonely goat herd. But how far from Munich? One. Singular sensation. The headquarters are 20 miles from... <sighs> what happened? Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. Hello. Say hello. We've been cut off. Well, I'm not calling her back. I'm wondering... What do the simple folk do? Hmm. Whatever will this do to my underwear bra? That does it. Now, where did I park? Too smooth. I gotta admit it. Oh, boy, you know, those slacks hurt me. When you say buggy, boom, 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 sail. Hi. 
cloud. So, Mr. Bond's brother. I'm happy to have you as my guest again. Oh. I'll show you how the operation works on our anti-magnetic equipment. Oh, you get in Quite in. neat, don't you think? And that's the last favor I can do you. I only allowed you to live because I wanted you to witness my success. I've got what I wanted without your help. Nah. Take him away. I think I'm supposed to have some snappy comeback here, but, uh... No, further. Keep going. Don't look at me like that. Suddenly, it's the brother's friggin' Karamazov. Good. The magnetic wave has blocked it. Aren't you a champion archer, too? No, sorry about that. I'm a pretty good fighter, though, and I guess that can be useful, too. Can it? Their cars broke. Their horses will poop on the parking lot. <laughs> Look, they outlawed night. Oh, you guys look really stupid. Plastic pants, plastic pants. Gene Krupp is down there. <laughs> oh boy, another stare down with Neil. Oh, girl. Mental. Rick, what's wrong with you? There's my Phillips screwdriver. Oh, we yo, yo, oh, we yo, yo. I wish they'd stop pretending this is exciting. Hey, that looks just like a YouTube video. Under a blood red sky. Come on, you guys, it's Neil Connery. You should be able to get him. Oh, my pants, my pants. Come on. Oh, what a time for a fire Brother. drill. <laughs> See how that alligator skin hat helps you now, huh? Come on, girls, they hurt Buddy. Mommy! They shot Jolson! <laughs> Wait, that's not... No, the, no, take me again. No, that's I got not it. now. Where are you going? To try to blow up the tower. Hold it. Take this. My grandma gave it to me. It's an anti-magnetic... Thing! Explosive. Can I set the dial? Show you. Good. We'll cover you. Okay, we'll meet you there. It's the Elmer Fudd Brigade. Ooh, Ooh, fell right on it. Ooh, again. Oh, oh, Ed, come on. See here. Uh, we'll do that later. Well, let's see. Trade ya. Oh. Lou Archer must be on this case. Oh. The archers. Geez, everybody gets a turn here, huh? Encore, mommy! <laughs> Mr. Belvedere! Better park the hard drive here. Let's stick. Huh? Hmm. This is your last chance for a witty remark. At your own game, Doctor. Well, that's a perfect setup for a witty remark. Come on. I mean, Come on, Doctor. It's no good if you don't retort. It can be anything. It can be about my nose or my stupid alligator suit. Anything! Huh? Hey, that's not fair! <laughs> Jeez, you're soggy in this suit. Ugh. Hope you use the stunt badge. Ooh -hoo. Ow. Hmm. You know, guys, I think this is about more than just magnetizing. Mm -hmm. This goes much deeper. 
Stunt Largo. Look, guys. <laughs> yep. Hey, somebody punched the Foley guy. <laughs> okay, okay, take back everything you ever said about me. Ooh. Oh, man, am I moist. Tody Fields was never this moist. <laughs> Prepare to meet Kali's brother near hell. Bow fight at the OK Corral. <laughs> I'm gonna do it! <laughs> oh. You know, he's gonna need a vinyl patch kit. Yep. Oh, are these guys still at it? They're crazy. They're beating up LeBeau. Uh, you know, for some reason, I like the fight on the boat better. Me too. Uh, hey, Vern. Are you the lot? Hey, everybody, there's a party going down at the... We've got to oh. get before the tower blows up. Well. Oh, oh, and I forgot to tell you earlier that there's a tower that's going to blow up in this soon. Oh, I just got it. That's the tower that's going to blow up. Yeah, Ooh, they didn't tell us about it. Quick! Are we going to die? We're really not that far away. The Brigadoon compound exploded today. Fiona and Meg escaped unharmed. Unfortunately, Bonnie Jean has died. Kind of like watching Bonanza in reverse. <laughs> that must be the Thunderball I heard them talk about. So much. Hey. hey, relax. We won you, hothead. <laughs> okay, Connery, okay. You were fantastic. You even made my best agents look like beginners. Oh, I shouldn't think so, Commander. I was lucky, that's... No, you're too modest. You should have seen your brother's face, Doctor. When he heard of it. Hey, settled back with a smooth As Canadian a fact, club. If you happen to have a few days free, I was thinking I'd be happy to have you back in the reserves with the rank of Major. If I wasn't so placid right now. Yeah. You would? Oh, is church steeple, is it? Get sleeper. Wait, you watch? Major. Nelson. What was I saying? <laughs> that you have to return to London immediately. Oh, Isn't that right, Commander? Oh. It works on my brain, too. You remember? <laughs> yes, of course. I must return immediately. I'm a famous lounge singer. I am. I'm Mrs. Norman Maine. Yeah, this is the part my brother told me about. <laughs> nope. Well, yes, I should take my own life, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Angel of Death, my powered rifle. Yes, yeah, it's angulated crossfire. Yeah. <laughs> We're having fun at his expense. It's fun. <laughs> Ready, girls? Let's go! You probably hypnotized her into liking him. <laughs> yeah, I should think that life would lose a lot of its zip if uh, you had ultimate power over everyone, you know? Sean Connery's brother won't be back again in anything. Good. <laughs> he <laughs> 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 I get so... Oh, what the... <laughs> How do you suppose this happened? We're stuck to the wall. Ah, oh, criminy. Holy cats. Wow. Oh, are you guys stuck to the wall? Yeah. We're immobilized. We're stuck. Oh, I bet I know whose idea this was, sirs. Was this your idea, huh? Hmm? Why, Joel, I... Uh... 
you got me. <laughs> no low contendere. <laughs> I saw the movie, <laughs> remembered I had my old magnetizer. <laughs> These things are great. <laughs> you gotta admit, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm stuck to the wall. <laughs> It's no use, Joel. It ain't gonna work. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, Quick, give me rocket number nine. Oh. Very funny, sirs, but I'll have you know that you're probably interrupting intercontinental telecommunication. Yeah. Ooh, wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll demagnetize you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> How about a recall an hour, Ernst? Until next time, Joel, off Peter Zane. Thank you. Mystery Science Theater 3000 Show 422 Real One. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Stop at 5.6 for maximum depth of field. Okay, that looks good. Okay, 5.6 at, uh, let's see here, 8 feet. That comes to roughly uh, ASA of 200. Okay, adjust lighting to full lumens in a cone focus. That looks good. Okay, bring around the backdrop. Stay cheery, everybody. Okay. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite Up. I'm Joel Robinson, and I just thought it would be nice to get a nice picture of the boys to have around the house, so I'm taking their portrait, and uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, could we just go, please? Bugger! Stop but... it, you two! What? They were like this all the way over. You guys, listen. Cut it out, Fembot! We are yeah, going yeah, to get a nice yeah. picture of this family if it kills us. <laughs> Crow. Hey. What? Crow. Where are those nice pants I bought you? I don't know. You can't walk around wearing a sport coat without your nice pants. Well, can we just go? Commercial we'll sign in 10 seconds. seconds. Say cheese. Okay, now, now come on, you guys. Shape up. Face cam bot. Come on, Gypsy, get in here. Oh, my hair! Oh, hold, hold it. it. Hey, the light meter, Joel! 
Hey, chocolate milk curb. You guys, would you please get back into position? Come on, knock it off. Gypsy, come on, Speed and Chim Chim are calling. Stop it. Okay, thanks a lot. Sorry about the tip. I left the money in my other uh, pocket. Oh, hi, Joel. How you doing? We'll be with you in one second. Clayton, here, boy. Come here, Clayton. Here, boy. Here, Clayton. Give me one good ah. reason why I shouldn't kill you, Frank. Well, the stuff is here. <laughs> the ah. stuff that we ordered. To... Just in time for the invention exchange. <laughs> uh, you go first, pumpkin pants. Well, your ample ones, my invention exchange this week dynamically blends martial arts with snacking. It's called Snaction, and it makes snacking fun. Here's a Snaction favorite, the wax knuckles, all right? And here's one, it's called a pixie staff. Oh, oh. <laughs> it, uh, it's a pixie stick filled with delicious uh, straight sugar, see? Okay, and uh, hey, uh, Crow, hey, Crow, what are these, uh, what are these here? What, what, what are, are these? which ones? What are these? Oh, them are the five lady fingers of death. Gee. Girl, five lady fingers of death, you get it? And this is based on a Chuck Norris movie. It's called The Everlasting Octagon Stomper. You get it? Oh, and these are ninja throwing cookies. Oh, hey, those are delicious. Yeah. You see, everybody doesn't like some things, but nobody doesn't like Bruce Lee. Ouch. Uh-oh. I broke him. Oh, well, that's really great, Joel, but uh, we've got something going down here that's really special. Tell him, Frank. Well, <laughs> Dr. Forrester has taken the money from my 401k and sunk it into these fast food novelty items, which he's just sold to a major, major buyer who shall remain nameless. Well, actually, that fell through, but I'm sure they're going to sell. You see, Joel, they're called unhappy meals. You, you took uh, my money and you haven't sold them yet? Oh, quit whining, Frank. Uh, as an example, Joel, this one comes uh, from the restaurant with a uh, cold hamburger sandwich with a bite taken out of it. <laughs> uh, the, uh, some floor sweeping compound, <laughs> a couple of dead silverfish, and a uh, rusty suture needle. <laughs> you took all my money, you son of a... Watch it, Frank. Uh, now, there are many different styles, Joel. Uh, for instance, uh, this one comes with a maze, and you try to get the motorcade past the book depository. <laughs> and then uh, this one comes with a uh, used Q-tip. Ooh, that is unhappy, isn't it? And then there's one with a roach motel, and well, you get the idea. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> uh, I think it's evil, and it'll never sell. Yeah, and give Frank his money back. Yeah. Oh, blow it out, your ick. Experiment today is a Swedish fantasy called The Day the Earth Froze. Uh, but first, a short, aptly titled Here Comes the Circus, and I hope it goes down hard. Push the button, Frank. No, I want my money back. Forceps, Frank. Pain. I don't care. I want my money. Electroshock, Frank. No! Push the button. No! The box, Frank. Push the button. Oh, 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 golly. I think you broke my dome. Oh. Here comes the devil. <laughs> it above the clown. Guys, can we be just a little less dark with this short, okay? Dark? Dark. There's <laughs> excitement everywhere. The circus is here. Everyone is headed for the big top to thrill to and cheer the fun makers, daredevils, freaks, and ferocious performing animals. And here come the freaks now. Look at them all. <laughs> It's a dime for soap candy and maybe a tummy ache tomorrow. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Chug it. Chug it. For the elephant. Now, folks, step right this way to the bigger, better, more exciting sideshow. Now, here's the deal. Just four years. Christmas present coming. Plenty of time to see it all. Get your red hot mom. To the lovely little lady on my right. She performs her own tracheotomy. And she's cute, too. Mm. Now, <laughs> the snake charm extraordinary. Right. On the inside, she performs now, the, the hell? Big show, the event that the kids and the grown-ups have been waiting for for months. Nobody's going to tell a Navy man when he's had enough to drink. The Circus proudly presents the magnificent and gorgeous inaugural pageant. In oh, I think it's Thomas Edison with his electric child. 
support is drummed up for the Spanish-American War. Hey, uh, wait a minute, aren't the horses supposed to go behind the band? Oops. <laughs> now make way for the Ku Klux Clowns! Woo! Yes, children of all ages are confronted by forces they can't begin to understand. Seagull! Okay, hey, guys, girl. you're too dark. Would what? you lighten up? How about this? Hey, look, it's Rue McClanahan. Okay, there, that's... <laughs> there. It's Ezekiel, the Amish clown. <laughs> no buttons. Oh, look, it's Ice Princess Zebra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Hey, it's Emma Kelly. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no, it <laughs> really is. Oh. Yeah, whatever, Joel. That's really neat. <laughs> <laughs> Champion no! It's Liza! Dido. No! no! Razor, no! Oh. By the oh. 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 See? Emmett changed management soon after this. Oh, we love it when he eats! <laughs> Miss Betty Rich, queen of the air, in a sensational display of breathtaking aerial feats without a net below. The first time in America, Miss Betty Rich... Would Potter. someone give me a hand here? Ooh, Betty got back. I'll say. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> Mother, please come home. <laughs> yes, our Betty swings both oh, ways. Stop it. Huh? She tell us, look. Listen, you hit the floor a couple of times, you make sure you get it right. There. <laughs> This takes care of unwanted hair in the bikini area. Oh, they take a licking and keep on ticking. Women who love too much and the feet that use them. This one's on the rebound. Oh, <laughs> and now the only girls do a complete somersault too high to the feet of the balancer. This act was outlawed on several continents. Yes, it's the man who mistook his wife for a hat. <laughs> Hi, Rick. Sarah. Flipped her off. Sorry, Wayne, this is for the ladies only. The celebrated Rifenock troop, bareback riding marvels whose equals do not exist. Face and beauty of equestrianism. Turn your head if you're squeamish. Yes, this act embodies the sadness that is circus. That is too dark. No, stop it. Sorry. Is Is all he does is eat? It's funny. It's good. What? The beautiful bareback riding ballerina, Miss Lucy. Could not be with us tonight, so we have this air. You're next up there. And now, ladies oh. and gentlemen, we present the boys group <laughs> <laughs> in <laughs> I thought there was another bar! Whoa! Here come the comics of the uh -oh. air in dexterous and hilarious feet <sighs> high above the tan bar. Store this image away for a later nightmare. I invented that move. Yeah, right. Levi's loose fitting clown jeans. No, 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 they're doing it clown style. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, and Madonna thinks she's oh, innovative. Please tell me this isn't happening. Oh, oh, no. oh, no, no, no. More, more, I'm a bad clown. <laughs> yes, children's windows of perception are open for only a second, only to take in the horror that is the circus. High above the crowd, Dag Hammerskull takes to the trapeze. Yes, it's Albert Spear, nude, donning a dance belt. Thank you, Albert. In the center ring, the only group of Familino Liberty horses in the world, trained and presented by Adolf Del Bosque. We won't linger on this one, folks. There's not much to it, really. Mm. Uh, remember to punch in, Ed. Nay. <laughs> oh, that is Siegfried. Over here, Roy. Hello, Siegfried. Hello, Roy. Oh, yeah. This is a Freudian dream. Mm -hmm. Hank Kimball's brought in. 
Hey, Mr. Douglas, I see you got a horse. Well, it's not really a horse, it's more of a... Uh, fellas, this is just wrong. On the Hippodrome track, high-jumping horses. Woo! <laughs> and Emmett Kelly's still eating! And it's still funny! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the most daring rider Ooh. in all the world, Miss Dorothy Herbert, blindfolded over a barrier of fire. Ah, it's Black and Beauty, the Cajun horse. Hey, see Everett Kook. <laughs> Presenting Otto and Freddy for the funniest prize fight in circus history. Bing Crosby's relationship with his son Gary is reenacted. <laughs> Let the nightmare begin. <laughs> this is the strangest debate format I have ever seen. <laughs> you know, don't laugh, but in a way, this is this town's passion play. Oh, it's a full contact who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. Don't talk about our clown, Martha. Kitties! Meow. And now, Clyde Beatty, the most fearless man in all the world, alone in a cage with a herd of man-eating African lions, <laughs> the greatest wild animal trainer of all time. He is not here. Faced with the most ferocious of all jungle-bred animals. John Turturro? Mm -hmm. Stella! <laughs> the six flying thrillers Daring midair marbles high over the center ring. Hmm. A troop of absolutely fearless and unrivaled. Looks like an ant farm. <laughs> who fly through the air performing spectacular and hazardous feats. I know you're not going to complete fifth grade gym without doing this, right? Come on, let me hit you on the butt. No. How about just a light tap? Uh-uh, not now. Oh, we'll come on, please, later. right now. Well, later, it'll be much more fun. Uh, you're ruining it. it for me. Stop it. What? What? Sorry. Pass the word. Ed's been hitting the bottle today. Oh, like that's a big improvement over what we've been doing. Party in Susan's dressing room. Party in Susan's dressing room. Pass the word. Uh oh. Miss Jean Allen with a herd of ponderous pachyderms, their trunks full of new drinks. A rogue elephant snaps its tether and kills a coolie. Now who's getting dark? <laughs> I like it. I'm taking this elephant for a test ride. <laughs> Three elephants and a little lady. The circus with its thrills, fun, sawdust, and spangles brings joy and merriment to everyone. But me. Here comes the circus is always a memorable event. A truly great and carefree day for all from 6 to 60. So do you think she's working for Peanuts too? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, she enjoys this a little too much. Um, don't blow any water right now. <laughs> ah, my favorite ah. part of the circus. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. How can something be American and international? Well, let's watch and find out. Oh. Oh, cripes, I remember oh, that day. Oh, yeah, you got to dress oh. for it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, hey, the temperature, that got all the way down to about 14 below oh, zero, dear. Yeah, you Earl. don't know the half of it. Oh, mm -hmm. Earl had to jump start the Chevy that day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, hey, the snow was yay high, and he come up the back way he had to, you know? Yep. Of course, I don't know nothing about that. Oh, no. <clears throat> No. Then we seen where all the schools was closed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, the kids enjoyed that part. Uh -huh. That was real mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was just like the winter of 75 when it got down to 30 below. Oh, yeah, but when you consider the wind chill, you know, it's oh, when it's about chill. 100 below yep. that Oh, time. yeah, and you yeah. know, it was a good thing I had the snowmobile suit for yeah. the run over yeah. by Evelyn's house Oh, there. sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. It was just so ding-dang cold, I go outside, the stuff in my nose just freeze right up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. ah, the Scandahovian sketch. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, square head. Throughout history, people have listened to the storyteller. Against their will. Men who could fashion myths and fairy tales and make them live for his listeners. Sid and Marty Such Croft? Such were the brothers Grimm in Germany oh. and Hans Christian Andersen in Denmark. And such a man was Elias Lenroth in Finland. Here he is on vacation. The story you are about to see. No! Oh! 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 Long ago, They're in golem. a faraway place called Kalevala, there was a village of fisher people. 
The land they lived in was large and beautiful. As were the women. Blessed with great <laughs> rivers filled with fish. Wonderful forests with tall trees. And pollution from the nearby paper processing plant. And the people toiled very hard. Hey, this is hard. Promised that if they worked the earth and the Bye, sea, Grandma. One day they would be given as their reward. Is this a documentary? Summer. I'm here for the Neil Prince Valiant, Valiant auditions. Marvelous machine. <laughs> One, two, three. I can't fall asleep counting those guys. There's goats. Oh. And salt. Hmm? Such was the magic of the Sambo. Now what? it so happened that the Ilmarinen had a beautiful sister named Anaki. Anaki in the UK? <laughs> and spent her days happily wandering. Your mother is long forest. dead. All the people of the village loved her dearly and watched Hey, there's her. Bird Lancaster, <laughs> Walter <was> Pigeon, <laughs> Robin Gibbon, Chick Corea. Oh, good one. And that would be the sign that the time had come. For democracy. Sambu was to be forged. Escape to Wisconsin. But ever since Anaki had become a young woman, she remained by herself and refused the attention of any young man who brazenly thought he might... Look at that! Looks like Penny Marshall. One man she had never met. Gary Bigner. He lived deeper in the forest. His name was Lemminkainen. Why Lemminkainen? He was a woodsman. He was young and simple. And practiced slash and burn agriculture. He worked hard. Duh! But was never noticed at all. But there was something about him that would someday, sooner oh, than there goes the last spotted owl. Save the village from the most horrible, cruel misfortune it would ever know. The Reagan Bush but administration. these good people did not realize that all the time they were... Has anyone seen Timmy? <gasps> oh, no! plotted against them. Hey, check it out. It's Sting and David Lee Roth and Peter Noon and Sammy Hager and David Carradine and... Santa? I want to use an axe on your hair, you hippie. For three days, your mother has not seen you, Lamentine. Go home and take a rest. And take out the garbage and help your mother clean the garage for crying out loud. From the land of sky blue water. Water. Hey, check out my log. I got it for graduation. <laughs> it's my cigar boat. <laughs> <laughs> and a river runs through it. Through this. Hey, get me a making a Mountain Dew ad. Let's go surfing now, even Sven's learning how. If everybody had a spruce tree across Finlandia. <laughs> I wish they all could be Norwegian girls. Hey, anybody call a cab? The Adventures of Fjord Fairlane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, rush hour. Now, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Abba's going to pay me to surf? John Houston's The African Log. White Hunter, Black Heart. Damn crazy Swede! Ancient Swedish secret, huh? My baby takes... Huh? Wow, look at that laundry. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go play mini golf at Cross Lake. You want to go? She's washing her crystal. Don't walk on my laundry, Steve. Yes, may I help you? Whose gold is that? Mine. Can this be the daughter of the rosy Agent dawn? One, he's just pulled up in a log. Or the radiance of the moon? It's not the moon, nor is it the sun. I'm just a simple. You can say that again. Aniki is my name. Poker's my game. Aniki. I went to school with your brother. Hey, my other log's a redwood. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a gun! <laughs> oh. If you don't like the way I'm driving, call 1-800-BITE-ME. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. Lemon Kaiman, was it? <laughs> Whatever. That was weird. Do you want to be Finnish? Sure, we all do. <laughs> Poppies will make us sleep. They're tulips. Ah, oh, yes, my little chickadee. <laughs> hey, what's the pecking order here? <laughs> 
She's got an amazingly dull life, doesn't she? Ah, uh, dinner! Oh, no, after you! No, after you, I insist! No, I insist, age before beauty! Oh, no. Hey, hello, boo boo! Mm -hmm. John Irving wrote the screenplay. <laughs> You're not reading! Uh, busy! Sister of mine. You shaved your beard. What's the matter? Hmm? Oh, my dearest hmm. brother, his eyes sparkle like the sunlight glimmering on the sea foam. Yes! Great. And then we swing back and forth on the high wire yeah, yeah, while yeah. furiously spanking each other. Great! I love it! It yeah, sings! It's, it's got legs! It's got yes, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Listen, you guys, please. Uh, remember I said I'd type in your ideas mm -hmm. for a clown act, all right? Mm -hmm. I find what we're talking about here just a little bit derivative from what we saw the clowns do in the short. Mm -hmm. I think you should think of your own ideas. Okay? Well, we're not paying you to think. Just take all those down as we dictated, Peggy. Okay. okay. Where were we? Uh, Wait! Uh, I've got it! We're on the trapeze, yep, yep. and you hang from my tongue. <laughs> While I drive sheet metal screws into your eyes. I love it. It's <laughs> good. I yeah. admit that, but maybe we got to work more butt in the act. Wait. I've got it. Yeah. I grab you and yeah. squeeze you till you hemorrhage. No. How about I come out dressed like a suture? <gasps> you come out dressed as an appendix. A <sighs> European appendix. Oh, you know, very uh, <laughs> fellas, can I remind you, you're going to be clowns in a circus. There's going to be kids watching. Can I just remind you to bite me? Now, Get back to work, Della. Wait. Uh, I've got a brilliant idea. Okay. This routine starts out normal. You uh -huh. and me beating the crap out of each yeah, other. Yeah, then I snap. Yeah. I run into the audience on a homicidal rampage. Yes. <laughs> then I appear playing the part of death. Yeah. Hey, funny death. Of course. Uh, uh, hey, you know what uh, would be yeah. really funny, routine? What would be really funny? If we could somehow make the audience members question their love for their spouses. Yes, and here's the topper. We yeah. convince all the kids in the audience that they were adopted. Hi, ah. uh, guys. Listen, I knew you would take something like the circus and turn it into some dark carnival of the soul. Listen, Joel, for your information... The hey, hell? you didn't take down a word we said. You had Cambot program a typing effect. You were just toying with us, weren't you? That's right, and you know why? Because there's a little bit of the clown in all of us. Good night and may God bless. Oh. Ah. Well, come on, I couldn't resist. Yeah, well. Yeah. This was before unions. Let it be a lesson to you. Hey, Tom, could you punch out for me? <laughs> I'm not going into early retirement. Ron Wood on any given morning. Come from the fire. Come on, a tour's coming through here. Get to work. How much longer do you expect me to put up your absurd show? Can't you make the stamp hole you call yourselves withers? We've done the best we're able to. Cast him into the viper's pit. Uh, being clean, ma'am. Let the snakes devour him. Can't you just dock me? No, mistress, I beg of you. I know someone who will be able to help you build your sump hole. Oh! Murray on no third one shift. But the blacksmith Ilmarin in the land of Kalevala. Hmm? He is the only one who knows the right way. You hmm? have long boasted of your power over the secrets of nature. Oh. I demand that you show me now the face of this Ilmarin. Hmm, let's go check yeah. the files, honey. I <laughs> don't know what I'd do without my right hand troll. Gesundheit, Gesundheit, Gesundheit. Ilmarinen, come before us. Ilmarinen, stand before us. Oh, they're stand Pentecostal. Ilmarinen, come before us. Ilmarinen, stand before us. Stand before us. He's leaking. Ilmarinen, stand before us. Ilmarinen, appear. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Hey, don't sit so close to the set. You'll ruin your eyes. I have fashioned a bracelet for you. It's a padlock. Aniki? No, precious moments. And she is Ilmarinen's sister. <laughs> oh, no way. I thought she was Joni Koslak's brother. Who will he pay for his pretty sister? I wonder what kind of name Lemminkainen is. Italian, Irish, Lemminkainen, very pretty. <laughs> I made a joke. Go 
on swift wings to the land of Kalevala. For Fly one hour on modernizing. To the golden anarchy. When you <laughs> find her alone, bring her quickly <laughs> back. So that she may become my prisoner. Oh, well, she's one sheet to the wind. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. Go. Oh. Grandma's been talking to the bedding again. <laughs> You really get a lot of use out of a good wool cape. We'll be cruising today at an altitude of about 60 feet or so. Well, uh, let's see now. What did she say? Go to something and get something uh, from... Uh, yeah, yeah, please remain seated until the cape has come to a complete stop. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, don't tell me Hercules is in this movie. Hercules is in this movie. Don't that's you not to tell Oh, the that. cabin boy, the cabin boy, the dirty little new furry. Hey, uh, how'd I do that? Why? <laughs> Kidnapping was real easy back then. Oh, Popeye! He's large. Dun, 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 dun. Huh? The hell? There's a roast in the oven. I don't know when I'll be back. Oh, boy. The Secret Storm! The Vader started getting rough, the tiny, tiny ship, ship was, was tossed. <laughs> There's a flash flood warning affecting Stonehenge region. By the pricking of my thumb, something goofy this way comes. <laughs> Come on, Dummy. Jeez, thanks for the lift. Call the front desk if you need anything. I got one. Hey, get me. I'm Swedish and I've got rhythm. Oh, sing, sing whenever I sing. Humor in. <laughs> it's three in the morning. The evil witch Loki has stolen your sister. Yeah, and? Anniki. Yes. Here, wait a minute. Let me put my sword out. There. Give me the sword. I will go to Pokeola. Uh, let me just finish up here. So there. Say hi to my sister. I will go with you to Pokeola, Lemminkainen. Wait, I'll drive. Let me get my keys. Yep, there we go. Feinemainen. My sister has been stolen. Well, was she insured? The evil witch, Loki. It looks kind of like a Bible Tell story. Us, Feine, yeah. Tell us how we can find our way to the misty shores of Pokyola. Go down to the third Far stoplight and... The edge of the world. Hmm? And if you want to go there... Take the Santa Monica go, Freeway. Which will carry you over the waves like a white swan. Hmm? Tell us, Feinemeinen. How can we build a boat such as that? I'm glad you asked. I'm having a boat building seminar. In this ancient oak tree, you will find your boat. You have but mm -hmm. to take it out, and it will carry you across the sea to the shores of Pokiora. Okay, how much is this going to set me back? Oh, I'm a chafing like me. Oh, oops, I did it again. God, are you kidding me? A boat in here? It's a chip away game. Is there another wise man we could talk to? Eight years later. <laughs> so anyway, that's what really got me interested in stamp collecting. Of course, I've always loved the theater. Just shut up. Hey, no boat! That's my scratching tree, you jerks. Uh, not that tree. Uh, Fred, did I mention that I have a boat? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, now they're just showing off. Oh, now what did they chop the sail out of? Oh, they cut the wood real oh, thin. Yeah, really. Uh huh. May the sun light the way to bring you safely home again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can the balloon juice, Gramps? We're out of here. Hey, shouldn't we patch the bottom first? I just pray there aren't no portages. Oh, boy. The Stave Puff Marshmallow Man in chains? Kinky. It's giant sweetbreads. It's body wars. Someone has come to visit us! 
quick, pick up the place. Make yourself presentable. Uh, over here, near me. What, it's a bag of Homer Simpson? Come on. Be off Wait, one at a time, please. Come on. Yes, I am the South Wind. Do you provide a service of some sort? And I, I am the East Wind. Put your teeth in, I can't understand you. Are you the North Wind? No, I am the Mists. <laughs> now, I'm relative humidity. It's not so much the heat as it is me. I'm the summer wind come blowing in. And you? Which one are you? <laughs> oh, me. I'm just the laundry. I am the North Wind. <laughs> Call me Sandy. I was born among the ice. Oh, that's I fine. Thank you. <laughs> Please let me Yeah, out. I didn't ask for a biography. Very well. I will let you out. So this is where I find you, my little Um, pet. we weren't kissing, we were just talking. This is something to amuse you. Just <laughs> come with me, I find something for you to do. I've got one of those little pool tables I bought at Brookstone. You'll oh, love my it. Prisoner in shape. All right, some orders we like to get. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on yeah. Deep thoughts. Oh, walleye chop. I'd better get out there. Eric, small cigars. Inconceivable. They're gaining on us. Oh, the keg's ah, here. Has come as I said he would. Do you see his boat approaching our shore? Do you hear the waves bringing him nearer? Come, wake up, run to the beach and welcome him. You're the boss, you're the queen of everything, okay. Smiles, everyone, smiles! <laughs> hey, do you have a dock or something? We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Look at that boat, what'd you carve it out of a tree? Shut <laughs> up, shut up! <laughs> Boys. Oh, mistress, oh, you were right. The boat is bringing Lemminkainen mm. and his friend, the immortal blacksmith, Ilmarinen. Greetings for all. Hi. Who accepts the challenge that I have brought? Nope, oh, can't, got a bad knee. I did the last challenge. I have mm -hmm. come to free the maiden Aniki. I am here with her brother. Uh, Tony. You are no coward? No coward? Then fight! If your power can protect you from my arrow. Yes, my power is great. No, uh, it's not that fun Magic. going to grandma's anymore. Terrible spells enough to drive you back into the boiling foam from which you come, you blundering fool. That's enough for that. You imagine we've come here to listen to an old woman raving? Well, that's why most people come. How do you accept the challenge, or will you give up my sister without it? Take the curtain. I Go for the box. Take the curtain. Door. The box. Pierce it, bust the witch's bosom. No, wait. Let me wait, take no. off my girdle. I will give your maiden back to you if you perform two simple tasks for me. No, oh, this bites. Let's blow. What are they? Pick up my dry cleaning and call the vet. I have a field overrun with snakes, and he must first plow it. Yeah, well, it's right. weird, but... Show me where your field is. Come on, come on. Good lemon, come on. Don't wait up, Eric, if you know what I mean. Say, that is cold. <laughs> you see it before you. I see an El Greco. The field of snakes. Hey, Kevin Costner's in that, isn't he? No, this is the dirty version. Oh. I want to plow. And I must have a powerful horse with it. Hey, I'm the curse boss me here. To feed one of my horses to those snakes. He needs a horse. I will build him a horse. Uh, I'll make it out of a tree. Uh, oh. Horse chestnut. <laughs> oh, mistress. Don't call me that in public. Not allow your marina to build that horse. So he will be sure to plow the field, and they will take Anarchy. And you, marina, will refuse to make us a sample. Oh, have patience. You won't be able to carry her away. Now, slip into that stable boy suit and meet me later, Tom. Believe it's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mistress of my. Uh oh, wow. Okay. And the Skull and Crew takes to the lake. We've got to get organized. Attica! 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 It's the Oslo riots! <laughs> hey, uh, that's not very smart when you're in the boat. He's pounding the air there. It's an air hammer. Oh. <laughs>
Hey, we're going over to Sven's after, huh? <laughs> Want to? Mm -hmm. Suddenly it's flash dance. He's a Steel Towns fan on a Saturday night. Weird. Okay, okay. If he can make a horse, why do you have to cut that tree down? Yeah, well, now I just sit back and rake in the praise, pretty much. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> the TriStar logo's ready. He's safe. They ran calling wildfire. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh, stingy. That's <laughs> still hot. <laughs> Hello, I'm from the temp agency. I'm your horse for the day. Speed the plow. Hey, good timing. Boy, we work good together. Now, could you rub some solar cane on me, please? A horse? We didn't plan on that. Would someone please turn the Wagner off? Hey, I think he just invented the mobile logo. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. Kind of a goofy Scandinavian double dare. <laughs> oh man, it's a puppet. Look, it's being attacked by a woozle. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all yelling fake. <laughs> and now I'd like to do my Nastasia Kinski impression. I'll just take off my clothes. <laughs> I knew they'd worm their way into the film. <laughs> We're, uh, you know, I wonder if that horse comes in any other colors. Uh, he's the enemy, but you gotta admire him. Yep, yep, tip your cap. Yeah, hey, pretty much. Get a look at this, huh? Well, let's go in and see if Mom's got dinner ready. Oh, great, we can plant more snakes now. <laughs> All right, I've finished plowing your field. Planted now with care. Mm. And may the grain grow as high as my shoulder. Now, where is she? We want to take her back. I'll give you your honor key, but it won't do you much good. There isn't very much left of your boat. <laughs> hey, that's below the belt. Yeah, I don't really get witch's humor. Mm -hmm. Come along, let me show you. Brother, she's got issues, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. It's the Swedish Dells. Mm. The Dukes, right, the Dukes. Hey, you wrecked our boat, you freaked out maniac. A great fish was swimming near the shore. Uh -huh. It flipped its tail once and smashed your boat. Well, I suppose those kind of things have... What? And I will make a new boat. An iron one. And tell your fish if he tries to smash this one, it'll break his teeth off. Well, you don't have to yell. Huh? What? Oh. Boat, They're roasting the bullwinkle. Oh, arise from the fire. <laughs> Come forth. Save me, Rocky! Help me! Again? No, oh, nobody ever helps this guy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Out of control. What's going to become of us now? Oh, everything's about you, isn't it? When log flume rides go horribly wrong, you may get burnt on this ride. Oh, uh, there's a flaming moose blocking traffic on I-35W northbound. Will somebody please put me out? I seem to be on fire! Protect us! Have mercy, dear mistress! Do something! Away. Please, do something! I heard something you don't see every day, Chauncey. Uh, what's that, Edgar? Kiss going bass fishing. Uh, mm -hmm. Quite a boat, wouldn't you say? Now that it's finished, we'll be on our way. The minute you give us on it. I demand that you make your boat stop! When you release my sister. Your only excuse before was because your fish wrecked our other boat. Uh, point well taken. You mm -hmm. act like I'm the bad guy. I don't know if your sister is ready for that. She's still upstairs I dressing. You, lady of Poeola. You better give us anarchy. Only he has performed well what I gave him to do. And you, what did you do? Yeah. I've heard you make magic too. Hell, I made the horse. What are you talking about? What magic? I mean, a sample. Dun, dun, dun. You are all just sample. Or you'll never see the face of your pretty sister again. Can we see the other parts? Ugh, oh. crime, and he better look up sample quick. I think she's <sighs> serious. I'll do anything you want. Only a sample.
No, Tom, you're thinking of a sample, S-A-M-P-L-E. We're talking about sample with an O. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. So if a sample isn't a small taste of no-fat cheese at the grocery store, then what, I implore you, is it? Well, I was thinking that maybe a sample is really good can opener. No, I think it's a strapless evening gown. You think everything is a strapless evening gown. I just think they're neat is all. What do you think, Joel? Uh, I think a sample is like a hand-hammered conch belt with turquoise inlays used to accentuate an oversized blouse. I think it's that dent between the nose and lip. Right? Well, whatever it is, that witch wants it more than anything, so it must be some sort of wrinkle cream. Oh, no, I got it. Sampo, a progressive new corporation with an eye towards the future. <laughs> Sampo is a corporation for people by people. I think it increases corn yields. I think it's a nasty little rubber novelty item, you know what I mean? Well, maybe it's not tangible. I mean, maybe Sampo is found in the laughter of children, or in the roar of the tide, or in the capacity to love and be loved. <laughs> no, I know. I think Sampo is a new high-energy prop comic, you know, like, ladies and gentlemen, the Funny Bone is proud to present Funny Man Sampo. Well, one thing's for sure, gentlemen, the U.S. of A. still makes the best damn samples on the market, and I mean nobody is going to change that. I I've got it. I it's fresh, it's sassy, it's free, it's me. It's an exciting new fragrance by Prince Machiavelli. <laughs> uh, no. uh, maybe not. Well, to be honest, everybody, we don't know what a sample is. Not a clue. If you know what a sample is, write it on a piece of paper, throw it away, and then try not to think about it. You'll be glad you did. Sample! sample. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, we we sample, 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 sample. Sample. Let's go! Ding, sample up. Oh, jeez, what a day. Oh. You know, I really admire how you stood firm on the sample issue, your witchiness. You didn't give an inch. I really admire that quality. We'd like to show you uh, how we maximize a warehouse uh, to increase sample shipments. <laughs> yes, it's, it's really exciting. I think you yeah, should come along and take a look at what we're doing. Your well, witchiness. I must have a wisp of lamb's wool, a feather from a swan, and a barley corn. You hear this guy? I <laughs> him the smallest of the flock. And a swan, and a whole bushel of barley. And some mini donuts. Um, can we get married? We're in love. Nobody ask for a goose. You take that right away. Hmm? Oh, now somebody's sweater's gonna have a big flaw. Put your feather in before the wool? Hmm. With this wool will I clothe you. With these teeth will you bite me. With this barley will I nourish you. Oh, he's making checks party mix. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of Ulysses S. Grant. I desire to sampo. Sampo. Go ahead. Sample. Uh -huh. Sample means flavor. Now give me the fire that burned in the clouds. Huh? How dare you? Don't mention that. It's dirty. You want the sample? That is the only fire I can forge it in. It has to be the heavenly flame. Is it hot in here? I wonder if this is some trick to deprive thee of the heavenly fire. <laughs> But we won't have much use for that if he makes the mill give him the fire. We'll be able to have as much flour as we want without grain. And we'll be able to have salt. And he will be able to make silver and gold. Oh, <laughs> let him have it, oh, please. My spin doctors. <laughs> Go and fetch the heavenly flame for him, then. <laughs> but someone stay here to answer the phones. Well, she's really broken through the glass ceiling, huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yesterday's soup. We're trying to get rid of it. Oh, it looks like Caligula in here. How would you know that? The soup has a escort? <laughs> Good soup. Uh, uh, uh. Here, ditch this flaming skull for me. I don't know how that got in there. Nice weight. Mm hmm Real good flame. Mm-hmm. Nice. Put all your idle people to work. I'll need their help. Tell them to work the bellows. Hmm? You heard what he said. Saul Bellows, get to work. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Is it sample yet? Uh, now be careful. This plate is very hot.
So how does this work? Hey, let me know when you need a break. Mark seven. Uh, Mark seven. Uh, Mark seven, damn it. Oh, Mark seven. Rium trolls working for you. Where's a friggin' Sampo and the crit of witch crit craps? Uh, Steve, honey, why don't you go get daddy a beer? You said you'd make the mill wet, is it? Your men can't make the fire hot enough. Sure, blame my department. Get working, you sluggards! Ooh. Pump the bellows, make the flames leap up! We're doing our best to mystery! He's got a cocktail dress on! Oh, it's not done. Must have been frozen in the middle. He's got delusions of grandeur. Oh. Yeah, it's like urban cowboy. <laughs> uh, oh, boy, how's that beer coming, Stevie? Work harder! Get the heat off! Fuck off, fuck off, Todd. Come on, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, they think I'm working. That's the beauty part. <laughs> oh, I hate this infernal routine. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno. Oh, the guy on top must be the shop steward. Huh? Will someone please get the ah! phone? Kids come running for the rich taste of Sampo. <laughs> oh! Oh! Be careful, that's nitric acid. We don't have very much. Oh! Oh, I hate this school lunch program. Water's considered a vegetable. Ugh, this is why I don't make Sampos except on holidays. Yeah. Hey, can we help? Oh, you can help by setting the table. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sampo's off. Ask for it by name. Tom. Ask for it by name. Yeah, that's a sample, huh? Tom. You know. Ray Nitschke? You get wafers with it. No, you I don't get bleeding I wafers guess, with it. I said I would. It's very impressive. But how do I know it works? Well, you just plug it into the wall outlet and turn it on. Let there be gold and flour and salt. Of course, I recommend the service contract. Still, I think it would look better by the couch. Sorry, I doubted your sample. Mm. Mm. Boy, I thought there'd be more people around the gold part of this thing, but the line's really not that long, you know? This is what it would have been like if Perot would have won. <laughs> Oh, great, Raxaw will never slip on the driveway again. Makes you think, don't it, honey? Mm, nice to see him so happy. Yep. Uh, the manual's in a box, and uh, first you upgrade's free. Now give us back on it. Oh, she's oh, home right. already. <laughs> I will give your pretty sister back to you now. I must warn you, she's aged, so... Wait, that's the wrong sister. Have yourself a heap in helping us, sweet anarchy. <laughs> anarchy. Do I know you? Lemonkind. You're not as cute as I remember. On a clear day. Anarchy, my little sister. <laughs> Take that cursor away from my palace! Oh, Killjoy. I don't know what she's done with all those nasty flowers. Come on. <laughs> don't worry, lady, we're out of here. God. Well, hey, missus, the sample stopped working and we didn't get the service contract. And I want them all inventoried, too. Man, I wonder what a Myers Briggs test was like. How were you ever able to rescue me from that wicked creature? Well, I had to make this boat all by myself. And... Hey, leave my sister alone. Your brother, Ilmarine, made a sample and left it with the wicked witch in place of you. A sample? You mean one of those big things that makes gold and salt and stuff? Yeah. You mean the new 92 sample with the then leather interior? 
He deprived our people of their rightful treasure. I am returning to Pohiola, and I shall recover the shampoo. No, Wilmarine. I am going back for it. Now. No, well, I think a better plan would be to go back and get some... Hey! Hey, he's got pure wool on. He's going to shrink right up. Try the cleaning power of new lemonkainen in your rinse cycle. This is it, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm. Oh, really love the new sample. No buyer's remorse here, witchy poo. Who's hungry for salt? Oh, jeez, I better plan this. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I gotta take the sample. It's my dad's. No, no, damn. Sample repair. No, no. <clears throat> Might I just pop in and grab my sample? No, turn. <clears throat> Oh, no, they really like it. I was hoping they wouldn't be getting into the sample. No such luck. Oh, Mmm, a good heft. I caught you, you filthy wretch, trying to steal my gold. Catch him. Don't let him get away. Find him and throw him into the sea. Hey, Tony, come on. It's me, your roommate. Monkey pile. Ooh. Phew. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, that was the chilly rain o wind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Who oh, let them miss out? It blinds me so I cannot see. Back into thy bag, mist, I come to thee. Back into thy bag. Why did thee even have the mist if it bugs thee so much? Kind of like a giant neosinephrine bag, isn't it? <laughs> Ma'am? Where is the many-colored dome of the Sampo? Ma'am, the dome is an option that you did not order. After him and bring him back here. I can never just sit back and enjoy my Sampo. Hey, it's nice out here. Ah, there he is. Miss America! Destroy them and kind and folk, release them! Let the wind rush forth to destroy this thief! Fly, monkeys, fly! <laughs> oh, now why does this always happen at 4.30 on a Friday? Yeah. Lemon kind and bold, exciting and new. Aguirre, the wrath of God. I'm gonna get a bigger boat, right? Yeah, we're gonna get a bigger boat, definitely. Make the witch a sample. What the heck was I thinking, anyway? Wind with Matthew Modine and Jennifer Gray. Now on video. Hey, it looks just like the statue of Emo Jimo. If you cross oh. your eyes and get the poles yeah. with the, those guys. Yeah. Hold on, Buck. Hold on to the boat, Bucky. Anybody got any drab of no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Swedish Moses of Seoul. There's got to be a morning after. Don't get short with me, though. Yeah, right. Madonna and her dancers get along really good. <laughs> you still can't let go of the sample, can you? Let it go, Sven. Um, Dad said I could use the car. You have got the keys? He will be coming home soon. And I promise you, I will dance with you at your wedding feast. Oh, give me the good news now. Our father, who oh, are... Oh. Oh, oh, your brave son, Lemon Kynan, has met his death. Hmm? That can't be true. My son lives. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, she is off the beam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see a kidney. Oh, I do. Yeah. Hmm. Heathcliff! Tell Catherine! Me, have pity on a mother's prayer. Friend of the poor winds of heaven. Uh, Can you have tell we me met? What's become of my brave son? I have troubles enough of my own, old woman. Hmm. The men strip my bark for making baskets. The children break my branches for brooms. How should I know anything about you? Gee, sorry I asked. Birch, birch, birch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now get out of my office. Miss Jenkins, I pay you to screen these people. 
I see a past president who shall remain nameless. Oh, you mean? Chester Arthur. Hey, uh, lady, I'm a nice big pine that you could pray to, maybe. Maybe. Hmm? Tell me, old wandering rose, hmm? have pity on a poor mother's sorrow. Do you know what happened to my son? Uh, I'll put the word out on the street. Oh, I am the street. Excuse me, I'm kind of stuck in a rut. <laughs> Mother Teresa, in a role that will inspire you. You should have pity on me. I am the rose. Uh, I didn't appreciate you what Kerouac said about me. Why you want me, son? Oh, poor Rhodes. You have everything. I have nothing. I have enough troubles of my own. Now I know what they mean when they say the road goes on forever. You know forever. how many times men have trampled on you. She's praying to County Road D2. What does she want? How they make the hooves of their horses kick me. What is it with the inanimate objects today? Have you thought about praying to me, God, the big G-meister? Dear almighty refrigerator door, oh. Oh, glorious son, you who look over all. Well, I do my best. Answer a mother's prayer. Tell me where I can find my son, my brave boy. Look for your son. He's praying to a mill's brother. Far in the north, in the cold and craggy land of Ohiola. You should do voiceovers. <laughs> of the evil which At least he was as of last Wednesday. That's a Richard Diebenkorn painting. I think. Oh, great north deciduous forest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ever eat a pine tree? Many parts are edible. Mm. Somebody took my minnows. Oh, I think I'll just skip some rocks. Oh, dead bloated carp floating in the shallow. Ugh. Hey, it looks like one of those ham's beer clocks. It's seaweed. It's. I hate Mondays. Now wipe your feet before you come into Finland. <laughs> Morning. This small mound is alive with the sound of When Lemon Kaiman met Anarchy. I pick myself up, I dust myself off, I start the deal over again. I can't believe it. I'm David McCullum. No, I didn't get your flippin' sampo. Lemminkainen, oh my son. Way to wreck the scene, Mom. Forgive me, dearest mother. Okay. And you should forget me. Okay. I have no right to be happy, for I have destroyed the sampo. Jerk. Hey! Hey, you get hey. the sampo. Where's the sampo? I got the sampo. I'm excited that about that the sampo. Uh, oh. Uh, I just wanted to hear I went with the sampo is all. How's this apple? An ashtray? Give me my sister back. Here, I got one of these already. Sampo is no more. Well, I did bring the sample home game. You have good cheer, brave knight. Hey, you're peace. the road, aren't you? And you, my people, take heart. The We've hit bottom. Come, as you will see, when even this the fragment of the sampo will bring much joy and happiness to the people of Kalevala. No, a lot of good that does them now. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Kalevala, come before us. Kalevala, stand before us. Stand before us. Kalevala, come before us. Kalevala, stand before us. This is my favorite bit he does. Watch this, it's good. <laughs> good mistress, come quickly. Something's coming in on the urine scope, sir. Evil Lemminkainen lives yet. Oh, you got some on my robe. 
Now let my cloak bear me far to Kalevala to destroy the people who live there. It's the Von Traps. Yeah, out for their <laughs> morning run. What's up, everyone? Did you hear there was no Sampo? Yeah, it's really too bad. No Sampo, eh? Bummer. Let us be gay, for he is a dickweed. I'm so glad it's a dry celebration. It's so much more fun than the kegger would have been. He failed to bring back the Sampo. Sampo. We shall die of starvation. Sampo. What is this? Starlight 17, the musical? I think it's the Black Oak, Arkansas. Failure, 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 it oh, looks like Rutherford B. Hayes just got out of the sauna. Ah, uh, hand over the bride. I can't wait all day. Well, here's the keys. Uh, she's a little slow to start in the winter. Just give her some gas. Wait, my dears. Just wait till you see the gift I brought for you. Well, I guess they shouldn't have registered in hell. Still think he's a failure. What? She's marrying the Yale crew team? Bad news. They want a water ski. <laughs> Our own slave ship you shouldn't have. <laughs> Hurry up, they're gonna consummate! <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit it! <laughs> hey, the kids look ripe, about well, ready to drop. Well, it's a nice day for a wet wedding. <laughs> so, oh, and you know, the kids plan the wedding all by themselves, oh, yeah. and I think they've done such a nice job. We were yeah. just so lucky that the rain held out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought we were gonna get a limo. Sure beats fooling around in a nice hotel, eh, honey? Come on, kiss him. Here comes the fish. You know, this is considered a riot in Scandinavia. <laughs> Wild. He's a failure, la, la, la. What a loser, la, la, la. Total failure, total failure, total failure, la, la, la. You know, this is the kind of music that up with people rejected. Yeah. Oh, they're going to honeymoon at a rest stop? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Please disperse. He's a loser and a charm. Failure, failure, total failure. What a loser. Okay, oh, that's for fun. Huh? Uh, are you with the bride or the failure? <laughs> Check out this guy. He looks like something you'd buy in a gift shop up north. <laughs> now, why is he wearing a Hershey's Kiss on his head? Brando's here. Mr. Brando. 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 Hey, Mr. Brando. All right, Santa is entering the lodge. What the hell is going on in here? This is my room. <laughs> uh... Just throw this on the gift table, would you? Didn't have time to wrap it. Here you go. They never invite me to anything. May health and happiness be with you all the days oh, of your no. life. Oh, no. Health be with you, Vinamine, and your kind pay a visit to our humble little cottage. Oh, thanks. I see this coming in real handy. <laughs> what am I? I'm a moose. <laughs> Grandpa, that's Aunt Tessie's urn. <laughs> <sighs> Your beer is almost too strong for an old man like me. Uh, coronary. <clears throat> it's the Jolly Troll. Hmm? Oh, she's calling the Batman. Maybe she's mad because she used to date lemon kind. Yeah, she's lots last, but not the kind you'd settle down with. She's fine for junior year, but yeah. she gotta move on, you know. Ooh. 
There was a night that the lights went out in Finland. Oh, looks like she's uh, dragging a muffler there. Evil times had fallen on happy Kalevala. Come on, it's just a circuit we breaker, Grandpa. Come, she's stolen the sun. Golly's really calm in a crisis. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry about the failure. Farewell, good friend. Very well, tight mistress. Very well. Thank you. Uh, I had the cut crystal bowl that the come dip was on. in. Oh, well, we'll come back. <laughs> Great wedding. Get half a buzz on and then send home with a torch. There can be no happiness without the sun. Oh, come on, Kirsten. I'm a night person. I love it. Keep for me my country. Take a hit if you want to. No, it can only remain silent. I must not play on it unless the sun is up. Oh, Mr. Particular, everything's got to be just right. Yeah, it looks like we're trying to take back the night over. Oh, I think there. it's a Melanie concert. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting in her one woman show, Gypsy. Here we go. Oh, sorry. There's a big frontier out there called life. I ain't nobody's daughter, I ain't nobody's wife. I'm gonna stake my very own claim of land, and you're gonna wanna know who I am. I'm Gypsy! Gypsy rules me! Gypsy rules, not you! Not you! For you! Gypsy rules! Sign. I'll be right back. I'm down to meet you. Hey, look at Skylab. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mommy's back, and I've got presents. <laughs> no, open the bag and release the blizzard. May the north wind bring snow to blanket the land of Kalevala forever! And may you stay forever, young! <laughs> Meanwhile, in Frostbite Falls, Minnesota... We have some school closings today, including Stockholm Public and Private, Oslo Public and Parochial, Helsinki Votex, Suomi Junior High... Boy, that looks cold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dum-ba-dum-doo-doo, scooby-doo-doo-doo. 
Dum 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 The Christmas that almost wasn't. It's not a fit night out for men or bees. The day the earth became unseasonably cool. I guess everybody's going to blame me for this too. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought I cocked that thing. Uh... <laughs> Looks like they moved in with the Ingles. Yeah, a little <laughs> house on the tundra. <laughs> Has to have half and half of their coffee. Okay, dear, I'll wade through the blizzard to get your half and half. The Shining. Actually, it looks kind of inviting. Moonlight in Vermont. I'm gonna bury Gary in a pile of snow. Yeah. One little cup of coffee, and she's got to have her friggin' half and half. Walking in my winter underwear. <laughs> hey, a penny. Watch out where the huskies go, and don't you eat that yellow snow. Uh, uh hey, Aunt Rody, the old gray goose is dead. Rosebud. Rip Taylor's outside. Come on, I want to come in. It, Cause it's cold outside. Ha, I got a big prop I want to show you. Ha, it's funny. It's true. First day of marriage is the hardest. Hey, here's your damn dinner. Hmm. I suppose you want me to clean that now. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. I know, dear. I know. Um, not on the good bench. Honey, it's a swan sun frozen dinner. <laughs> oh, what's the use? We'll call her Trudy. Wait, she's wearing an embroidery hoop on her head. One word, annulment. I'm afraid the poor thing is dead. Oh, the sample could have saved it. Shut up with that sample. Soon we will all be like this poor bird. She's turning into a steak on legs. I can't even see your eyes, Anakin. Without thinking olives. That's the worst thing about this twilight. You're in the house. Take your bike helmet off. I can't even remember what color they are. Let me look in your eyes again. Look, she's Swedish. I'm guessing they're blue. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm gonna eat. Honey, we got any orange sauce in the house? Duck with orange, duck with cherry, a duck surprise. <laughs> duck without orange or cherry. You, Marina. Hey, what's the deal with your sister, man? You, Marina. The oh, hamburgers. Oh, sorry, dozed off in the old anvil. <laughs> This sucks. cannot go on much longer. You must make a new sun for us. I'll use the sample to make one. Oh, wait, we don't have one. That's right. <laughs> I will do what I can. Not as I do. Huh. Grandpa rioted and got a week in the hole. Mm. The Great Escape, 30 years later. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Well, I'm turning in. Big day. Why are they so bummed out? Oh, they just saw Captain Ron. Personally, I like Kurt Russell. I love the computer wore tennis shoes, but that's just me. No, no, the, the sun's bigger. Yes, Big. we recall it being quite large. And it's really? Got, it's got spots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. What are you doing, Gilmarina? He is forging a new sun for us. This is futile. No, it's fusion. Try to forge the sun anew. The one thing left is to release it from prison. Well, then you come up with your own ideas, man. Take up your swords, your swords and spears. 
Wainamainen will lead us to Pohyola. Yes. And we shall fight a battle to release the sun. Hmm. Not so, Lemminkainen. Have a seat, Lem. Against the wizards of Loki, you cannot prevail with a sword. Of what use are your swords against their spells? Hmm. I will take all of you to Pohyola. A class trap? And each one of you must hold... A herring! In place of a spear... Oh. Or a blade. You're making this up, aren't you? A sweetly sounding it's Antony. I don't know, a just a nod. Yeah. And if each of us carry one of them, that's a thousand contalis. More than that. Twelve hundred at and least. We have them. Yeah. Here in these ancient pine trees. We'll cut them down, make the harps ourselves. Great, we spend the winter making harps. What are you looking Come at? Once. Take all the boats down to the shores of the frozen sea. <laughs> Whatever. And you women. Back me up on this take one. All your jewelry of silver and gold, all your earrings, all your bracelets. All your naughty things. <laughs> into the crucible of Ilmarinen. We must have clear sounding strings for our countries. Yeah, first he has us making boats, then we got to do the horse, now it's the Contelis. Oh. This is the old guy's neck. This is his head. This is his ribcage. Oh, he's got the Farrah Fawcett exercise stick over there. Okay, who wants a hot dog? Still going to be a couple of minutes on the brats. Just keep this burnt one for me to nibble on. <laughs> Honey, why don't you go get those marinated steaks ready? Al, come on, don't be too careful. We just gotta knock out these contalies. Ow! Carved my own leg into a contalie. Hey, uh, anybody care if I turn on the radio? Huh. Can you believe it? Two weeks ago we were in shorts out here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and Mountain Boys. Uh, Crow, you are out there, man. Thank you. <laughs> But German potato salad takes a little longer. <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> oh, well, the ice seems safe. We should have brought the pickup. Oh, golly. Cigars, cigars cigarettes, cigars, cigarettes. cigarettes. We come bearing honey-baked hams. Tell me, my spears and wizards. Okay, you're ugly and you smell bad. What have we here? Uh, it's an army of warriors from Kalalala. Kalalala? coming this way, and there's too many of them to count. The year my voice broke. Come on. We, we, we want, want the, the sun. sun. We, we want, want the, the sun. sun. Uh, when kings go senile, I thought it was a costume ball. <laughs> They're gonna launch him from a catapult? What weapons do they carry? Harps. Harps. I wonder, do they think they're coming to a wedding feast? Ha, <laughs> good one here, hideousness. <laughs> liked it, liked it. <clears throat> love, love, soft as an easy chair. <clears throat> Spear, the ones pointed with sharks teeth. Uh, sir, as soon Brandish as this tune is over. Steeped in sharpened venom and kill every one of them. Uh, uh, did you uh, hear that, sir? <laughs> kill them all. You know, the music kind of adds to the drama, actually. It does. It's all skate. Everybody on the ice, all skates. Stalingrad, the standoff dragged on. Don't listen to that music. Wake up, cover your ears, cover them up with your hands. That terrible music will kill us all. Yeah, well, we put up with your Kenny G, you cow. Welcome to the Moody Bible Institute prayer hour. Uh, Grandpa, try another chord. He's doing self-indulgent jam. Stop them! Get your swords out. Here's your knife. Mm, for once, I'm on her side. Use your arrows! 
Unsheathe your broadswords! Attack them! Attack them! Uh, but I love a Prairie Home Companion. Anytime I can sit and listen, I love it. And that's the news from Lake Wobegon, where the men are strong, the women are good-looking, and the children are above average. Oh, Butch Thompson's gonna come out with the band, We're gonna do a medley of songs about cats. And then Jim Ed Poole will do some cat sounds, and then another episode of Watching Paint Dry. Then Claudia Schmidt will come out and try to fill the gap in her teeth. Oh, and Pat Donahue and Peter Ostrushko are gonna favor us with the story of the Swede who didn't like meatballs. Then, uh... Ah! It's so hard to get good trolls these days. Oh, it's a Maplethorpe photo. Go forth, North Wind, go forth. Freeze the people of Kalevala. Shroud them in the mantle of death. Don't look at it, Marion, don't look. I said, hark faster. Let's kick into our grand funk medley! Um, 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 sir, uh, maybe it's time to break out the bagpipes? Ooh. I say, huh, I hear they call it Mariah. Well, huh? whatever it is, it's flipping freezing. Yep. <laughs> okay, uh, do you have a plan B? All right, new tune, everybody. A one, a two, a one. Oh, forget it. It's Pat. You do not belong in this place of honor. <laughs> Twas a rock and roll creation. Your cream of wheat stays with you all day, and that's nice. <laughs> it's kind of lilting, isn't it? Go forth, my cloak, uh -huh. to the army of Kalevala. Kalevala, right. And strangle yeah. the yep. strangle. warriors, warriors. Who still remain on their feet. And feet, right. Okay, bye. Soundtrack by Spike Jones. Boom. Hey, throw me the cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anybody want to throw in here? <laughs> This has got to be embarrassing. Yeah, on top of the whole sample episode. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, folk took advantage of me. We thought the cloak might try something like this. Mm -hmm. We were prepared. Yep. Oh, it's ruined because it said hand wash only in cold water, so... Stupid cloak, stupid double jerk cloak. It's not stupid. Oh, here, sir. Sorry about that. Oh, Lemon Kylan, you see? Now you may go in and set the sun free. Oh, may I? <sighs> uh, this thing here? Yes. I am going to release the sun. Oh, just do it and don't screw it up. Remember the sample, buddy. No, what do you want? Keep away, keep away. Oh, the pain, the pain. Oh, well, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, hey, Mrs. Witch, can your son come out and play? <laughs> hey, you know, you don't like the weather in Sweden, just wait a minute, you know? <laughs> Swede blanket bingo. <laughs> I'll take Sweden, wow. So they headed for central Minnesota, you know, to build Crystal and Blaine and Fridley, and they made bars and sought out ch church basements for refuge and... <laughs> oh, let's see if the Torgelsons want to have a luau tonight, yeah, eh? Yeah, that's a good idea. Welcome, Greg Ullman. Hi. And welcome, Roger McGuinn. Howdy. This is the most emotion ever expressed in Sweden, you realize I that? did the sun thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Leatherhead. <laughs> it's you! You brought the badge, you're evil! It's the end of the world. Uh, okay. Lemon Kaiman and Anarchy will be back in the forests of secrets and lies. <laughs> Huh? Hmm. 
Lemminkainen was played by John Powell. Not very well granted. Mm -hmm. Anarchy by Nina Anderson. Donations are being accepted at the Stockholm Spinal Research Hospital. Loki hmm? the Witch by Ingrid Elhart. A woman? Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. a woman. Ilmarinen by Peter Sorensen. Know these faces, remember these by names. Ilmarinen by Elgin Tanner. James at 92. If you see any of these people, please, for their own sakes, turn them in. Well said. Finland, Finland, Finland. You know, Gypsy, I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your one-woman show earlier. You know, it was so confessional. There were times I actually felt kind of uncomfortable. Oh, great. You know, if you hadn't, I would have felt I'd failed. Yeah. Well, I gotta go rinse some things. Okay. See you later. Hey, what are you guys doing? Yes! Um... Give up? No, you're, uh, you're the win from today's movie. Huh. Nice, simplistic answer, Joe. But we've gone beyond that. We are delicately wafting scents gently borne by the wind and caressing your rosy cheek. Okay. For example, I'm a lilac in the spring. Ah, I'm a slice of pie. Mm. Nice uh, creative idea. Or I could be a pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with onions and a kind of low-grade budget sausage. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know, I suppose I could be the wind, but I'd be the wind that comes from your friend who manages the Rialto Theater, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I'm the stench of bitter failure. I'm James Coco's Ooh. oldest pair of boxer shorts. I'm Dick Bucky. Oh, okay, okay, you two. I think it's time for us to read a letter, okay? Let's oh. just... Uh. Hey, what was that? Ah, sounded like fabric terror. I'm just... No, I'm just... Oh, no, I'm just... No, just, I'm just opening the mailbag, okay? Oh, Here's okay, a letter. Uh, let's huh. put that up on Still Store Cambot, oh, and there's a picture. A picture. Um, huh. This one comes from Adana Sweeney. Hello, Donna. And she says, I just want to tell you that my husband Brian and I are the biggest MST3000 fans and have been so for many years. Thank you. Currently, my husband and I reside in Germany. Ah, uh, Germany. My husband is in an army bomb disposal expert. I am enclosing a photo of their bomb disposal robot, and I want to let you know that he has been nicknamed Crow huh? in honor of Crow T. Robot. Hey! Let me wow, see that, that's then. pretty neat. No, I can't. I think I should show this to Gypsy. She'd probably uh, uh, hey, really hey, like help it. Us down. Uh, uh, I'd like to see that. Joe, Joe! Can you give us a hand? You'd really like to come down now. Oh. Um, but Joe, I. You might want to help us down because we smell really good now. I'm a TJ yeah. Cinnamon Bun. Uh, mm. I'm, not, I'm not interested. Uh, and I'm fresh applesauce. Uh, oh, he's gone. Uh, think he'll be back? I don't know. Hmm. Hey, what's your bag smell like? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> oh, oh. Frank, are you all right up there? What do you care? Frank, I care a lot. Then give me back my money. And all you care about is money. Well, maybe you need some time alone to think about your priorities. Yeah, Like 
Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. You've caught us in the middle of one of Joel's uh, life simulation exercises. Joel's pretending to be a dairy farmer from southern Wisconsin. Help us! Whoa. Whoa, what happened to you? Well, anyway, hi there, folks. You know, I'd been having trouble with velvet leaf, uh, cutworm, and uh, foxtail, and, well, that's when the representative from Monsanto came out to my farm. He recommended a pre-emergent Inferal mixture of Lors band with atrazine in a tank mix, and I told him to get off my land. Here, chicken, chicken. Have your choice done by commercial schedule, which is in 15 seconds. Yes, sir. Oh, yep. Real life simulation? Call this Come what on. you may. The fact is, Joel's dressing up robots as farm animals. Come on, it's milking time. Commercial Come on. Sign. Four, Come three, on. two. Come on. Well, sign yep, on. just as I thought. These hens just aren't producing. I'm going to have to spray you all with insecticide. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah, it really works. You can cut off a chicken's head and it'll still run all over the place. Another fun thing to do on the farm is cow tipping. Gee, there's a lot of time to kill on a farm, isn't there? Yeah. yeah would you mind reuniting my head with my body, please, Joel Bob? Who said that? Old Joel Robinson had a farm? E-I-E, -E, I don't think so. Well, never before has the term booby been more appropriate. Why don't you tell him about the invention exchange, Frank? Well, when you're an on-the-go kind of a guy like myself, sometimes you need ear drops, sometimes you need eye drops, sometimes you need nose drops, sometimes you need throat drops. Sometimes when you touch, the honesty is too much. I want oh, to hold it till shut I cry up, till we Frank. Die. Look, carrying all those medications around, granted, is an inconvenience. That's why I say, combine them. That's why we invented the Orbital Auto Rhino Laryngological Dropper. Very conveniently combines all the ear, nose, and throat medications you need into a convenient package. What do you think, farm boy? Well, this is perfect because after your invention makes people feel better, they can enjoy their good health by going to the park and enjoying this new invention. It's called the musical chair. Cool. Nice. You get it? Okay. Yeah. Ah. Snappy. Woo. Yeah, what better way to sit in with your favorite musicians? Hey, <laughs> sit in with the, because it's a chair. And, uh, what do you think, to... sirs? Uh, I thought it had no texture. Say, what's the ladder for? Well, Frank, we've got a very special guest today to tell Joel and the bots about today's experiment. It's someone we all know and love. I think you're going to be excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jack Perkins. Jack Perkins, wow! Hello. Today's experiment is called Fugitive Alien, a wonderful film from Japan, not to be confused with The Fugitive, the classic television series which can be seen weekdays right here on A&E. This is actually a strung together series of Japanese shows which when put together in this way make for what I think is some of the best TV has to offer. Thanks, Jack. Now then we... Joyce Carol Oates will be out to read from her wondrous new work of fiction, her first novel in well over a month. Then Peter, Paul, and Mary will be out to give us a wondrous rendition from one of their songs off their scintillating new album. Then Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy will be out to tell us some poignant stories of the joys and sorrows of being really, really 
horribly old. And then Topol will be out. Oh, we got movie side. Who's Jack Perkins? <laughs> Okay, that's good, you guys. It's fun. Hey, it's the name of the rose. No, hey. it's a smiling face gone horribly wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Sandy Frank presents her own personal hell. Indeed. Who is that guy? Koyanis Gotsi. Cool, this is just like episode 38 of Star Trek the first season, but it doesn't have that no, same no, kind no, of No, 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 it's like thing. the Star Raiders that the Daleks had in the in the fifth generation of the Doctor and the Doctor Who when they had the three Doctors together and they had the one that oh, looked like Moe. Oh, it's Klingon. Okay. No, Starring David Jensen of Mars searching for the one-armed alien. Ooh. Oh, traffic on the outbound orbital plane is heavy to Lagrange too. Folks want might try taking an alter on Lagrange this morning. Hey, quit passing on the right. That's not fair. Mm. Mm. Take Tayama and shove it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Cool, so. Ah! Ah! Don't do that. Originally produced for the stage by the Royal Shakespeare Company. Mm. Watch out for that. Oh, just park it anywhere, boys. Oh, oh, just... <laughs> oh. The Raiders. Run for your lives. oh no! Raid! Oh. oh, this is super cool. Like that first episode of Battlestar Galactica when no, they had no, to leave no, the planet and James like Seymour got shot in the back. It's like Invasion Earth uh. and maybe like Solar Babies when the, the, the spaceships come in and... Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Madam Raiders. Butterfly? Attack! Uh, we've started already, sir. <laughs> Banana peel! Ooh. Come on to the shelter! Run! Run! Oh, I'll catch up! <sighs> Destroy the Earth and its inhabitants. It's Heck Razor! Ooh. Hey, it's a Rolling Stones hotel room. Oh, I kind of think it looks like Morton Thigh in the early days. <laughs> Why do they need so many writers? Oh, they needed one guy for the verbs, one guy for the nouns, somebody for the adjectives, you know, adverbs, gerunds. Whoa! Ooh! Oh, it looks like the floor of the Tokyo Stock Exchange on Black Monday, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, they've broken into Carol Channing's house. Jim Carter! In color. <laughs> wiggly poo, do the wiggly poo. Uh, I've been killed by an action figure. Whoa, run, more credits, run! <laughs> hey, no cutting in line. Jimkara. Jimkara. You're not half You're bad. All right, Ken. Honestly, I've never seen anyone so strong. Certainly not a redhead. <laughs> I'm twice as strong back home. Not in Valna Star. Say, hey, you don't shower. Did you hear that, Ken? <laughs> I'll check it out. Oh, how humiliating. Earth taken over by Judy Garland impersonator. Ooh, Ooh spring break pool jumping, dude. Ooh, kick, man. You're not going to make it. the pool. Bless you. Uh, or not. Oh, it's an intriguing mix of genocide and modern dance. Ooh. Hey, you're starting to sound like Jack Perkins, Joe. Hey. <laughs> There's one. When Josie and the Pussycats go bad. <laughs> huh? All right. Oh, there left. you go. Right. Not yet. Bang, bang. Well, you have split ends. <laughs> Ken. Little boys with guns grow up to be big enemies. Ooh. Better kill him while he's still young. Well? Hey, do you want to play? Ken! Huh? Hey, is everybody named Ken? Oh, what he's kids? Ken. Planet of the Kens? Ken! Or what? Planet where Kens Oh, what a perfect apocalyptic jumpsuit she's wearing. 
Hmm. Wait a minute. Pink hearts, blue moons, green Japanese boy. <laughs> what, is this Don Kirshner's rock concert all of a sudden? Hey! Yeah. These obsession ads are weird. Between Ken and Ken lies obsession. Shoot Ken! Kill them both! Which Ken? The closer Ken gets, the better Ken looks. Ken! What are you waiting for? Uh oh, buck fever. Yep. Only Ken's Ken dresser knows for sure. Ken 2, help Ken 1! They have such a glow about mm -hmm. them. His mama is a saint. If I have one life to live, let me live it as a Ken. Don't shoot! Hmm? Don't shoot! Don't, don't shoot! shoot! I, bad. I don't kill women and children. It's damn back and me. Don't it's shit! No. You're a disgrace to all Kens. Was that you? Ken? Hmm? Ken? Why? I love you, Ken. You betrayed us. Ah, uh, the name's Ken. Call me Ken. You won't get away with it, Ken! Run, Ken, run! Ken, kill Ken! Get him! He killed one of his own men! I didn't mean to! It was an accident! Ken 33, go left. Ken 16 and 18, flank him. Ken 7, go around the back. Ken 4, I mean, 10 oh, 4. No. <laughs> there he goes! There! He's a traitor! Don't let him get away! Just like that episode where it was like the, the Nazi world on Star Trek. No, and they, no, no. They it's like Doctor Who and Tom Baker was the doctor. I think he was the fifth doctor, and he was trying to save Neela from the Clyde Masters. That's no, because I saw it at a, a no, man. No, no, no. I saw it, I saw it in, the, in the Who Festival there, 12 hours. He hurt his little pants. Ooh. After him. He's been hit. In the pants. Little pants. You have betrayed us. You will never set eyes on Valnistar again. Oh, I flipped and I didn't even have to. I just love to do it, just for fun. What? Hmm? It smells like my wig in here. I'll get home somehow. Do you want to go faster? You will not reach home. All traitors die. Don't smoke. <laughs> well, you gotta get that steering column fixed. I'll get there if it's the last thing I do. Probably will be. <laughs> Hey, boo boo, it's the Rangers. So they think they can blow me out of the sky? Yep. This lever is stuck. Yeah, so was the lever. <laughs> These are broken. wrong. I can't get it under control. I'm a crappy special effect. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to die in the thong section of Victoria's Secret. Ooh, cool. Pull up! Pull up! Oh boy. No, he's in more trouble than Hudson Hawk at the box office. <laughs> huh? That's an alien sound. Say. An enemy signal. Or a garbage truck backing up. Yeah, could be. They think they can kill me so easily. Well, they're in for a little surprise. I'm a ranger, too. I'm a star boy. Of course you are, Ken. Just keep saying that to yourself. Star Monks in space! It's my only chance. I'm going to have to bail out. Wait a minute. Oh, is that Ken? It's not Ken, it's Ken. Oh, you You're mean Ken? confusing him with Ken. Oh, I was thinking of Ken. No, Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh, I thought it was Ken all along. Mm. Uh, let's see. AAA roadmap, flashlight, Mars bar. No, I'm set. I know some people will do anything to get to Mass on Holy Thursday, I gotta tell you. <laughs> hey, he shouldn't have had those baked beans. <laughs> it's too easy. 
Is that him or the... I told you to watch the speed bumps! What do you suppose that was? It sounded like Ken. Ken. What's happening here? Hmm? Easy, Tammy. Uh-huh. That was no meteor, right? That was my wife! <laughs> <laughs> the big room. <laughs> Turn on the radiation deflector. That yes, trick sir. never deflector. works. Operating, sir. That explosion sent out powerful magnetic fields. And so do I. spacecraft if we're not careful. So stay on the alert. Yes, yes sir. sir. Left all the Kens everywhere. This is a Sneed, magnified a hundred times. <laughs> Do you smell aliens? Looks like we're out of danger now. Uh-huh. Captain! What's that out there? It's a Zenith Chromacolor, and it can be all yours if you pick that what's behind like door man, number one. Space. You're right. It's a man with little pants. It's Frank Poole. You must have bailed out of that ship before it exploded. Looks like you're still breathing. Good eye. Rocky? Mm. Yes, sir? We're going to rescue him. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why don't we just leave well enough alone? Don't say that. He isn't even wearing a spacesuit. Oh. No way he could have survived out there. He could have. Dan, what is our mission if not to save lives? You know, she's right. Oh. OK. Let's go for it, Rocky. Rocky. Yes, sir. Whoa. Take your foot off the clutch. <laughs> That's not the wolf attacker. Who could it be? Hmm. Oh, I remember this. This is just like in Maroon when David Jansen goes to save Gene Hackman and James Franciscus in the derelict spaceship before the, so the, the, the Soviet... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the Soviet ship. satellite comes up and... Uh, it is, I've had it. Space mimes in color. Da, 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 da. Got monkey bars. <laughs> Dr. Livingston, I presume. <laughs> Give me a hug, you big galoot. He's alive, all right. I got dibs. I don't get it. Uh, Nobody could have survived that explosion. Hey, right. Any normal human being would have been blown to bits. <gasps> He's coming to terms with himself. <laughs> Oh, my God, I've been captured by Wayne Newton. Dog of shame. Hello, friend. Ow. Ow. Welcome to the Earth's oldest spaceship, Bacchus 3. Model A. My name is Joe. Hello, Joe. This what do you know? Just got back from Kokomo. How did you ever survive <laughs> that crash? Watch it, Ken. This might be a trap. Hmm? You sure took your chances out there without a spacesuit. Or did your spacesuit explode as well? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, sir. <laughs> I just don't get it. Can a guy get a cup of coffee around here? I'll answer that, sir. This is Bacchus 3, over. This is Space Control. Hmm? The Wolf Raiders from Balna Star have been attacking the Earth. They seem to be huh? developing huh? on the huh? way to come back. Huh? Wolf Raiders huh? route MMS 600 beyond the alert. Huh? 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 Whoa. A strong hey. reaction. Seems a little defensive to me, doesn't huh? it? Cut it out, you guys! Cut it out! Monkey shines. Can't afford to lose control. Yeah, well, what do you call that then? <laughs> oh, you can see the zipper. Yeah. I thought so. My best flatware. Oh, I got a couple of questions. You like Peter Allen? Who are you? And what's yeah. the capital of South Dakota? And why did you react that way when you heard the word wolf, huh? Hmm? And where did you get all your strength? You'd better tell us the truth, fella. Come on. Come on! I'm an astronomer. I was doing scientific work. Huh? You're hurting me. Let go. Oh, oh. I heard about the Wolf Raiders on my radio. Mm -hmm. That's why I reacted. I, and I, telling us the I truth, also sir. believe in fairies. I don't mm. want to get killed. Captain, UFOs on our radar screen. I'm what? busy, can't you see? Check it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Right. Uh, <sighs> nice cufflinks. The air car done. Hmm. Say. Now I'm gonna spank Listen you to me. big time. I don't want you to move from this spot. Unless, of course, you feel like leaving this ship and floating in space. I don't dance. You can get up now. <laughs> well, this ah. is comfortable, but jeepers. Hmm? Hey, look, that truck's headed to Utah. You keep your eyes on the screen. Yes, sir. 
All instruments operational? Yes, sir. And how? We're approaching route MMS 600, sir. And my heart is racing. <laughs> Look how fast they're going. Who can generate that kind of velocity? Wolf Raiders. I can. For sure. <laughs> you sir, them. I don't think we're any match for them. Got my nose. Look at that. <laughs> Change course. <laughs> you can't take them on in this beat up old crate. Change course. Someone put a gag in his mouth. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. Let me, let me, please. <laughs> Talking sense for once. They have greater firing power. The ship is much too old to take on superior forces like wolf raiders. It's too late to turn around now. I think they've spotted our position. They're Batman. Are they listening to ELO? Uh -huh. It's a fleet of drapery hooks. Huh? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? This is it. Let's go. Hey, I got an idea. Let's get that box of hats out of the back. Girl. Oh, I know where that is. I get it. Yeah. What are you two yard monkeys doing now? Uh, well, uh, seeing the uh, stupid Wolf Raider hair helmets in the experiment reminded me of all this stuff from the last hat party we had. Hey, put that one on. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want I'd feel silly. Uh, I remember that one. That one was the grandest of all. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought we could take some of these and have fun with them and maybe make up even more stupider hats, you know, for the next party. Oh, say, put that one on me. I got okay. an idea here. Okay. Now, you see, this is a helmet for astronauts who are losing their hair. You see, with the balding <laughs> coming over. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right, I'm into it now. Look at this one. Okay, this ah. goes back to 1981. I'm a punk from space, get it? Ooh. I am a anarchist. Get it? Oh, that's cool. Hey, this big one over here, put this one on okay. me, Joel. No, I got, I got it, I got it. This is what Patty LaBelle would look like on the space shuttle. Wow! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Oh, uh, try wow. the other one there. Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, way down oh, there. Huh? Oh, oh, watch the hand. Sorry, yeah. Oh, oh wow, look at it. It's the Ted Koppel satellite of hair. Or, 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 or you can you can pull down that curl in front and it would look just like Frank's hair helmet. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think those things are wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. <laughs> ah, burn. Dr. F, you better come have a look at this. Joel and the bots are making fun of my hair. My hair! Now, Frank, let them have their little fun. The experiment's not quite over, and they'll soon live to regret it. <laughs> no, oh, rich. Oh, wait, hey, guys, look at this one, hey. Huh? Ah, no. Oh, uh, this one looks like Dr. Forrester if his head got sucked into the vacuum of space through a keyhole. No. <laughs> now, you cut that out. Remember what I said about hat parties. You get your little hinders back into that theater, and, and you watch the film. I'm not amused by your antics in the least. I thought it was a sheer delight. I think that's about as grand as a hat party can get. <laughs> ah, that was about as painful as a cattle prod to the shoulder could get. Ah. Send them commercial, Frank. I'll send them commercial sign. But later on in the program, Linda Ellerby will be out there. Ah. I hate to say it, but Jack Perkins had that coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, poor guy. That party never ended like that before. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Well, I wish someone would turn off the courageous cat music. Chili peppers burn my gut. Chin rascal. More like face rascal. Yeah. Space speed. Ed von Munch, I presume? <laughs> Look at that. Give him a face massage. Well, we can't fight him, but we can confuse the heck out of him. <laughs> Fries are up. Yep. Whoa, whoa, that was us. Jeepers. Somebody hang up the phone! Huh. 
Well, watch out for that. Uh. Oh, well, never mind. Oops. Cease fire. Backers three. You haven't seen the last of me. Jim Backers? <laughs> no, get it. Uh, cookies are done, sir. Cool, huh? Yeah. Great music. Looks like we made it. Left each other all the way to another. That's been knocking out my officer. Hey. Look alive, you guys. There's work to do. Alive, sir. I'm sorry, honey. Are you okay? Rocky, are you okay? Uh, yo, Say something. Adrian. Uh, cut me, cut me. Got... We did it. We got away from them. I did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? All I know is he's ten times as strong as we are. And I love him. And he got us through the Wolf Raiders. Single he's a snappy dresser and a good friend. Hey, bookmobile, summer reading program. Third planet from the sun will be known as Earth. Pretty Thunder. much. Oh, no, we'll have to circle LaGuardia for an hour, I'm betting. <laughs> yeah, I can see the Great Wall. It's okay. They're going to the Dell. That Jimmy left his Legos in the driveway again. Mm. That kid. Well, I tell you, that ship is burping out a lot of chlorofluorocarbons there, yeah. punching a hole in the ozone. <coughs> the bank will be closing in five minutes. Here is the latest report on the attack of the Valna Raiders. Due to heavy damage, aerospace port number six has been closed to all traffic until further notice. Okay. That's off port. What hmm? will we do? I just talked to headquarters. They said all streets leading to the base have been destroyed. <laughs> Check that out. Check yes, her sir. out. Hey. Attention, please. Take charge of the yes, prisoner. Sir. Flights are kindly requested to proceed immediately to Space Command the headquarters prisoner? for debriefing. That's we repeat, yeah. well, senior yeah. officers of all incoming flights proceed at yeah. once to Space Command headquarters. Watch the steno pool go wild for his vinyl. <laughs> Excuse me, how can sir? I contact Spaceport 6? Right up there, sir. Thank you. I just want to check out my uh, car loan here. Get out of my way. All function. Mm -hmm. Huh? Noah's Ark? Hey, and there's Moses' Jeep. <laughs> Ooh. Did he tell you how he got that wound? I gave it to him. He refused to answer any of our questions. He started shouting and acting crazy. So I gave him a tranquilizer to quiet him. Is he likely to get violent? He's mm, highly unpredictable. Much. Please maintain him here under heavy guard. Thanks for the warning. Bye. Bye now. Come on. Everybody's doing their banking in this movie. Looks Must like be. Ken's driving the Malibu Barbie Beach Jeep. Cool. I just have to get out some money for the weekend. Oh, dang, they're closed. Boy, I would love to be a banker. So, uh, dinner Thursday? Great. Good. Excuse me. Way. Yeah. <clears throat> it. Hi, say, dinner Friday? Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, hi, uh, dinner uh, Sunday, can we do it? Oh, you're free. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this <laughs> is <laughs> Elvis. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, huh? The audience has left the arena. <laughs> what the, oh? Oh, Ooh, baby doll, mm -hmm. some ballet slippers. <laughs> huh? The geometric nucleus. And a chew toy. Well, I'll just uh, rifle the dead stuff here. <laughs> so, dinner Sunday. Oh. 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 What a calf. Marianne, Ginger, Skipper, Bobby, Professor. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, the, uh, oh. 
Whopper. Did he say Whopper? It sounded like Whopper. Is that a, a Whopper? Oh, darling. Darling, where's Marianne? Uh, the uh, dead. Uh, the dusting downstairs. Where is she? <laughs> Marianne's resting. In peace. Pieces. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried something had happened to her in that terrible attack. Yeah, whatever. I couldn't find her anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I passed out mm -hmm. woke up here. What'd you say? Boy, what a view. You got a great we're room all here. together again. Mm -hmm. <gasps> hmm? Well, that does take the pressure off. Yeah. Hey, Ken's got a problem. <laughs> Ken wasn't careful. <laughs> Ken's going to get candy. Hmm? Oh no, you don't, sir. You Oh yes, I do. <laughs> Physician, heal thyself. <laughs> I know just what to do. I'll sneak out of here disguised as Chad Everett. That always works. Hey, hey, McGarrett's up here. Ooh, tough skins in Husky, slim and regular. Ken's out cross-training. Just do it. <laughs> Ken was safe for the moment, but where could he go? What, what could, could he do? do? An outcast on his own planet. A fugitive alien yep. on Earth. Yep. He would have to That's make a title, fresh start somewhere. In the robot holocaust. But where? And how could he get there? And what of Bob's love for Chad? Oh, uh, sorry, that was me. Excuse me. A spacecraft. Duh. I'll have to hijack one. Oh, <laughs> better. Great. Not in those slacks. Now, now, I cue myself, jump back, and hop. Jumping, running, and spinning. Follow me. Oh, I'm only me. Careful. Yeah, this is good for the glutes. I wish, I wish you got him on it. The burn! Oh, the burn! Hmm? He's at a ski lodge now. What it gives? Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me where I can hijack a spaceship? Anybody? No? Okay, never mind. Anybody? Uh, spaceship? Need to hijack a spaceship? Yeah. Hey. Nobody around. But how do I get aboard? Go through the lumber yard. That's how you get aboard. <laughs> get us in the lumber. Mm -hmm. huh? Hello, stranger. Hi, sailor. Did you just drop by for coffee, or were you planning to stay on for the cocktail hour? <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'll have that cocktail now. Well, friend. You're not a very gracious guest. I brought Isn't crackers. Isn't very courteous to point a gun it's at It's not your courteous host. to point your finger, you shouldn't dolt. shouldn't run away from that nice, clean infirmary. St. So James about Infirmary. giving me the gun? That's enough. Hmm? Turn around and face the wall. Whoa. Go on! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think it'd be a good idea to check if it's loaded? What? Who? Hmm? Hmm? No! Oh. Group Team 35! What a works every time. What a the stupidest thing I ever did was to save the life of a Val Narrator. You people have no respect for life. You would even kill your own families if it brought you some advantage. The world will never be safe with people like you around. Let's kiss. Look! You'd even destroy the universe. Barbarian. The minute I saw you, I knew you were one of those savage bound the wolves. But I you love died. you. You know something? That was my last flight. I wanted to devote the rest of my life to my wife and kid. My wife just died in my arms. I thought it was hey, a you were way over by the window. Yeah. Honestly, where's the pride in killing defenseless women and children? You call that heroism? I call it fun. Don't you have any hobbies? When we saved you, a little swatch of cloth got torn off your uniform. Ooh. I found one exactly like it. Next to the body of my little daughter. Uh -oh. So, what have you got to say? Um, oops. Oh, sorry? I'm listening. <laughs> no one can beat me at snap I was, I was in time of the later. apes. There's no point trying to hide it. I was on a mission, but I killed one of my comrades in an accident. 
I ran away. What if Lip? Now the other wolves are hunting the traitor. You're lying through your teeth. Don't you expect me to buy that? It's the truth. Yeah. I swear it. Now listen to the rest of the story. Page two. We attacked Earth. Rope My buddy food. ordered me to kill a child. They never explained the blonde wigs. I don't get that. I couldn't. And it was then that he turned his rifle on the child. Then I saw him raise his gun to fire. I just wanted to get him to put the rifle down. Suddenly, I looked down and saw that glassy look in his eyes. That sly come hither stare. I'd forgotten how strong I was. Ken, you did the right thing. Now, turn off the World chance. Matt. You know I never keep any bullets in my gun. Hmm? Oh, like Barney Fife. Or killing anyone is too horrible. I didn't feel that way when I was about your age. I was like you, wild and reckless. Well, that's me to a T. What? Up till today, you killed for kicks. Hey, like the wild rebels. Dude. You were just like I used to be. Thrill killer. I wasn't. I was a soldier carrying out orders. There's no dishonor in that. What is dishonor then? Killing for a corrupt power? Punky cheese. Or your own conscience. See, that's why you're a scummy traitor. Cigar? Why, yes it is. <laughs> Thank you. I've been thinking things yeah. over. No point in retiring. Now, with no wife or family to go home to. You'll do fine. No. I'm going to need some new men in the crew. Slim-hipped and willowy. Pink lips. Young fellow who's become a fugitive being hunted all over the universe. What could that be? Could do a lot worse than throwing in his lot with the crew of Bacchus Three. Hmm. We might even get to be friends. He asked me, he asked me. I don't understand. What have I done to deserve this? We don't deserve half the things we get. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck <laughs> here. Listen. Mood swings, boy. You're exactly what I tell you. You have a good chance of turning into a man, not just a wolf raider. And don't you ever forget. I know exactly who you are and where you came from. Oh. One false move and I'll set you adrift to fend for yourself. With bread Captain! Fruit. Now, let's have some fun. Now then, Captain! whether you like it or not. She's yours. Looks have like fun. you just signed on. Welcome to Herbalife. Captain Joe. <laughs> I kind of think I'll like it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Idiot. Let's go skiing, gang. Everything's fine. In the land of Dairy Queen, we treat you right. While oh. Ken was being welcomed aboard Bacchus III and starting his life as an Earthling, back on Valna Star, Ken's former home, the Wolf Raiders were returning from their unsuccessful Back's mission story. to conquer Earth. Oh. Their leader, the notorious yeah. Lord Halcon, was determined to punish Ken mercilessly for his supposed betrayal. Meanwhile, I went to more voiceover auditions. Uh, Say, speak okay. of punishing mercilessly. Whoa. Whoa. I'm wearing a bib because I just ate. Tragedy tomorrow, Peter. Kabuki tonight. I take it you have already heard that your brother has lost his life. Yes. He was killed by Ken. Ken did it. Those bastards! Why, that can't be true. I know it must seem impossible. You loved each other, I'm and sure. he was your brother's friend. I trusted him too. How sad it is to put your trust in a traitor. Mm. And that's not the worst part. He killed your brother in an attempt to defend an Earthling. Oops. No, I'll never get my records back. Then he escaped into the unknown in a stolen spaceship. That'll happen. He's a coward. A traitor. He has disgraced us all. I forbid you to see he has him. He forfeited the right to live. Must he die? Yes, and you must be his executioner. Mm. It is an old Valna law that murders must be avenged by the victims next of kin. Um, not that I don't trust you, a wise one, but can I see the book on that rule? It's a... Rat Patrol in color. Looks like they were shooting this out of the windshield of a Vista Cruiser station wagon. Yeah, kind of yeah. Tempted Remember, love. Rita, Ken must die by your hand. You are not to return here without his head. Without his head. 
Oh, I gotta lay off the shrooms. Lay off the shrooms. Ken. Did someone say Ken? Ken, you will pay dearly for what you did. I know, Mama. Boy, oh. Oh. Hmm? oh, that was easy. I can go home. Oh, damn, I was supposed to bring back his head. Dad! Where aren't you? Is she going to meet a ride out there or something? I don't know. She's supposed to walk to the revenge. I know you've heard of the star Carrero. It's in the center of the seven constellations. Inhabited by a strong and independent nation. The Cherokee Nation. Hmm. We have been allied with Carrero for centuries, and now they are threatened. Their mortal enemies have developed a super weapon. Super weapon? Well, a uh, really good one, anyway. We have all the details, but we have an intelligence report. Apparently, this weapon can destroy a whole continent. If we do nothing to prevent it, then I'm afraid Carrero is doomed to extinction. And that is the reason that they got in touch with us. Now we're alone. After giving it careful consideration, I've decided that you are the only man capable of doing the job. So we're going to get you a new dicky. But they've always handled their own defenses. This time, they've got more than one enemy. The pool table. It looks like the Valna Raiders are going to attack. Valna Star is one of the strongest forces of evil in our universe. See what I tell you. <laughs> Cool, anyway. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I was just playing a video game in my head. I understand. There's no way that they can handle this alone. Yes, the Kararans are a valiant people, but <laughs> they are no match for the Valna Raiders. <laughs> what, what? You were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the eighth hole at Torrey Pines. <laughs> sorry about that. Let's cut the crap. I love Very you. Well. I accept the mission. Okay. Good. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't disappoint us. Yuck. I yeah, always look forward time. to the crew check, especially with such a fine crew as the one on the back is three. I love it. That's Rocky. The flying squirrel. The best space pilot in the business. And a good friend. You remember Dan, my navigator? Indeed I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this little <laughs> darling is your morale officer, no doubt. <laughs> oh, Negative, sir. Lieutenant <laughs> Tommy knows more about the than here. the two of us put together. You don't say. Doesn't sound half bad. No. Young Billy, he's going to make a fine officer someday. It's a good crew, Joe. Not quite. No, I've got some shots of the picnic here now. Oh, Who's the bus boy? Face. He looks like he could handle himself in a fight. Mm -hmm. Always rough and ready, all right. But that's just what I need on this mission. <laughs> Real bruiser. After mm -hmm. all, the Valna like Raiders it. aren't what Send him to my room. sweet and gentle either, sir. Listen, Joe. We're asking you to set out on a dangerous assignment. We can't afford any unknown Damn, quantities out there. Cool. Do you know anything about this man's background? I just want to recruit this guy. In the worst way. I wasn't planning to adopt him. Joe, I like you. A lot. You're weird. Okay. If you think he's all right, then he's all yours. Oh, oh I'm in China. I'm in China. No. Oh, no. It's just a... <laughs> Red ball jets help you run faster and jump higher. Cool. Uh, Oh, I thought I was in an ST commercial. Hmm. Oh, I see a bunny and a cloud and a blonde wig and a satin tap pant. A matching camisole. If you do it right. Oh, another royalty check for Herb Alpert coming up. Excellent calf muscles, Ed. Mm -hmm. I want your wig now. It's been 26 miles. It's only fun if I catch you. Wait up! <laughs> it's the tender song of love. Come on, it's my turn to wear the nightgown. We gotta go, folks. Let's run. Rita. Rita, man. Try to understand. I did what I had to. Okay, now Crow, I want yeah. you to be Ken, and okay. Tom, I want you to be Ken. Joel, I feel ridiculous. I'm dressed like Evil Knievel, only not so tasteful. Yeah, Joel, uh, I don't want to cast aspersions on your little play-acting idea. I, 
I don't want to be the dead squirrel under the floorboards of your hunting shack, but this is the stupidest thing you've ever had to do yet. Come on, yeah, Joel, you've been nipping at the tester's glue or yeah. what here? Come on, I just thought it would be fun to play the handsome captain of the spaceship, okay? It's a lark, a spree. Run with me on this one. I promise I'll never make you do it again. Oh, yeah, right. Well, give it a week. I'll have a six-foot foam scorpion stinger hanging off my butt. Come on, yeah, look, let's be... just get this over with, okay? Just come on, you guys. It'll be a guess. Okay, Cambot, help me out on this one. Okay. Neutral drive off. Engines to full. All right, Captain. No. Cigar, Ken? Yeah. You know, no sense in me returning back home. Uh -huh. What with my wife and child gone. Oh, that's right. They took a laser bolt, didn't they? Too you bad. Know, cigar, Ken? You know, a young fellow, I could use a few of them on my ship. A young fellow could do a lot worse than throwing with a lot of back as three. We might even become friends. I don't understand. What did I do to deserve this? We don't deserve half the things we get. <laughs> He's stuck here! Gee, Joel, don't vapor lock on us. It's just a little skit for crying out loud. Well, so I uh, brought the engines to neutral. Yeah, you do exactly as I say, and maybe you'll find out what it means to be a real man rather than just a wolf raider. Yeah, right, and you've got a good chance to end up at the Francis Farmer Motel. Oh, jeez, oh, oh. Joe, get a hold of Nobody yourself! Nobody hits one of my officers! Oh. 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 I think you broke my jaw. Oh, sorry about that. Jeez, Ouch. out of control. Boy. How symbolic. Hmm. Are you on surveillance duty? Sorry I scared you. You looked so angry I was afraid I was going to get strangled. Well, there's still time for that. <laughs> Who's Rita? Your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, yes. yes. Can I cut your tongue? Shut up! Sorry. I'm just a little <laughs> tired. You know, Ken, I'm beginning to think you're not an earthling. Hmm? You haven't got the slightest idea how to talk to a girl, honestly. I just wanted to say hello. You didn't have to bite my head off. Is that what I do? I don't feel like talking. And I don't like people meddling in my affairs. Oh, you don't? Well, have it your way. At Burger King? Hmm. This crew had better start learning to get along. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a difficult mission. Our next mission will take us to Vaholi in the 32nd holy, holy. constellation. However, before reaching our final destination... We all get hats, we big call ones. on Carraro, which has asked Scrambled the space eggs. agency for our assistance. As you may have heard, Carraro and Vaholi are at war, and recently the Wolf Raiders have joined forces with Vaholi. In other words, this will be no picnic. More like a small dinner well, party. What do you say? Do we a accept? Buffet. Sir, I'd rather go and fight and sit down here bored out of my mind. Captain. I think this is one mission where you're not going to need whiskey for excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need a stiff belt when I get back, though. Hey, you'll need a big belt. Mm. I've got well, Baloney's for arms! We're not going to take him along. Cool it, Danny. Hmm? But, Captain, who is he? I've made what my decision. What do we decision. know about it? Hmm? You can take it or leave it. Mm. Captain, I'm sorry. I'm sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> Captain, we accept your decision. Ken, welcome aboard. Are you sure you've got what it takes for the job? You bet we have. Don't press With your Captain luck. Captain Joe in charge, no mission is impossible. Well, time will tell. Monty Python's flying circus. Hey, the crew got free tanning sessions. Ooh. Bite, Bite down. Bite down, please. Bite down, please. Bite down, please. Oh, oh don't bite down here. Uh, bite me, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, <laughs> it's the goofiest ship in the cosmos. What, are Ma and Pa Kettle going on this mission or something? <laughs> hey, there's <Whoa>. Don Knotts. <laughs> I've had a rebuilt from stem to stern. Neat, huh? To withstand the extreme velocities out there. I don't want to have another encounter like I had with the Wolf Raiders. I thought I was going to explode like a balloon. Shouldn't have had those oh, buffalo I sure wings. I never <laughs> have to do anything like that again, Captain. What are the specs on this job, sir? Oh, those are bugs. They'll wash off. We've mm -hmm. added a power unit that can take us up to speeds of uh, Mach 5, 6 and over. Yeah, pretty much. Any more speed would tear us apart. Yeah. You know... Security guard? I'm really looking forward to flying <laughs> this like old devil. So am I. Here. Joe. Hi, Harry. Hi, team gang. Are you really going to take on that mission? Sure thing. You leave the milk runs to us. Well, you always were a daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 
Is there any truth to that rumor? They say Rocky wants out of this mission. Again? If he feels like a change, I could sure use him. Hmm. Sounds like someone's overactive imagination. Rocky's accounted for. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> you salty dog. Were they? Hmm? This is a strange development. Wheels everywhere. Using my superior strength to fight my own people. What is this, the Wonder Years? Sure, I'd love to liberate Balna Star from the Tyrant Hell. Let the air out of the tire crawl. Cool. Families up there. And Lisa, hey. does she know I killed her brother? <gasps> Maybe. Will I ever be able to explain to her what really happened? And what about Good Naomi? Time. Will she love again? Hmm? Trains. Neat. Cool. Big ones. Screamers. That guy Rocky hates me. Can Captain Joe control him? Or not? Will Joe admit that Sue loves Mary? Hmm. Killdozer with Clint Walker, no! Oh, wow! Oh, no! Eat fork, buddy. He thinks I'm a pallet. Uh, well, fortunate for me, I ate some more spinach before I left the house, guy. <laughs> hey, come on, dim your brights, I can't see! Oh, you should know by now, pal. When you push a wolf raider, he pushes back. <laughs> This must be one of those Russian forklifts I've heard so much about lately. This is the song written for the train chase. This is the chase, Rocky and Ken. He tried to kill me with a forklift. Olé! Joe Mannix. Ba -da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Rocky! Again! Well, that answers my question. What was the question? I thought you were a wolf raider. They planted you on our flight to sabotage our mission. Yeah, well, you're a wuss raider, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you high? I have the strength of 20 men. This is the song right after the train chase. This is the fight. Rocky and Ken. What's going on? Oh, nothing, sir. Uh, Captain! Pacing the freshman. <laughs> I told you, no grabass in Captain. the shower. I know who he is now. He's my mother. He's my sister. He's, He's my mother and my He's sister. Stole. He tried to, to kill, kill me with the forklift. <laughs> Rocky, how often do I have to tell you you should stop reading those science fiction novels? They're comic what books! Captain. Tell him. I know Ken's a lot stronger than we are. There's a reasonable scientific explanation for that. You spend a lot of time in another constellation. Hmm. That increases strength. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're a liar. I don't believe you just like him. No. No. Don't expect any gratitude from me. Okay. I won't. Ha. Now you listen to this. Pull my finger. What I expect from you is total obedience. If that's okay with you. You know, you'll only continue to live as long as I shut up. I got a threat from the captain. Shut up. Cool. Wow. Amazing. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. God, that's so great. It's only a model. All right, spit out the and sunflower so seeds. Our valiant space adventurers prepare to embark on a perilous and exciting mission. Don't roll the ship, lose the building with Jerry Lewis, Charlie Kelson, Steve Frank, and <laughs> Meanwhile, on Valna Star, other plans are being made. Remember, Rita, it is our law. You may not return until the Ryan Jones? Tell me, spirit, are these shadows of things which must be or which might be? You don't do a chest. You still don't have no chest and no dead. Hey, look, 27, 8 by 10 color glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and the paragraph on the back of each one. Why am I thinking of the cast party now? Oh, I like that one. Uh, Marianne. 53 bucks for the photos. Barbara. Whose hand is that? I can be Barbara. My baby. My wife. 
Whatever. I don't care anymore what happens to me out beyond the stars. Mm. If I don't survive, then we can be together again that much sooner. Oh, well, would yes. somebody turn the fryer light I'll off miss me? You so. Rest peacefully until then. It won't be long now. What a sap. What? Oh, I got the wrong grave. I'm sorry, Olga. Oh, uh, that is... Oops. Oh, embarrassing. Uh, I gotta go paint a house now. Sorry. Oh. Well, I just about Hey, they're having all. a jumpsuit party. And always, James is the grandest of all. Thanks. You're a great crew. Ready to levitate well. the table? To the mission. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm? Rocky, aren't you going to drink with us? Gonna fly now? Sir, I want you... In the worst way. To ...order me to go on this mission. I sure will. Rocky, I order you to pilot Bacchus 3. Yes, sir. I guess you're stuck with me at the controls. <laughs> Let's go for it then. You old space ah, out. You pile of space crap. <laughs> this is yours. It has your initials on it. I made it in shop class just for you. It's the song of the space mugs. We'll drink to the brotherhood. Hello. He drank it. He drank it. Yes. Captain, it's for you. Fisher Price phone, sir. Oh, hello. What I'm about my cheeks, you wild right. Departure. Wait, Ten, they're having cocktails. Nine, eight, seven. Musketeers, six, sign in. Carby. Five, four. Roy. Three, Jimmy. Annette. Chad. Zero. <laughs> Looks like it's anything can happen Lift today, sir. Remember that the Musketeers and Mickey Mouse are registered trademarks of Disney Incorporated, Buena Vista Television, Touchstone Pictures, and the unlicensed distribution of any of these images that are not remotely as resembling any Walt Disney images. They're closely forbidden by Disney, uh, Buena Vista, Touchstone, and uh, Michael Eisner. Hey, watch out for the Whoa. tower! And Ooh. so the reposition oh. Bacchus 3 blasted off for her next encounter with Destiny. This mission would be the most demanding the ship and her crew had ever been asked to endure. But first, this message. <laughs> Hardly presser, cabin presser, like an Arab they were. Captain Joe immediately tested the newly installed speed acceleration equipment. The Duck ship boy. was going to need all the speed he could get, and he had to know early on if the crew could take the pressure. I can't, my face goes all funny, sir. <laughs> That's quite a tick you got there, son. Let's loosen up with some butter gutter. Butter gutter, butter gutter, butter gutter, butter gutter. I can't stop, I don't know how it works. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye, goodbye. Tibet International. The white zone is for loading and unloading only. <laughs> Engine off. Engine off. Engine off. Doesn't it feel great to be back on the ground again? <laughs> oh, a trouser Rocky, came. Hi there. He sent someone to meet us. Ken, release the gangway. Um, call okay. me Ken. Okay, Ken. Nice gangway. Is that the gangway? How much does a gangway? Beedy, 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 beedy. Welcome back. Oh, no, it's the planet of Tweakies. Oh, boy. What a nightmare. What could be worse? Hmm? It's a planet of Gallagher's. That's it's melon crazy. That's no. worse. <laughs> Captain Joe. Moving kind of slow. Seems to know you. Captain Joe and one officer, follow me. Yes, sir. The rest wait here till you receive further orders. Okay. Doesn't sound too friendly. Can it, Rocky? Again, canning it, sir. I'm going to establish contact. Meanwhile, you wait here. Good idea. Let's keep it cool. We're going to be involved in very delicate negotiations. Uh, there's cold cuts in the fridge and some armor all in the glove box, and uh, keep out of the liquor cabinet. Bye. See you later. Get him, team gang! Get back! I'm taking in the gangway. I'm Looks taking like in my little pants. Has anybody here got a deck of cards? They're supposed to be our allies. I was never welcomed anywhere like this before. Hmm. Summer in the Black Mountain Hills, out in the middle of some alien planet. <laughs> it's a thing. Any guy look stupid? See my boss. Oh, this is nice, comfortable. Nice ride. Look at it. Oh, now they're big and they're in Mexico. Hmm? Come on. You guys wait here. I gotta go cash a check. Tap a kidney. 
nice digs. Welcome to the dance of incontinence. Mm -hmm. I mean, seven continents. Oh, <laughs> kind of a yeah, uh, bathroom. Stand up. Why are the garage doors all of a sudden? Ooh. Easy access. Say hello. hello. Hmm? Hmm. What is this strange feeling inside me? It's a voiceover called There's love. There's out there somewhere, and I want to be part of it. Yes, sir. That's my baby. Well, I think I'll do a little reconnaissance. See you, man on the horse. Stay here. You can't leave the ship. Ken! Ken, go after what Ken. Hey, Billy, let's join him out there. Right. Stop or I'll shoot. Hey. Everybody run. Tammy's got we a gun. We have orders to wait here in this spacecraft. And that's exactly what we're going to do. She is management material. We have to stick together. Oh, come on, guys. Now I want to do what I want to do. Imperial Margarine presents... Conquistador. Conquistador. To try to kill me with a forklift. I That's felt Ken. this excitement Olé. before when I was fighting with the Wolf Raiders. Hmm? Ooh, step, step on a crack, break your mother's back. <laughs> break your own back. Your mother was a saint, by the way. Top of the world, ma! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he got his prescription filled. Yep. Bang, bang, bang. And he's reverting to childhood. Bang, bang. Uh, I'm sorry about Ken. They've had a hard time with him adjusting to school. They say he's gifted, though. Uh, Martino, thanks. I've had eight cups. Say, how much longer now? His Excellency will be with you shortly. I don't. I believe you said that two hours ago. I don't need this crap. <laughs> New from Chun King. Oh, great, a floor show. Ooh, is the great T.E. Lawrence going to join us now? Uh, we don't know if we should stand because we don't know if you're a man or a woman yet. Mm. I'm Captain Joe. This is Rocky, my right. first officer. Odinja, Lord of Kararu. <laughs> it's <a> Dorf! <laughs> He's a guy we can sit on. Oh God, we on asked you to leave your planet and come and help us. Because of hostilities with the Star Cesar. Romero. I don't understand. Why have they declared war on you? They want what we have. Mm -hmm. We have mineral resources Cesar is envious of. Cool. Rather than pay for them like everyone else, they think they can obtain them by force and violence. We used to laugh at Cesar. Now Unfortunately, bring me they've grown stronger. <laughs> Dangerously stronger. They've acquired a super weapon which could destroy our planet, or possibly our whole constellation. Hmm. Hey, sounds like Jack Benny playing a violin. Hi. Indy, my friend Indy. Trumpy, you're stinky. Skin mittens. Now, Ken, honey, don't touch anything and stay close to mom. I'll just blend in with the crowd here. <laughs> A nun's habit for me? <laughs> no thanks, but you're sweet. I love the Ren Fest. Mm -hmm. Oh, they must have had a close out on Taffeta. Look at those guys. Hmm. Kids. <laughs> I was one once. Whoa. What's this? Looks like I made a little something in the deal. It's Say, fun. This gives me an idea. Hi. How you doing? See you later. Must be Mardi Gras. Yeah. Carnival. Hey, a bar. Hey, Chris Walken's playing Russian roulette. Totally new concept. It's a church bar. Holy bar. Hello. Uh, say, Brandy, fetch another round. We serve them whiskey and wine. <laughs> Oh, this Midori is really good. <laughs> Boy, I don't like your face. No, I'm not it's a big fan good. either, sir. Get you got lost. a nice personality. I guess you're not from here. 
Otherwise, you'd know it's good manners to drink with friends. Here. I'd rather what? share a needle with Keith Richards. I told you to drink. Oh, Mom's going to smell careful. this on me. Doesn't he know I can kill him with one blow? <laughs> Some ego, buddy. Strangers aren't welcome. Gonna be a fight. Fight, okay. Bye. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, mm -hmm. where are you going? Oh, to get a Band-Aid. Ow. My toes. It's a teacher. That's a problem with private school. Yeah, yeah, you get this. Uh, thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> I like you guys. There's one more. Well, looks like we've got three separate views of love American <laughs> style. Gotta, gotta, gotta. Crunch. <laughs> Bam! Buck! Biff! Pappy! <laughs> Lay down the boogie and play that funky music till you die. Till you die? Next on Taxi, or Barney Miller, one of the two. Oh, he killed him with a curling iron. Ooh, My goodness. Just a gigolo. Get him! Yeah, get him. It's his turn to buy the pitcher. Oh. Oh, he stumbled back into the Renaissance Festival. Huzzah. You looked in my bag, I'll have to kill her. <laughs> Marion! Oh, suddenly it is Ishtar here. Oh. Hey, that's a dressing room. Where is he? I saw him going there. Come on! Indy! Oh, it's a woman's restroom. We can't go in there. <laughs> This is getting ridiculous, you know? Sir, I think you're losing them. Tell a joke or juggle or something. Just a second. I'll be right back. What, did you say something to him while I was sleeping? What gives? Hmm. Hey, look, it's the All Ken Network. Look who's in trouble. What did he do? Killed a man just for snoring too loud. Who's ready for pudding, huh? in the spacecraft during our negotiations. Hmm? That man was arrested in a storehouse for precious stones. Arrested? What was he doing in there? Your Excellency, if he left the ship, it was in direct violation of my orders. You ordered him to steal the stones. Oh, thanks no. for spitting that on fellow was new to our crew. King? I'm afraid he doesn't take orders seriously. I ordered him to stay aboard. Then you don't mind if I cut off his head? Hmm, that's why we brought him. Not at all. <laughs> Suit yourself. Huh? I tire of pudding. Bring me something Order salty and crunchy and sweet. Where were we? Goofy land. We, uh, yeah. We're discussing the fee. That's right. Ah, uh, yes. Let me give you your down payment. My little bag. One. Little. Two. Little. Three. Little oh, Indians. <laughs> I love that one. Three. <laughs> it's Jimmy Carl Black, the Indian in the group. Oh, from the mothers? Oh. Yeah. It's Knox Block? Ooh. We'll collect the rest on completion. Of the Brooklyn Bridge? Hey, Sonny Rollins is out there. Uh, my helmet's chafing, Steve. You? Oh. Eagle, quit playing that. Sure is quiet. Mm -hmm. Too quiet. That oboe's coming from that room. It's the Rite of Spring. Stravinsky? They let him have a chamber group in his cell? Uh, no, a chamber pot. Oh, it's a musical pot. Thanks for a little prelude, guys. Hmm. I've got a crazy star wolf idea that just might work. His Mickey Mouse gloves give him incredible power. That's a trademark of one of Hmm? 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 Hmm. 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 Spider-Man. Yeah, but not the new Spider-Man, the old Spider-Man when he had the good costume and when... It, oh. Huh? Oh, great. First day on a job, I lose a guy. Uh -huh. Come on, get down. 
This is no monkey cage. This is no disco. This ain't no fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, just checking out the, the layout here. The cove moldings. Like get a couple cobwebs and stuff. If I can't find one, I'll make one. Cut the funny stuff. You've just been ordered executed. That ought to take the smile off your face. Not if you do it right. By the way, don't waste your energy. You can't get out of here. No Earthling can. Earthling? Not even a wolf raider could break out of this place. Is that so? We'll see about that. Meanwhile, back at the cool ship. Captain, anyone can make a mistake. Just as long as you don't keep on repeating it. I think we should get rid of Ken. Which one? I disagree. Hmm? Have you already forgotten? Ken saved our lives. I think he deserves another chance. Convincing. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay. Man of firm conviction. I guess you're right. I'll take him back on one condition. You stop drinking Sir? and start going to meetings. As a Cesar officer in that jail. Mm. Mm. You think Ken can help him break out of there? Mm. Let's go to it. Establish contact with Ken's secret radio on the double. Now yes, you guys sir. go ahead. I'm sick. I'll just stay here and uh, you know go through that. I wish I had a harmonica. Hmm? Cleveland, you're on the air. Ken, can you hear me? It's me. Joe. Man, I really miss you, dude. We haven't talked since high school. What's How going you on? You told me about this cute little gadget. You don't have to know everything. <laughs> What's romance without a little sure surprise? Double cross us. And I guess I've passed your examination, haven't I? Now what do you want me to do? Listen uh, carefully. Turn there's your no head and call. Ken, there's a Cesar officer in your jail. We need him as camouflage when we move on to Cesar. They won't suspect anything if we show up with one yeah, of their like officers. <laughs> we want you to contact that officer. <laughs> get him and yourself out of <laughs> prison. Why don't you just ask the Kararan authorities to release us? Well, if you're uh, so smart, why are you in jail? Yeah. In five minutes, and they got suspicious. If I say I want to take him to Cesar, chances are they'll think I've joined forces with their mortal enemies. Are you sure I can find him and get him out of this prison? Sure, Ken. I have complete confidence you can bring it off. Of course, I'm Somebody's drunk. Coming. And I'm sure the other inmates haven't heard a word of this. We're just sleeping. <laughs> Works every time. He's gone now. Meat. Listen, sir. Aren't the Kararans likely to suspect you if I break out of here? Kararans can suspect anything they want, as long as I can get off this planet with. And he's got the gems in his cheeks. Only, how am I supposed to get out of this prison cell? Those bars are as strong as tree trunks. <laughs> Here's how I escape. <laughs> oh, oh. Star Wolf, suddenly going soft? Just give me my orders. Soft Wolf. You'll find you've got some clever little items with you. Go on. OK, <laughs> I want you to listen carefully. All right, I'm using a split you. screen. Can you Fine. see me now? It's the Patty Duke show. Now take a good look at your far right shoulder button. Stop, made you look. <laughs> equipped it with a miniature nuclear device. You'll find Shouldn't the ignition I have on known the reverse that? Side. Works a little like a grenade. Neat. Whatever you want to blow up, attach it to it. Mm. Are any more of these buttons grenades? Check your lapel. Now you see how much I trust you. It's genuine Thanks. mother of pearl there. Now then, what happens if I don't find this Cesar officer? Ah, you we will. blow your neck off. Well, well, because you have to. Let's blow ours. You don't bring away. it off. I'm hey. abandoning you here. Look, don't you think this is an awfully tall order? Hmm. Ken, I know you can handle it. Joel, doggone it, this film has me bamboozled. Yeah, think about it. We've got this guy who used to wear a wig but doesn't anymore, who's joined up with Captain Gerbil and the Leatherette Squad, and everybody's having more flashbacks than Bruce Dern in the trip. Yeah, oh. and now he's held captive by Don Ho and the kid who drinks Tranya, and who's fighting who and why? And why are all these alien transvestites attacking Earth anyway? And what about this Japanese preoccupation with the name Ken? Okay, okay, you guys, take it easy. I knew you were going to have a problem with this movie, but that's what I'm here for, okay? okay. The real right. problem with this film is it's not really a movie at all. It's just a bunch of Japanese TV shows strung together to look like a movie. So that's what's going on. So it's yeah. like Bergman's Scenes from a Marriage, then. Exa huh? Yeah. Oh, or uh, Schwartz's uh, Very Brady Christmas. Now just yeah, listen up, you two. You just might learn something. Oh, hey, this is the screenplay model developed by Sid Field in his runaway bestseller book, Screenplay. Oh. Here's how it works. Kambot, help me out here. The first act establishes setting uh -huh. and the major characters we'll get to know. 
and then the first plot point comes along and sends it all up zigging everywhere and into another direction. So oh. can anybody give me an example of what that would be in today's movie? Uh, oh, um, uh, the credits. No, Crow, come on. Oh, 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 I know, I know. It's when Mephisto and the blonde chick with the... Th 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 oh, I'm just grabbing at straws here, Joel. No, everybody. It's when Ken joins Star Force and goes up against his old allies. Uh, which Ken? Oh, the one with the wig, right? Oh. Right. Yeah. Now in Act okay. 2, we reveal the conflict in the film. Does anybody know what that is? Take a leap, Crow. Oh, uh, let's see. It's either the credits or, uh, 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 well, it's uh, when Ken in the wig fights his own inner struggle, uh, which is punctuated with his conflict with the other crew members and his shaky alliance with Captain Cheeky, who drinks a lot, uh, by the way. And, oh, that's the subplot. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Crow. OK, that's act two. Now, given these pieces of the puzzle, does anybody know how plot point two will turn out? Oh, 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 that's easy. Scout sees Atticus Finn shoot the dog in the street, which shows that he has the capacity... Oh, no, that's to kill a mockingbird. All I'm right. confused. I'll jump in here. Okay. okay, let's just imagine that the blonde assassin comes in and, and shows her love for Ken, her undying love for Ken, and instead uh -huh. of uh, serving two masters, yep. they uh, die in a Harry Carey love pact. What do you think? Now, come on, Joel, this is Sandy Frank, not Kurosawa. For oh, well, out. my guess is that it goes on like the mess it is with uh, no resolution, and we're all left feeling empty and unfulfilled like uh, Fastbinder's tragic heroine, uh, Berlin Alexander Plot. You, my yeah. friend, get a ram chip. Ah. Ah. Yeah, all right. What do you think, sirs? Uh, well, uh, William Gold, Joel, we, we have a theory. Uh, you know, Toni Morrison, best known for her literary tour de force beloved, May well be one of the fastest rides. Time up, Frank. And where do I take him oh, when Jack I get him Perkins. out of here? Boy. Not back to the spaceship. Signal us when you're clear. <laughs> Over and out. Shoulder Fire. phone off. When I talk to Ken, I touch myself. <laughs> hmm? What's that? Neat. I heard a noise. It's you. Someone's talking. coming. Hmm. Horses. Twelve, thirteen, maybe. The coast is clear. But the tide is out. Open channel D. Blooming ground flower. Light, then get away with loud report. Ooh. <laughs> a hot knife through butter. Hi, Kiba. Eat it, Joe's. 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 Merry Xmas. Eat it, Joe's. Now this is a little something just for moi. I think Ken's making a little too much out of this. They're just Christmas lights for crying yeah. out loud. Something to do. Oh, well. Kissing monster, kissing monster. Ooh. Nice dive. So much for those lights. Those dreams. <laughs> yeah. Why? These look like bars. Hmm. Hmm. It's a bus boy. Hey, can you clear my table? Hey. hey. It's ho, not hey. A lot of people get confused. You the Cesar officer? I've heard so much yes. about Do you like me? Do you find me pleasing? <laughs> and I gather you're the earthling who was captured earlier today. I've heard so them talk about How did you lately? get out of your cell? Just a little good luck. You escaped. No, I'm still oh. here. Would you come on? Listen. Do you want to know a secret? We've got no time to lose. Okay. Okay, do you want some fries with that then, sir? Oh, he's not a cesarean ah. officer. He's an Arby's trainee. The Kararans must have anesthetized me before they put me in my cell. Neat. I have no idea where I am in here. Can you guide me if I get you out? Yes. I've been locked up in this miserable place for the last two months. Oh. On my way to the courtyard for exercise, I've memorized every corridor. That's great. You look great. You're not afraid, are you? Can I trust you? You can. 
Just get me out of here. I will. Move away. Someplace nice, like the Hamptons. <laughs> See, it's a tiny time pill. <laughs> what manner of men are you who can summon flame without flint or tinder? Some call me Ken. Oh, it's neat. You can buy these things in North Dakota and Wisconsin. I buy them by the brick, by the gross. They're not like black cats and stuff. Uh, well, some some locks are two bomb locks. <laughs> I just tried again. Huh? Not like that. You gotta put it on two bars. Oh yeah. Nice. Suddenly you're the explosive button expert, right? Mm -hmm. Alexander Salkin presents. Stupid boy. Yeah. In color. Who's that? Uh... Alakazam. Hmm. Yeah, Rubbermaid bars. Neat. I've never seen anyone as strong as you are. Sepchina Easter. Hurry. Come on. Let's get out of here. Where to? To the top. Hooray! There's only one way out. Listen. The door's locked on the outside. Mm -hmm. What's on the other side? Two Karan guards. In paradise. Heavily armed. Hmm. Okay, here's what we do. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> dirty. Oh, the whole hurt myself. Somebody help me. What's going on? What? Good work. Let's go. Oh. It's Boots Ram. Oh, it's Bootsy Collins. Oh. I you die, Joe. We'll have to fight it out. Well, what do you think I we're doing? Yeah. Next time I say, let's go to Bolivia, let's go! Yeah. Not me, you idiot! No! Oh. 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 Kick, fighting rhubarb, fighting rhubarb, come on, shooting rhubarb, oh, fighting, oh, tumbling, killing, dying, oh, snap, oh, 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 it's okay, friend. Oh, 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 right in the back, oh, that hurt, I'm ready to move. I'm breaking rhubarb. Come on, give me one of those. No, not one of those. Thank you. You really picked those two up easily. Oh, I'm not a bad shot. Watch this. Oh, that was a thrill kill. Mm. Easy oh, shot. Duck alarm, run. Here, quick. Oh. Well, we got an extra point on that. This way. Salty. It's gray water. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Things really work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta remember to take them off before you take your clothes to the laundry. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Blow up a dry cleaner. Oh, this was a good plan, wasn't it? Oops. All right, come on in. Bring it down. Oh, little right, little right. Oh, there you go. Watch mm -hmm. your space cushion. <laughs> it's a little driving joke. Bring it down. Keep going. Come on, come on. No, I'm sorry you failed your test. You'll have to come back in two weeks. Happens to most of the guys. Joe. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Just got location. back from Kokomo. Please advise me of your position. <laughs> Ken? Ken? Can you hear me? Ken, please come in. Ready? I love Ken 
and a guy named Ken and it hurts I'm me so. I'm in love with a guy named Ken and it hurts I'm me so. I'm in love with a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. It hurts me so. Ken, Moses? I don't Peter. think so. Meet him, Hade. Where would I be without you? Hmm? I'm seeing things. No, you're seeing me. Is that what I am to this you? Must a be thing? A hallucination. With that hair, it must be. <gasps> Rita! Rita, man. What are you doing here? I've been trying to track you down for days. We got a radio message that you'd broken out of a Kararu jail. Hmm? They said you were a traitor. And here you are in an Earth Space Command uniform. Traiting? I was forced to wear this uniform. They said they'd kill me otherwise. Mm -hmm. A likely story. I don't know what's come over you, Ken. I want my tapes back. You've turned traitor, abandoned me, and killed my brother. It was an accident. Oh, Ken. He was getting ready to shoot a little boy whose name also happened to be Ken. I was just trying to stop him. Hmm. Ken! Uh, we'll just run the clip. Don't shoot! <laughs> oh, come on. We're intimate with this scene for crying out loud. Traitor. That's what really happened, Rita. I swear I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not a traitor to our country. You know that. I simply refused to kill an innocent child. And I didn't want to fight with your brother. So I killed him. I believe you. You can't betray a country you never belonged to. Hmm? Ken, you once told me your father came to Valna as a missionary. Oh, that you bag. Is that how they cleared that up in You're counseling? You're really an earthling. Go on. Go on. Murder me in cold blood if you want to. You deserve worse. Hmm? To die a slow death. Then what are you waiting for? I know Valno Law as well as you do. I caused your brother's death, and now you've been sent out to kill me. Well, I'm all ready to die, Rita. Ken. You'd be doing me a favor. I can't live in dishonor. Go ahead, shoot. But first, swallow my lapel button. <laughs> as a symbol of our love, hmm? Shoot him down. Shoot to kill. Stinker. Buck fever. Oh, it's made out of electrician's tape. You're crying Come out on, loud. Get it over with. What's the point of living if the girl I love more than life itself thinks that I'm a traitor? Kill him. Kill him. Now! Rita! Now! Hey, you know, this is just like Richard III. Mm, it sure is. You won't do it. It took me seven days to get this gun. Now I can't Rita. use it. Damn. Damn. As you see, there was a dam in the background. That peasant blouse is all wrong on Rita. her. I can't do it. I can't kill the man I love. Then kill the one you're with. Hmm? Oh, my foot. Oh, I'm having such a crappy day. Rita. Rita, Rita made. made. There's a glycerin in tear again. My darling. Ken. I'm gonna have to remember that line for the bars. It works. Uh, um, you're you're crying on my bomb. Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. Rita. Oh. Oh. Get oh. off the the milk the tilt the world. Oh. 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 oh, it's over. Well, that was great. What happens to us now? Are we both just fugitives in space? Hmm? Hmm? No matter what you and I say or do, they'll never let us go home. Valna, I'd love to see it again. What do we need Valna for? We've got each other. We can start a new life somewhere else. On a slag Rita, heap? It won't work. They'll never leave us in peace, you know that. How can you say that? If we keep loving each other, we'll find a way. Boy, you are not. How naive. long can that love last? You know what you'll see every morning when you wake up? Hmm? You'll be staring straight at the man who killed your brother. Will you be there too? Ken. It won't work, Rita. Too much has already happened to us. Hmm. Soon we'd start hating each other. Like I won't let do. you talk like that. It just won't work. Why didn't you kill me before? Oh. What? You heard. Kill me and get it over with. Come on, chicken. You chicken. Come on, kill me. Come on, chicken. I wonder what he's thinking. Ditcher! Go! <laughs> you are going to die. I am going Ken. to kill you. He killed the tree. 
Rita! Meter Bane! Rita, are you alright? I uh, killed your other brothers, by the way. Ken. Traitor. Hmm? It was you who fired that shot. It was you. Wait, let me explain. Oh, Rita! Darn. The most important part of me just died, too. Well, at least he gets to keep that swell Star Trek stuff. Well, honey, looks like I'm gonna have to gut ya. <laughs> oh. That's it. Make it look like a robbery. I heard gunfire! Are you alright? Where have you Fine. been? The others are dead. Hmm? Who's she? What happened to her? A Carreran girl what got caught in the crossfire. Hmm. Bummer. It's late. We better get going. There's nothing we can do here. But I'm thirsty again. What do you get off? going? Goodbye, Rita. Goodbye. Come back. I'm not dead. You didn't check for a pulse. Next time on Twin Peaks. Is it help, Ken? I've got you. Come here, you. Come on. Let him go. <laughs> Drop him. Would you take those rocks out of your pockets? Rock climbing, Joel. Rock climbing. Yeah. Rock. Hmm? Cesar Romero? Edmund Hillary? Oh, they're down there. Jump for it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> New from the Franklin Mint. Oh, <laughs> sending him a message. He's saying, hey, my emblem came off. <laughs> Ken and his friend are free. They're free to Ken Ken and his friend are free. They're free to be you and me. I'm blind, I'm blind, help me. <laughs> Take a picture of us, we're posing. Last longer. Ken! Nice teeth. Captain Ken made it. Captain Ken made it? What about the hmm? Cesar officer? He's there too. I knew he'd pull it off. Great. Well, let's break out the liquor. Oh, I drank it all. Ken, you Ken, did it! Ken! Good work, son. I Welcome was back, so Ken. I'm worried about you. Oh, Ken! <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, Let me introduce Ken. myself. I'm a man of wealth Colonel and taste. Yolin. Sir? Welcome, Colonel. I'm Captain Joe. Welcome aboard. This is my fleet Please, of Elvis impersonators. Yes, sir. Join me for up all night. We'll see movies. Bacchus 3 will be back in Sweet Sweetback's badass song. A movie. Bye. I wet him. Say goodbye to Rita, Star Trek stuff. And it's out of focus. In my pocket, it will stay. Oh, no, to be going. continued. Ah, oh, oh, no. Get us out of here, Joel. No. <laughs> what a terrible. Well, this one over here dispatches uh -huh. a special aquatic version of Greenpeace's Rainbow Warriors to go out Ooh. and do battle against the man. Heavy. Rave on, Joel. Hype it up, buddy. Whoa. Right. Well, this one over here, well, heaven forbid the robot that may try to touch this button or even brush against it, for that robot would become my personal slave. No, no robot can venture too far out of the ship, especially if such a robot were to disguise his true identity from me in the form of feather and... Where? Heaven help Where? that poor robot Where? that may try that. Really? Uh, let me try. Get away, <clears throat> okay, here we go. No, no, that would be an abomination oh. to all robots everywhere. Well, what's that other one do? This is, is portion control. Uh, Next question. Oh. Okay, how about that one? This no, does any one. number of phantasmagorical and wondrous things, the most benign being that Tommy Jeffries, who lives in Belize and dad works on an oil derrick, gets a tasty pudding snack. What, what a rush. rush. 
That Joel Robinson is one bad Shut your mouth. I was talking about Joel. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> anyway, we've got a letter here from David A.D. Cordoba. Way to go, kid. Thanks, Mr. Crow. And he <laughs> writes in to answer to the question of what is the cool thing that we did oh, a while yeah. back. Yeah. And he writes, let's put this up on Still Store. He writes, Dear Gentlemen and Gypsy, concerning the cool thing, uh, my guess is that you saw a time portal floating in space, taking into account that overall the crew is against imperialism, jingoism, church state is one, fascism, exploitation, racism, in short, all those ideals held dear by our world leaders here on Earth. I'd venture to say this time portal showed mankind living in peace. Well, we're sorry, David A. D. Cordoba from Seattle, Washington, but this was the cool thing. Mexican stoplight candy. Oh, what a burn. What do you think, mm. sirs? Now this to me is good TV, being genetically altered on cable television. Ann Dillard will be out to discuss her, her new book, and then later on, Topol, that robust star of Fiddler on the Roof, will be out. Frank, why are we off the air? Oh, I thought it was time to push the button. Besides, don't you want to get started uh, genetically altering Jack Perkins? Look, we don't go off until I say we go off. Now, run down to the storeroom and get that spare head. I've got a mad posh to give Jack Perkins the head of Vivian Vance. Sorry, Sarge. Ah, uh, Vivian Vance. Ah, 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 ah! You're stuck here. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Okay, Gypsy, it's your turn. Roll them. The moon boxcars! Okay, looks like... Oh, still... Oh, got a six, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, with each pump, my mind expands at an alarming rate, and I don't mind telling you, it's a harsh, jarring, comfortless experience. Oh, come on, quit your belly. Hi, everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson, and the bots and I have decided to turn old Tom Servo in that Milton Bradley game, kaboom. Okay, come on. Oh, got an eight. Oh. 
Oh, that stings! And that's another thing. Why kaboom, guys? I feel more suited to go to the head of the class, or stadium checkers, or even kerplunk. <laughs> Anything would be better than this. If it would make you feel any better, we could play hands down with you. Why, that's it! Oh, great day! Hands down, that's the slap happiest game ever! How would we play? I thought we'd just get in a circle and hit you and snag on you and you crush you. Guys, I, could, uh, survey, I gotta go survey the electronics on the ship. Could we just forget about the game and pump up Servo's head until it pops? No. Yeah, no. that's it. No, no, pop no, him, no. pop please, him, pop, please, pop, please, pop. No. Pop him, pop him, pop, pop, pop. Pop him, pop him, pop, pop, pop. Lord, this is incredible! My head is so huge, I've accumulated all the knowledge of all humanity throughout the ages. Yet all I can think about is why. Why did they cancel Manimal? Why? Oh, uh, Peter, Lynn Hayes, and Mary Healy are calling you guys. Oh, hello, Booby. Say, do you want to make people's heads explode? Sure, we all do. Well, my invention exchange this week is a study guide I put together called the Scanner Planner. It's filled with lots of life's little instructions on how you can scan people's brains and make their heads explode. Now, the first thing you'll need for your scanning is a good subject, someone who's your moral and intellectual inferior. I wonder who that could be. Hi, Dr. Forrester. What you doing? Hey, you were scanning me, weren't you? You tried to make my head explode, you freaked out maniac. Oh, oh. This could take a while, Joel. Back up to you. Sirs, when are you going to realize that when you kill each other, you're only hurting yourselves? <laughs> anyway, our invention exchange is based on one of the century's safest, softest, and funnest concepts, the wiffle ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. And we've taken the whole wiffle concept and siphoned it through our own madcap, irreverent viewpoint. <laughs> For instance, there's the wiffle hat. <laughs> it's lighter, cooler, and more comfortable than any ordinary hat. <laughs> and there's the uh, wiffle glass. Oh, yeah. Makes any soft drink wiffle. Delicious. <laughs> well, we haven't quite worked out all the kinks yet, uh, but I've come up with something even cooler. Oh. Wiffle cheese. Hey, wait a minute. This is just Swiss cheese. That's right. It's nature's own wiffle. That's right. And think of the possibilities. They're endless. Wiffle cat, mm -hmm. wiffle dog, wiffle roach motel. Wiffle sports jacket, wiffle replacement hip, wiffle underpants. Wiffle shoehorn, wiffle apartment building, wiffle Claude Aiken. Wiffle! What do you think, sirs? <laughs> What? Oh, Joel, uh, your movie this week is your first Western. It's called Gunslinger, and it stars Beverly Garland in her pre doty period. Beverly Garland? It was also directed by Roger Corman, so your hits may explode before Frank's does. yippee ki Mama Jama. He made my head explode. Thank you, Dr. Forrester. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh that feels good. <laughs> it's morning in America. Mm, let's see, doctor. No, no. Barber. No, that's no good. Mm, what did... Oh, law enforcement. That's what I need. Uh, cue the horses. <laughs> Corman. Oh, she is slick. How'd she slip by us? Hi. Hi. You didn't hear her? Some sheriff. All night. Quiet one for a change. Any trouble with Patty, Marshal? Oh, you shouldn't get up so early just to fetch my breakfast. What else is the Marshal's wife good for? Form-fitting western dress. Nice bustier. So what have you been doing all night? Uh, cleaning my gun, yeah. Nate <laughs> signal. You still think he shot Uriah Baker? I'm sure of it. <laughs> They're not that good at sneaking up. Well, sneaking up had just been invented. I went over to Erica Page's yesterday. The time I got there, he was gone. I don't know, maybe she warned him I was coming. Anyway, I tracked him out as far as Nine Mile Canyon, then I... Copper left tubing! Him. Probably holed up in there somewhere now. You figure out what you're gonna do about Erica's tramps with the red dog? Oh, who in the world could stand up to that woman? Try me. You like me. Uh, you stick to making coffee, Rose. 
I'll take care of the criminal element. Oh, guess I won't. Uh, more, 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 more. Well, see you, Dave. Gotta go get a haircut. <laughs> well, you see, this is before barber poles moved. They just sat outside and cranked them. What a day. Well, better check the scones. Oh, how am I gonna explain this to... Oh, that's right. On morning. What'd you dream about last night? Everything... Well, at least check his pulse. Yeah. Oh, poop. <clears throat> the man with the golden arm. Walk on there. So, Corman did Swamp Diamonds on Monday and this one on Wednesday. Yep. Origami in your lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Help me. Looks like Bella Abzug. My set is melting, melting! Oh, spy versus spy, perhaps. Uh, Zorro kind of, sort of. There it is. You got me. Oh. I got a choreographer, that's a good sign. The old Fred West. Uh, kids, don't change a light bulb without supervision. Oh, it's like High Plains Drifter, what with the red buildings and no, such. No, it's the funny company, as you can plainly see. Uh... Hey, Garn! What's the news from the east? Well, the railroad's still in Waco. The Hakawis are mad. They want their money. We haven't new track for two weeks yet. We're all waiting for that big letter. Yeah, and I'm waiting to carry it. Small talk of the old west. The Pony Express, when it absolutely positively has to be there in three or four months or so. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll deliver your plans for the telegraph. You bet. <laughs> I think he moved. Kidding. Good folks of Oracle. Yeah, 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 so yeah, so it's over here. Yes, it's gathered here to plant the last remains of Scott Hood. Brother of boys in thee. Gallant marshal of our fair community. Goodness, he eulogizes well. Not since the Battle of Shiloh, we show them Yankees what Confederate courage really meant. He's got something there. Food for I've thought. Seen such bravery in one man. I'm sorry I'm late. Horse through a tire. Oh, what are you doing? Maybe you wanted to see the results of his handiwork. Ah, oh, jeez, Well, the good work of Marshal Hood has been terminated. Hmm? Near the hour of his trial. I'm sure you'll all be relieved to know that I, acting in my capacity as mayor, I sent to San Antonio for the celebrated Sam Bass. Big fish face guy. He's going to be our new marshal. Well, so much for secular doings. Let's now, party! Uh, after I get through saying the prayer, the uh, good widow Hood will toss the first spadeful of dirt onto that old pine box there. And then she'll be singing Sunrise Sunset. What kind of bend your neck? Yeah, no goofing around this time. Oh, Lord of man and beast. Oh, now what? We poor sinners here hey. commit the lowly clay of your poor servant, Scott Hood. Oh, knock it off, Earl. To his last Please resting place. Him. Here on Oracle's aspiring boot hill. Until that mighty blast of Gabriel's horn on the final day of judgment. I'm just winging it here, Lord. Scott Hood. What? I'm dead. Rest in peace. Amen. Hey, mine! All right, I'm not doing this one for free. Who was it, dear? One of the killers who went after Scott last night. I'll just put this back. Then I guess that's all of them, huh? Not quite. I still have to settle with whoever hired them. Hey, I may not be dead down here. Somebody unknown behind this killer? There has to be, Mayor. Those men would have no personal reason to do Scott in. Well, like I say, Sam Bass will be getting here in a couple of weeks, and he can take care of anything that has to be taken care of. He can be too late. Yeah. yeah, I said I'm not dead. Joshua's deputy. Not Want me dead. to make you a marshal? Well, it's so sudden. Not me, Mayor Polk. That kind of job takes book learning. And some basic intelligence. Is there a man here who thinks he can handle the job? How about me? I'd like to be marshal. <laughs> oh, shut up, little man. You've got mending to do. J.K.'s doesn't count. But Sam Bass is coming to town. 
Uh, would you want to go have coffee sometime? Pin it on. Pin it on in the morning now! On, on me. Oh, come on, Rose. You must be pulling my leg. I think it's a wonderful idea. What the? Hey! The Marshall, Oracle will be the hit of the Western dime novel. And what bad man would dream of shooting a woman? <laughs> I would. <laughs> pin it on. I can't do that. Oh, pin it on and get it over with. I've got a beef roast in the oven. You know, beef roast in the oven. All right. Well, uh, I'm not very good at this. Usually I can't even put a corsage on, but... Think out! Now to slip into something sheriffy and sexy. Well, back to the fellowship hall for bars and punch. Shouldn't they have their headlights on? It's been a sad day, Mrs. Hood. This is the first chance I've had to offer my personal condolences. Thank you, Eric. You've taken on a man's responsibility, my dear. I have Joshua here to help me. The friend. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. As a matter of fact, there is. Can I borrow that pink yes. taffeta dress? It's a little matter my husband kept putting off. I... Me. I hate to mention it now, but I, I noticed you were open past three this morning. The Red Dog Saloon is open 24 hours. Breakfast anytime. Has been. There's, uh, there's a curfew law, you know. I think you're taking that star a bit too seriously. Quite seriously. <laughs> you're priceless. Drop in at my place tonight for a free drink. And keep the glass. Make it after. I'll be there. But I have my men's group. I don't know. I reckon some people won't think it's proper for a new widow to go around in pants, even though they are black. Did you ever see a peace officer in the corset? Yeah, your husband. Hey, are you going to wear that cannon? I don't imagine a bank robber will change the rules just for me. Come on, Joshua. Let's start enforcing the law. Close up for a scrumpy. Huh. Kind of looks like a ground round. It does. And there's my hinder. You know, it's just possible that's Rachmaninoff on the piano. Hey, get off my ravioli. They're good tonight. Oh, it's so hot in here. We're so sassy. Mm. <laughs> oh, we did not mean to do that, but we did it. There we was in the swamps below Fort Donaldson. We're in skirts yes, like them. So Buckner said we had to surrender. Oh, he don't start. Surrender. Never. I went with Bedford Forrest. You never knew Bedford Even Forrest. Did tonight. That's infantry riding piggyback with Forrest troopers. Next day, ten thousand surrendered. But me and Bedford went out to fight another day. Well, go fish. <laughs> they kind of look like bodybuilders. Underwear has Raiders logos. Okay, go wash up, girls. Excuse me, I've got to go fire them. The three yet? Where's the headliner? She won't show her face. Doodly, 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 doodly. Her face! It is. Good evening, Rose. Good morning, Erica. Hmm? Did you come for that drink? I'll have a sex on the beach. I'm afraid I don't have time for one. It's, uh... After three, you know. Oh, now, Mrs. Hood. The Red Dog is open 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Breakfast anytime. Well, you, uh, you went to your house and put out the lights. Put them out yourself. Ooh. Whoa, it's like a lady roadhouse. Samuel Beckett back there. At the second show, dry mud wrestling. Ooh, Beverly's wearing jack boots. <laughs> I'm a grim old warrior. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. You know, Joel, say what you will, but Roger Corman pushes my buttons. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing's not helping any. Come here. I want a fresh lime, Wormy. You know, he should have slid him across the bar. That's well, they hadn't invented that yet. Oh. All right. Everybody, we're going to walk up and out. Place is closed for the night. Hey, it's Jesse White and Bob Crane. I don't believe it. Oh. Hey, but this place is open 24 hours. Well, they're taking the elevator up, apparently. 
You sure made a sick chicken out of Erica Page. She's going to be a sicker chicken when I find out what she has to do with Nate Signal. Hey, could I get a new bucket in here? Well, you better get some sleep, Miss Rose. Yeah, I guess I'd better. I'll, uh, I'll curl up in there and then I'll study in a couple of hours. Um, uh, you don't mind if I watch you sleep, do you? Yeah, stew's really good here. Now, look, you turn around or I'll book you for wrestling. I'm already serving consecutive life sentences, but okay. <laughs> oh, it's been a good day. Mm, you're a miracle worker, Wormy. Feel better? It'll take a good night's sleep. Yeah. They're gonna be sorry for this, ain't they? Yes, little man, they'll be sorry. You want me to do it? Do what? Kill him. Not you, Jake. You're too stupid. Well, I'm off the hook, He'd then. You're sure to get caught, and that would lead straight to me. Oh. Just as Nate Signal was leading Scott to attack. Oh, I wouldn't get caught. I'm smarter than you think. I'm real Jake! smart. Jake! You're hurting me. I didn't mean it, Erica. I didn't mean it. All right, I forgive you. Looks like they really use their Helen Gallagher catalog, huh? I want catalog, you to do me huh? a favor. Sure, what kind of favor? Get a restraining order on yourself. I want you to write a tombstone and pick me a new assistant. I'll pick you one. I'll pick the best. Maybe I can find Billy the Kid. I don't care who you get. Just as long as he knows his business. I want him here within the week. Well, what kind of salary are we offering? And benefits, benefits. I better write this down. This is gonna be a lot of stuff. <laughs> it must be him, it must be him. Oh, no, not Wormy. Come on, please, don't get on me, Wormy. I can't... Well, the riveting horse mounting scene. Hey, nobody told me about... Owie, ow. Goldfinger. 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 Tuesday, the rabbi got robbed. Well, I'm pretty sure he was a bad guy, yeah. He's a really fortunate lawman. He just walks right into crimes. Yeah, I'll just take your lunch. Boy, it's really blue out today. Walk along the city streets we used to walk. You know, shed a few pounds, he's Mr. Drysdale. Hmm. Yeah, LaCroix, please. Sorry, Mayor. Starting to close. I'm not here for a drink. What's the matter? Well, frankly, Erica, I'm worried. Jethro wants to be a rock star. <laughs> strange man. Come on, now, I'm serious. You know where there's no one left alive. You realize how far you've extended your notes and town property? I'm familiar with my business affairs. Mm -hmm. I've been down at the land office checking through the deed files. I'm a research nut. Suddenly, I noticed the name Erica Page everywhere. Her face kind of comes to a All point. All right, man. Mm -hmm. I'll let you in on the big secret. I'm Lonesome George Coble. See? Let's have a drink. All right, T.J. Swan, Mellow Knight. <laughs> and that's when I became known as Mr. Wiggly. You? Let me see if I got this straight. You're a man playing a woman you playing a man. You on a business and liquidate the inventory and the other assets and then use that money to buy the next place. You're brilliant. Oh, it's just not possible. Tell that to Dave Delgado. Have you noticed how that line of property lies? Don't you hate that? You said it looked like a geometric pattern. Well, picture it in your mind's eye. Oh, I get it. It's funny. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, baby, that's... It lies on the ground that yeah. the land commission has picked out as a suggested right away for the railroad and depot. Exactly. You mean I'm right? Oh, but, Eric, this scheme of yours is the, the height of speculative gambling. The railroad decides not to build through Oracle, you'll be wiped out. Fooey on Yui. For chance. An extremely long one. Well, I gotta hit my shift at well, the Roy Rogers. I want those trains to come through too. And I guess we'll get the decision in Saturday's Postal Express. Of course, you realize how the town will feel if. Some nights I lie awake two or three seconds worrying about. Oops, sorry. Good night, Mayor. Good night, Erica. And, uh, good luck. Yeah, thanks for the drinks and stuff. Sorry I was such a pig with the checks mix. Looks like he's been in the little man's room there. Ooh. Dimstone. Got the man you wanted. I got the best. What's his name? Kane Miro. Dum, 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 dum. 
So, this is what it's like to be dead. Well, roughly, this is what it's like to be in a casket. So, uh, why are we doing this? No, aren't you curious? About being dead? <laughs> We're robots, Joel. We're not the ones who have to worry about it. Uh, you understand my point? Oh, yeah, well, at least I have a soul, okay? Oh. Yeah, sure you do. Anyway, even though I'm not gonna die, I sure could see having a snappy funeral. No, not like the one in the movie, though. What a drag. No, at my funeral, I'd hope my friends would toss me up and down in a blanket like the Eskimos do, you know? Really go for some height? Ooh, uh, how about a beach funeral? You know, pony keg, bonfire, Ooh. couples <laughs> slipping off into the woods to neck. Prop me up so I can surf. <laughs> me, I'd go the dignity route. You know, variety of ethnic foods, uh, maybe a saxophone quartet. Ah, dignity, schmignity, Joel. I want elephants, lots of them. Mm. And circus ladies as my pallbearers. <laughs> I want them enthusiastic and wearing those little frilly skirts, those little tutus. <laughs> uh, you know, Tom, cost could be a consideration. Oh, no, yeah. nonsense, Joel. I'll lie in state for several days at the Corn Palace mm. while Hooked on a Feeling is sung by a choir of castrati. You know, there's always the educational route, a real hands-on kind of funeral, details of my embalming written up and distributed. <laughs> it fun. is fun to think about, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Huh. <sighs> so, uh, when you humans die, um, that's it, right? Uh, you're dead forever? Yeah. Well, isn't that like throwing the baby out with the bathwater, Joel? Yeah, why don't you just not die, Joel? Well, everybody dies. Oh, and if everybody ran off a cliff, you'd do that too. Well, uh, that's not the way it works. Besides, we got commercial sign. Well, it's just weird, that's all. Maybe it's us. Joel, is there any way I could be mummified and placed next to Stalin? Sure, honey. Well, that's what I want. Mummified and placed next to Stalin. <sighs> dum, dum, ba dum. Bum, ba da dum, 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 da 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 dum, da dum, da dum, dum, da 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 dum. Yeah, yep. death sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even want to know what I stepped in. Sheepers, it's hard to get into this town. Stop it, mister. I've got you cold. Yep, she does. Say... What do you know? A lady with a star. You can trust your car to the lady with the star. You're not the man I'm after. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry, I took a shot at you. That's one on me. Kane Miro. Any relation Kane to Miro? John Miro? Well, that sounds familiar. I don't think we've met. If we had, I'd have remembered. Splendid well, Marshal here. I'm glad I missed you. I, I was aiming at a killer I mean to catch. There he goes now. I'd like to help you, ma'am. Well, he's supposed to be hiding out in Nine Mile Canyon. How long is that canyon? As a matter of fact, I did see some smoke coming up from the Deep Canyon brush. Can't imagine an honest man living down there. No, neither can I. Let's go. Go? Yeah, go! We have to get him, don't we? Oh, oh, go! I guess we do. I'll just get my horse. Well, since we're going... Hey, Kane, who's the girl? <laughs> hey, watch it. Your hands are cold. Hey, I love what you're driving. A pinto, right? Let's ride separately. I just feel more comfortable if we rode separately. I'm winning! No, no, I'm winning! Yeah, I'll let you, though. You hmm. wait here. I'll look around. <laughs> now, where's he going? I'm as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Sir, you got a permit? I noticed you don't have a ticket on your post. Hello? Sir? Oh, come on. Everyone knows that there are no hot plates allowed in Nine Mile Canyon. Oh, now where are you going? <laughs> Stay with me. Well, there's three bowls of porridge here. Don't quite know what that means. You know, I like it, honey. I think we should make an offer. Around. Where? I'm in the outhouse. I'll be I'll right be back the out. Getting more water for these potatoes. Oh, so he's Irish, huh? Well, what do we do? Uh, we could start the salad. Wait in there. Cover me. I'll set the table. We'll hide behind this tree. Are you sure you're the best? All right, now, how do you want him? Lady's choice. Alive. <laughs> Why? How do you want him? Where do you come from, Mr. Miro? Lately, mostly from around Tombstone. For that, Medford, Wisconsin. Pretty rough place. That's what they tell me. 
still trying to figure out where I've heard of you. It'll come. Hmm? Were you in the war? Bragg's army. Pastry That was shit. a long time ago. Not according to our good mayor. To him, the South's still winning. Gideon Polk. You know him? Captain Polk and I are old army friends. Look, let's just focus on our stakeout right my now. My main reason for coming to Oracle. Guess maybe now I've found a better one. Hey, it's Bigfoot with a bucket. Hi, oh. folks. Welcome to my lean-to. Nice day. Nice day. I'm arresting you for the murder of Uriah Baker. Drop your gun belt. I said your gun belt. I'd also like to have a little talk with you about your connection with Erica Page. I'm going to talk, I'm going to ride. Keep your mouth shut. I'll keep you covered, Marshal. How about you dousing the fire? You know, the way you do, I like that. Duh, I was just going to get you a potato. That happened faster than it could have. Over the speed of light. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Come on. I'll help you get your worm bait back to town. Oh, stop. Quit, Charlie Horse. Oh, oh. Yes, buns of steel of the old west. And naughty spank, and naughty spank, and you've been bad in the tushy. Now, naughty, 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 and naughty, naughty, naughty this way. Naughty, 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 and naughty, naughty, naughty that way. Higher girls. Say what you want, Reverend. This brings in the parishioners. Whee. Oh, look at them poor girls there. Did you know that Mrs. Marshall Hood's ordered them out of town? Hmm? He says they constitute an immoral influence on our young men. <laughs> Pretty much the idea, isn't it? Joel, you know it's so good, you almost forget it's erratic. Shuffle off the buffalo, shuffle off the buffalo, and stick the buffalo. Yeah, I remember when we were part of the act, Jed. They said I didn't glide quite right. Yeah. Here they gotta be out by Friday, Friday noon. Whatever. Somebody's always trying to push somebody else out. Like the Yankees trying to push us out of Georgia. Shut, Shut up! up! Me, they accomplished that. Well, at first they didn't. You should have been with me at Excuse me, who's talking? We smashed Grant and Rose Krantz into Googleberg. Googleberg? He is. You were in the artillery by then, weren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> you were a boot black. We round shot and canister as fast as we could load. Why handle them guns like they was red hot stove pipes? How well did you handle them at Lookout Mountain, Captain Polk? Hell, I don't recall. I don't recall. Mr. Mooney's of the Old West. Private Kane Miro. It is you. Hmm. You've got a good memory. But then that was something no one could forget, wasn't it, Captain? That he's got a good memory? Hmm. I thought you were dead. The good die first. Most people are morally ambiguous, which explains our random dying patterns. I understand you're a good citizen. Now that's a complex death Why'd you threat. come? Hmm. Well, Good night, Mayor. Good night, Erica. We'll wind up our business tomorrow. Good luck. Well, let me call you a cab. Don't leave. Are you afraid, Captain? How can one man help you when 30,000 couldn't? He makes a good point. Hello, Kane. Hello, Erica. Hmm. Been a long time. Been a long, long, Been long, 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 lonely time. I wouldn't touch him. All that makeup. Come on with me, Gideon. You better retreat, Mayor. I'll see you another day. Good night, Kane. Boy, the mayor's approval rating just plunged like 20 points. Whoa. What was that all about? You know, stuff. We used to be roommates. It's a long story. Well, leave him alone. I need him. So do I. Now, tell me why you sent for me. Your friend here said something about a killing. Who needs me? Who needs Wormy? You have to talk shop Old here. Western art of the Old West. Come on into my dressing room. I don't like him. Oh, that's a line that Miss Kitty and Matthew never crossed. Jake was right. A killing. Now kiss me, Kane. By Cole Porter. Make it like old time. Oh, you mean like after the football game out by the dumpster? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a wood kick there. Let me get a match. Do I kill the brave captain? Is he getting shorter? Jake, this man has no romance in his soul. Maybe you kill nobody. I didn't come up here just to make it like old time. Whoa! And I get paid in advance. Jake, get 3,000 out of the office safe. Take your time coming back. See, if looks could kill, you'd be so almost dead. It's better. 
No point in my having to trust you when I can worry about nicer things. What things, Dave? Raindrops and roses, whiskers Such and kittens. Who do I kill and when? The local law. Oh, get a room. Oh, they did. Mm, chocolatey. Mm. Why wait till Saturday? Mm. On Saturday, the mayor gets a letter from the Railroad Board of Directors, letting the town know if the new tracks come through here. Is that a euphemism? If they do, I clean up. Well, I think that's a euphemism. Maybe we won't have to kill Mrs. Hood. If they don't, I'll have to grab all the money I can and clear out fast. Mm. They'll be killing. Uh, this is more than I want to know. I want the marshal to be the first to die. Oh, yeah. Give me more exposition. Thanks for the bonus. So much for business. Now let's get down to pleasure. Some bonus. Well, got down to pleasure. Quite pleasurable. Remember me? Uh, you were on Carter Country, weren't you? Kane Merrill. One of the three states and five territories. For murder, bank robbery, stage robbery, train robbery, and uh, sundry similar. Neat. Take a look at your ledger, see if I'm wanted in this state. I haven't checked lately. My computer's down. You ought to keep these clean. No, you're not wanted here. If you were, I'd find a place for you with the other characters I met this week. Hey, wipe your nose. Next to my husband on Blue Hill. Blue so, Hill. you're single. Everyone sleeps together like kinfolk. Not my kinfolk. There's no difference between them. Well, the bandits usually get there first. Everyone gets there sooner or later. Hmm. I'm not worried. Anyway, the good die first, you know. Then we get there in the next five minutes. What's your business in Oracle? Uh, herbal life. It's honest. It's also private. Well, that's no answer. I intend to keep it that way. Not exactly a Howard Hawks How long film, is it going to take you to finish it up? Ooh, about five weeks. Make it five days? What, are they negotiating when he's going to kill down. her? I might be able to finish in five days. But that also gives me five nights. What do you do nights? Ms. Oh, Marshall? not like a crazed weasel, oh, you. I, uh, I keep an eye on suspicious characters. I'm a suspicious character. <laughs> I think I'll assign Joshua to you. He takes care of drunks, mad dogs, and smart saddle traps. An Englishman. But I'm a celebrity. You ought to give me your personal attention. I was up for a Cable Ace Award. I just hope I don't have to, Mr. Mero. Well, I'm going to shut down the sexual bantering for the night. Oh, boy. Oh, Beverly. Hmm. Is this a video diary? It's like a Kubrick film. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, back to Monday, Five, May 31st. 90, 95, 15,000. Well, <clears throat> over there. Enjoy your time, Cher. I'll you the first monthly payment after you get to Santa Fe. No, back then, money was a lot of money. <laughs> now that the deal is closed, yeah. I don't mind telling you that I got the best of the bargain. A wagon freight line won't do you much good when the railroad comes. And if it doesn't, this town will have the business of a steamboat in Death Valley. <laughs> I'm funny. Have you ever met a woman with a head for business? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Well, neither have I, Mr. Taft. Hmm? Have a nice trip. I'll be riding the high road. William Howard Taft, ladies and gentlemen. I see him to tell us he's taking the high road, huh? That's uh, a figure of speech, Wormy. I wish I could send Kane on this. He won't take any of these puny jobs. Besides, why pay for something I'll do for free? Wormy, that's an O-seater. If you ever get caught, they'll come after me. That's why I try to keep you from sin, little man. Did you marry the ketchup bottles? Ooh. King Nero is mighty handy with the women, isn't he? Mighty. You don't love him. You still love me, don't you, Erica? I still love you, Jake. Ugh. Now, you'd better hurry if you want to catch Tab on the high road. I need that 15000 to buy the Canby Judd place. I'll hurry. I'll fly. She thinks I'm cute! Oh, man. Oh, that American hotel puts on a great buffet on Rudy's. <laughs> Back in, Herman. You're becoming a real habit. Yeah, don't fool with me. I'm a wizard. So that outlander, Kane Mirror. I don't like him. He's bound to be trouble. He pushed me down. Yeah, yeah, I gotta pick up a thing of wax worms. I don't think it'll give us any trouble, Josh. Josh. What Fremont said about Stonewall Jackson. Yeah. Walked right into Maybe that. Right. I know I'm right. Maybe I'd better find out what his business is. Right now. Well, you'll be careful, Miss Rose. He won't even know I'm following him. Hey, she's following me. Oh, shoot. It's gonna be a bad day. We're even out of TP.
You're a strange feller. Well, one more trip to the buffet. Ooh, cute outdoor cafe. You know, she needs operatives, all right. What the? How'd he get there? Wait a minute. Uh, do I order from you, ma'am? Uh, ma oh. oh, that's two guys in a horse costume. <laughs> Doesn't Marshall have two L's in it? Well, it's either. Oh. Well, it should have two L's. It looks better. It's either. Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore, riding through the night. Dum 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 dum. Hey, cameraman, crank a little faster. <laughs> She does like me. <laughs> oh boy, I hope there's no black ice on that road. Well, I think I'll stop by the tennis court on the way home. Marvel the Mustang, she's almost for real. You. Ooh, he likes to get way out of town to pee. Yeah, what do you? There's Jack Nicholson's place. Hey, you forgot your snack pack. You knew I was following you all the time. So did everyone else in the now county. That you caught me. What do you want? You're it. <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Why don't you get down? Take a load off your horse. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? How's your business coming along? Ah, uh, recession hit me like everyone else. What were you seeing, Canby Jet about? Something that's still thriving. You don't have many answers to my questions, do you? You don't ask the right questions. Oh, boy, they're bantering again. Excuse me. When, uh, when you were in Tombstone, did you, uh... Eat much pizza? Did you ever run across Sam Bass? Sure, Sam and me are old friends. We used to work together. Well, he's a lawman now. As a matter of fact, he'll be here Saturday to take over my job. Hmm. Morning, noon, or night? <laughs> what difference does that make? Hey, this is moving too fast for well, me. I guess. Hi. So old Sam's crossed over, huh? Wearing dresses and stuff. Well, he'll come back. We all do. I spent a couple of months playing sheriff myself. How'd you make out? Plenty of action, but the pay was lousy. And why is it all the worst gunslingers take up law work? Look at Wyatt Earp, Bat Masterson, Kingfisher. Yep, good show. Each one of them is a cold-blooded killer. You answer that yourself. Hmm. Me, crime is just a way to get rich. Huh. Those other fellows like to kill, and there's more chance when it's legal. Like uh, a license for murder. That is so true. Why don't you apply for one? No, uh, I don't have very good references. I'll make you a deal. I won't try to make you a bad woman. You stop trying to make me a good man. It's a country song, isn't it? You're not bad. You're just drawn that way. You're just no good. Mm. Is that bad? If I'm no good, I might as well take advantage uh, of it. Sorry, my wooden hip. Oh. No thanks. I don't think I'll so, brother. Well, maybe just a little. Mm. Does this mean that they... Mm. Because mm. they were gonna... And then they... Oh, oh, my back. Oh, oh, my back. Oh. Hi, Wormy. Did I leave you back at the Red Dog? Erica sent me after you. She says she shortchanged you. Shortchanged? By how much? Just this. Oh, thank. Ooh. Come on, honey, you're not the sheriff of the whole world. So you're doing my job. I'm not here to scream from Scott's memory. That's all your fault. Nothing we both did. Oh, my God. Tracy and Hepburn are on the range. Wow, this is great. You kind of got a Pony Express kind of Gypsy Express thing. Whoa, stand back, civilian. You may be interfering with this daring horseback rider of the Pony Express, carrying mail from the saddle out of love to the... Whoa, girl, saddle light of love. <laughs> Make whoa, haste, girl. man. Be gone. Off with you. Whoa, oh, Concord. Oh, 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 oh. 
There goes a brave fella and his brave horse. Oh, by the way, Joel, I'm sending you a very important message. Oh, okay. I just hope to God it gets to you in time. Uh, Servo, I'm standing right here. What is the point? The point is, Joel, just play along. Whoa, Gypsy! Watch out for that! Ow. So, uh, what did you write to me in that letter? Oh, that I wanted a peanut butter and Dijonese sandwich and a Snapple for lunch. Oh, here it is. Krill, you're a lot heavier than you appear to be. You, uh, Joel Robinstone? Uh, that's Joel Robinson, yes, and this is for me, I imagine. Okay, let's see here. Uh, dear Joel... Yeah, dear Dear Joel, how are you? I am fine. I want a something, something, and a Snapple for lunch. Yours very truly, Servo. Okay, I'm going to have to respond to this. Uh, uh, sandwich, Joel. It's very simple. Yeah, could you turn around? Let me just write this down. Okay, uh, dear Servo, uh, I am in receipt of your correspondence regarding lunch, and I regret to inform you that I cannot read the two words you wrote between I want a and a Snapple. Please respond at your convenience or before lunch. Regards. Joel. It's peanut butter and Dijonese sandwich. It's not that difficult. Oh, for crying. This is going to take forever. I'm okay. so hungry. Oh. <sighs> well, you know, those kids don't even know that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. <laughs> what could be taking them so long? Oh! oh look at that! Oh, I'm behind her! Sandwich. Uh, sir, you can't park here. Zeppelin cab. Big businessman to leave Oracle this week. Huh. Hey, how did I end up back here? Oh, poopy. Oh, no, we're back to June 1st. Pa, pa, Hop Sing's in trouble in town. Jack Ruby on piano. Hold it. That was lousy. You've got to get more leg into it. Mm. Why bother? We've got to be out of town by tomorrow night. Forget it. Go take a bath. You two, work up a quartet. All right, I'll go change into my leotard. Got to talk to you. Did you get the money? Yeah, yeah, every penny. Hand it over. Mm. What's the matter? I killed a guy and I wet him. No, no, I, I didn't have time to get rid of the body. Where is it? Ain't Miro and the Lady Marshal have it. They're bringing it into town. Kane and Rose? That's right. So crazy, it just might work. Kane and Rose. This fall on NBC, Kane and Rose. Oh, neat. Dark Spectre in basic black. Rose, I'd like to talk to you. That's yeah, about your yard, the junk cars, the garbage. Uh... Ah, just about to give myself a sponge bath. The doors don't open like that. There's a number. He's in the hall. <laughs> Crazy coming up here. In my hallway. Well, I'll just talk to you about it later. Oh, and to kill Giddings. I know that, honey. Where is your husband? Erica Page hit him out in the woods. He might get ticks or something. Erica's a busy girl. What with her volunteer work and everything. Mm. Just what is it that Kane has got to get the mayor? I don't know. The one story he's never told me. Now I wish he had. Well, one thing's sure, he's got to be back in town by Saturday to read that letter. Yeah, he's afraid of that, too. Afraid the town will dry up and blow out from under him. Like me. Erica Page is no welfare worker. Why she take him such an interest? Hey, Maybe she's the first woman with her own eyebrows. Land scheme. Legal, of course. Gideon does everything legal. Have they been involved with Canby Judd? I believe so. I know Mr. Judd is thinking of leaving Oracle. Hmm. Where is Erica hidden your husband? He's at the old Wilson place in Greasewood Canyon. Yeah. yeah. Could you go out and see him? Go well, first thing in the morning. Oh, I'd appreciate that. The sooner he knows you're looking after him, the better. Hey, a chocolate gorilla foot. Huh, what do you know? I'd go tonight, but there's, uh, there's something I've got to attend to first. Oh, thanks very much, Rose. I, I can't tell you how much this means to me. And to think we laughed at the notion of you wearing Scott Star. 
Ooh. The, hey, a no, simple handshake will do. I think she touched my handles. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the love shack. Mm, mm, oh, what time is it? Um, mm. You're getting careless. Yeah, sorry, I've been on the trail a long time. Not as careless as your little half-wit killer, Jake. I recognize your subtle touch. You don't miss much, do you? You want to watch yourself, though. Rose says there's been other similar incidents around here. I hate it when there's similar incidents. What was that for? So you admit being with her this afternoon? Sure, why not? Ooh, it's fun. I've made up my mind. I'm going to be an upholsterer. I want her dead tomorrow. I told you, no changes. No, get out of my hall. Maybe I won't need you at all. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. She's in my room now. Where do I go? Waiting an ambush? No, I'm wearing ambush. I don't think I have to do that. Are the girls ready to leave? You said Friday. This is only Tuesday night. Just a reminder. Hmm. Well, thank you. Now that I've been reminded, may I go on to the red door? May go to the Red Devil, as far as I'm concerned. With red buttons to watch Red Dwarf. Mm. Oh, and this town ain't big enough for the... Oh, you know the rest. Well, I feel good after damning someone to hell. I'm gonna rustle me up some Hormel chili. Say, Deputy, <laughs> you should have seen what I said to that Erica girl. Come in. Or out. Why is all your stuff in Are the hallway? Alone? Almost never, it looks like. I'm in this hallway here. Come on in. People think you're collecting for the poor. Away, I guess I am. Uh, it's a walkathon. Do you want to sponsor me? Sit down. Picture of yourself? Yeah, an old one. Uh, the reason I have my pants off is. It's um, rebel officer, isn't it? Captain Gideon Polk. No, oh, the Bible guy? His wife says you want to kill him. Oh, no. Kiss him. I've been looking for him since 1865. A hundred years. Oh. Because he lost us the war. Oh, Kane, don't be ridiculous. As far as I'm concerned, he did. He killed my four brothers. And my four fathers. What? Okay. Oh, he didn't murder them outright. He just fed them to the Yankees. With a choice of salad, soup, or juice. What happened? Like the man says, it's a long story. Oh. Do you have any sisters? I've got nothing to do. Are you familiar with the Battle of Lookout Mountain? <gasps> That's one of my favorite battles. That's what I learned in school. Oh, boy. Here we go. My brothers and I were in an artillery battery commanded by Captain Polk. Lookout Mountain was where we had the Yankees under siege. With Steven Seagal. They had to get us off those ridges, but they couldn't. But they did. But they couldn't. Our position was impregnable. You can't say that. Ooh. The only weak line was at the foot of the ridge. Sing out, brother. Polk's battery was in a beautiful position halfway down. Righteous. The Yankees charged. Grant ordered them to take only the trench at the foot Testify. of the ridge. Testify. We had them cold and we cut them down. But they masked again and came on over their own dead. Take it home. A shell exploded inside the body of a Yankee officer right in front of us. I had to ask. Polk saw it and ran. At the height of our victory, he ran. My brothers and a few of us stuck with the guns, but the fever caught and the whole center broke. Oof. It was the end of the battle and the men... The end of the war. I'm just hitting the highlights here. My brothers were killed. I was captured. Bummer. Live and learn. I don't quite understand. Who won? Very simple. If we hadn't lost Lookout Mountain, there would have been an armistice. Mm. The Confederacy would still be alive. And the Vikings would have finally captured a Super Bowl title. One man. One stinking coward. You're not buying this, are you? I'm sorry. Well, at least you had brothers. Except I was beginning to live it all over again. Mm. Don't apologize. I'm sorry. I know how you feel about it. Do you have any snacks or anything? But you're wrong. You're dead wrong. You can't blame the loss of a war on one low-ranking officer. I can't. You weren't there. That doesn't make any difference. Hmm. Don't you think the remembrance of this has made him pay for it over and over again? Hmm. A million men died for nothing. Only one wore a green beret. But as I said before, they all die sooner or later. When did he say that? And sooner and later, everyone runs. Especially Wilma Rudolph. Mm. Forget it. Well, our hour's almost up here. Did you want to schedule next week? 
to leave him alone? Sure. I'm not that mad. Easiest vendetta in the West. No, she's in my room again. What am I going to do? They're cops. Sorry, Rose. I'm getting a little jumpy. Which one's Beauregard? Here, detective? Uh, how about some crystal light? Just made a patch. You told me you were here. I just came to tell you you were safe. You mean King Mirror's gone? Well, no, he's not gone, but I gave him until Saturday to finish his business and ride. Hmm. Oh, so that's what Erica meant. Oh, they're stuck yeah. in a subplot. Yeah, she said he'd be gone after that railroad letter arrived. What's Erica got to do with Kane? She didn't say. But it can't be for a date for Sunday school. Hmm. I have to go over here and think about this. This one is deep. Everything seems to add up to Saturday. Railroad letter, Sam Bass, my ultimatum to Kane. The fishing opener. Now, Erica. Well, she's not careful. She's going to connive herself right into one of my cells. Careful, that's the main beam there. Oh, I just want to be sure you're comfortable. Have you got everything you need? Yeah, I could use a few troops of cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> I but don't now, get Josh it. And I'll have to do. I'll tell Felicity that you're here. Are you sure he can't find me here? He'd never find you in a million years. Well, apparently, oh. they haven't invented peripheral vision. Well, you goodbye, know. Rose. I'll see you on Saturday. Guests of Beverly Garland stay at the Beverly Garland Hotel. I like that sheriff. I do. Don't sleep in the subway. Oh, hi. Where did you just come from? If I wanted to kill Polk, I wouldn't be out here waiting to talk to you about it. Don't try and paint yourself white. I'm not. Don't try and paint yourself white. I'm not. I'm the same man that's wanted in three states and five territories, remember? Oh, and I'm not allowed in the sizzler. Tell me, am I, uh... Want it around here? Don't start. Not yet. <laughs> You've only got three more days, huh? So have I. What do you mean by that? Tell Sam Bascom to take over? Man, look what's coming out of your horse. Look, let's go Oof. back to town together. Huh? Oh. Welcome, Rice Lake Key Club, music by Tangent. See you around. Later, I have some special business. What kind of business? I told you before, it's private. But I tell you what, meet me just outside of town where the road forks, and I'll tell you all about it. That a promise? Make it uh, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Hi, can I hear this? Why not today? I'm busy. Tomorrow at 8. Uh, are you picking me up? What should I wear? Oh. Now, let's run to your horse. Hurry up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Quick, we have a minute to lose. Yeah. OK, give me a minute. I just woke up. Uh, so she followed him, and he followed her, and now she's following him, following her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it looks like the terror of Tiny Town, but bigger. Call the office and tell them to fax a pair of handcuffs to us. Wop, 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 wop. Careful, traffic from left does not stop. What you thinking about? Easy Snap Ranch, ready to assemble. On your horse, Mayor! What is it? Hey, Meryl. Oh, Hiya. poopy. <laughs> yeah, don't watch. I can't do it when you're watching. Come on, come on, let's go! I'm doing it! Come on, boss. What is that thing there? Oh, whatever it is, it wasn't invented yet. This Greasewood Canyon's real pretty. Mm. I was picturing a lot of grease and stuff. No grease at all, Clean. just like anywhere else. He was hiding out at Wall Drug. Oh, pretty nice, like the cedar. Oh, done a lot of work here. Added a sunroom back here. I can't wear black. Oh, what a mess. There's garbage everywhere. Need any help, boss? Dear Steve, stop by. You weren't here. Borrowed some pants and a blouse. Hope you don't mind. Keith. All right, Herman. Back to sleep. The uh, sheriff took me walkies today. Attica. Attica. Oh, forget What'd it. What'd he do? How's it going? Calling it leaves of grass. Well, it's not Windsor Castle, but if it'll keep a killer in... Keep a killer out. I could shoot you. Oh, I hope this isn't a conjugal visit. 
Ooh, this is better than Fantasweets. I'm going to take the cure. What, Rogaine? Man, this week has really dragged on. Oh, I just couldn't with a drunk looking right at us. Honey. Who's Rosie get back? I don't like it when she's awake. Don't worry, Merrifolk. I'll take care of you. Where are your cannons, Captain? Look far enough, mister. You get out of here. I'll get out of here when I'm ready. Look out, Captain. Yankees coming. Watch the... Oh! Oh. All right, I was just leaving. Ow. Ow. I like Wade. He's just not a dancer. Man, this movie is just sitting on my head and crushing it. Oh, right in my vast doughy midsection. <laughs> Not exactly the riot at Alcatraz. Whoa, watch the bumper pool table. Well? Whoa, there goes the facade. Oh, no. Yes. Well, now it's a hat made out of an udder. Mm -hmm. Wilton Parmeter! What happened here? He tried to kill me. I wouldn't spit on him. Joshua mm -hmm. saved my life. We will return to non sequitur All theater. Right, clear out. We'll worry about this later. I'll see you later. I'll think about it. Uh, we're still on for eight, though, aren't we? Good one, Brad. All right, Miss Rose. Next time, Joshua, if you have to use a gun. I didn't give him a chance to try anything. I'm not that kind of girl. I'm going over with the red dog. They're hiring dancers. Mm. You big galoot. Sally upstairs? Interesting. That's a switch. Mm. Well, I'm going to pay you girls off today so you can get an early start tomorrow. I sure hate to go. I hate to lose you. It's been so fun with you, you and everybody. Time finding three more girls. Poor Erica. Why don't you get out of those pants and find yourself a man? Woof. I'm wearing these pants because I lost a man. A better man than ever slipped you a dollar. Ouch. There's no law against tipping. Sundown tomorrow? You're leaving in the morning. I just want to make sure everything was clear. Well. Bye, girls. Bye. 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 What's she got against us anyway? She thinks you violated the sanitary code. That's my job. I could kill that woman. I Tessie, that's against the law. I still want to. Of course, this could be a coincidental accident. With dear Rose gone, you'd have no reason to leave town. She's paying them in television warranties. Girls, you've been so good for business, I'm going to give you a little going away bonus. Wampum bucks. Hey. Well, I'll see if I can borrow a dollar from Ed. Hello there. I thought you were Dale. Well, what are you doing up there? On the lookout for gorgeous marshals. <laughs> you scare me after death. Come on up. Don't be silly. You want to learn my business, don't you? You did your business up I there? I didn't come at all. I almost didn't expect you. But now that you're here, if you want to find out anything, you'll have to come up in this tree. Uh, I made a really cool fort up here. Twelve year old. I've spent that much time in prison. All right, little boy, I'll be up. <clears throat> Gee, you're not as small oh. as you look. Oh, you've made me feel young again. All right. Start talking. Look, you can see the Big Dipper. Hey, it's daytime. He's not talking about the stars. Oh, no. Look, come down from the stars. Okay. I want to know exactly what you're after here. Very little. Just this. Oh. Mm. 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 I know all about that. We had a class in fifth grade. Oh. I mean other things. What other things? Tasty freeze. Things about Oracle. Nice place. Heard they got a meatpacking plant there. They tried to kill Polk today. I love you. I'm glad you didn't get to. I'd have had to kill you. Now he's the sensitive cold-blooded killer. But you didn't. I love you. Hmm. I thought that's what you said. 
Glad you're here. So, how's this gonna affect his contract to kill her? I wonder. Hmm. Huh. Tastiest sheriff in the old west. I wish that. What? You were somebody else. I have to throw you out. I... Motel matches. I wish I didn't have to. No one's making you do anything. I won't change my mind. Well, maybe I will. No, 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 I won't. But I can make believe a little. Sure you can. We both can. Let's make believe I have talent. Did you tell anyone I heard you out of town by Saturday? Not a soul. No, I pretend I'm taking it all back. You stay here forever and I'll... Oh, forget it. You didn't tell anyone? Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Except Erica. Erica, last of all. You know, she's the last person I didn't tell. You're lying to me. I wouldn't lie to you. She knows. She told Polk. Uh, okay, I would lie to you. We're making believe, aren't we? That isn't why you lie. How does Erica fit into your plan? Oh, what is this? Come on, let's love. I don't know. Is she? Don't be a fool. Ouet Tam. What's that, baby? Means, uh, may I borrow your bicycle? Yeah. I can't trust you. I know you can't. I'd laugh at anyone that did. Ha uh ha. -huh. But I swear to you, I was telling God's truth when I said I loved you. Maybe it were game. Maybe it's a two-way thing. With the center passing lane. There's one thing I mustn't forget. Jello. And that's the worst sworn enemies, you and I. Mm. All the moonlight in heaven can't change that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, it's too late to create conflict. Mm -hmm. I can't. She is one spooky chick. <laughs> My enemies don't realize that I'm very vulnerable right now. What is the crew doing in this mm -hmm. shot? Oh, in this movie, you can just pick any object and hide behind it. <gasps> all right, one of these! Oh, it looks Ooh. like they've all been to Fleet Farm. What are you doing? This is for taking my lip liner. She's been attacked by babes in Toyland. Into the grunge look here. Oh, yes. You're going to watch us dance if it's the last thing you do. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I don't wear necklaces. This isn't funny. Clothes. Now! <laughs> if you ever come back to Oracle again, I'll kill all three of you. I'm just so upset right now. Oh. Oh, this bites. Let's go, Gretel. I told you it wouldn't work. Those are my idea, Cindy. My new shirt. <laughs> she didn't even cry when her husband died. Ow, ow! The British were coming! The British were coming! Little man, my man. And action! Matter, <laughs> the smart stunt you tried to pull last night. What are you talking about? You think you can get away with sticking your floozies on Rose? Well, I thought I might. How did you know about that? I saw the whole thing. They tried to hang her. Where? Three miles out, just off the main road. What were you doing there? That's none of your business. That woman's my target tomorrow. And you're my hired help. Everything you and she do in this town is my business. Don't flatter yourself. I'll see you in your room tonight. It's a hallway, and don't you forget it. What it is, little wormy guy. I never liked him. Mmm, pure maple well, syrup. tomorrow's a big day. Yeah, the hell are yeah. you? Big day. Uh. Oh, right in the crotch, it did it again. Oh! The man who shot Vivian Valens. <laughs> His hands are glowing. Mm. Booze, it's what's for dinner. The Purtis Marshal of the Old West. Why don't you do your drinking in your room, Kane? It's a Am hall. I disturbing the peace? I do disturb the peace sometimes, you know. I was thinking of you. Oh, don't be sorry, beautiful. 
Night's the last night for you and me. In the morning, we'll both be done. Go away. There better ways to say goodbye. Are there? Are you saying what I think you're Find saying? Find one that feels good. No? Ow! There I go again. Get out of here and leave me alone. I don't want to see you or touch you or, or ever remember that I knew you. Anything I ever meant in my life, I mean that. Except there was something I said a while back that I meant more than that. Oh. Hey, the angel of death stopping by for a drink. Oh, that's nice. Darren Zipper stuck again. Everything I need to know I learned from booze. Come out. Oh. Well, uh, right in the middle of dinner. Uh, okay, who wants to come into the hallway now? You're drunk. Come on in, Erica. You and I are on the same side. What are you talking about? We're humans. Come here. Um. Who cares what I'm talking about? I should keep you drunk all the time. I am. We are. Or something. Sneak. Sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh. Mm. You got brown eyes. Yeah, you, you got a neck. Mm. I come here to battle with you, and you start talking about the color of my eyes. You got uh, large pores in your nose. Oh, and a wood tip. Mm. Mm. You're a darn fool. That's what I am. I'm a loving fool. Loving fool. You taste like Annie Green Springs. And you'll never stop. Who wants to sober up? Bruce has knighted me king of the lovers. You're mean when you're sober. I'm not mean. I love everybody. And hey guys, I got a little theory to put oh, forth really? about how uh, he got around in the back of the yeah. building there and came around on the horse and... But, Tom, that doesn't explain how John Ireland could go into the attorney's office and suddenly appear on his horse on the street. Look, Joel, it's really just a broadened interpretation of quantum linear superposition, okay? Super huh? They simply observed the apparent relative state of a John Ireland in one place, while in actuality he coexisted in the objective vector state. You see? Uh, I have a theory. Uh, the town is a bunch of false fronts, and he ran over there real fast. All right, I'm with him. <laughs> Guys, why is it so hard to accept the fact that time is not an immutable forward progression? Progression, but a factor in a space-time model of relativistic causality and determinism. Huh? Guys? Hello? Geez, like a couple of cattle, these two. Okay. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to demonstrate, okay? Watch me closely. Ellie. Oop. Hey, wait, where'd he go? I don't know. He I'm over got... here, guys. No! <laughs> I, I hate when you do that. But, Servo, well, that's fantastic. That's amazing. It's physics, Joel, plain and simple. You just exist in one observable region in phase space, and then, zip, you simply realign your point of origin. You see? He does this to me at night. Scared the hell out of me. It's easy, guys. A trained chimp could do it. Come on, Joel, try it. It's fun. Okay, I'm uh -huh. going to excite myself in mm -hmm. a position of undetermined oh, origin and region. And Zuck! Nope, 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 uh, nope, nope, nope. It didn't really work. Well, I'm not doing it. Doing it makes you chubby and stupid like Tom. Whoosh, say it to my oh, face, no. The The Joel help me. Hey, I know I can also hey. warp space and time oh, this way. What? Oh, I don't think that. But that still doesn't explain how John Ireland is able to go into the attorney's office and end up on his horse on the... St what? The... <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> hey, my sandwich is whole again. Yep. Cool. Yeah. We'll be right back. No, 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 no. They'll be right back. We'll be right here. Honey, don't. I mean that Whoa. Of course <laughs> I mean it. I said it, didn't I? And to think I was worried about poor little Rose. Magnuson puts her into the boards. Sorry. I have to tell you this. I'm Pop Staples. There's been a change in plans. I'm going blonde. With the mayor locked up in jail, we'll have to get the letter from the express writer before he gets to town. Do you understand? You got brown eyes. I understand. Uh. Then I'll meet you at Immigrant Gap at 6.30. Yeah, uh, uh, six immigrants at the Gap. Got it. Immigrant Gap, 6.30. Booze, write that down. 
Oh, look, a sale at Hurrah. Mm. It's Buddy Love. Oh. Well, better do next week's schedule. Lying like that again about how you love me. I, I, I love you. I, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, but I'm going to use Kane Merrill to do it. Hmm? All I have to do is pay him, and he'll follow you to the end of the world. You won't do that. Mrs. Lady, don't, no. You're a deadly man. Get out before I kill you, man. Okay, what time do you want me in tomorrow? This is like Silverado, only better. Yeah, a lot better. Oh, <laughs> I, I hate my boss so bad. Huh? Oh, sail it, hurrah. Oh. Don't know I'm the comic relief, don't shoot! My first thing in here like that. You better go after Kane Miro. Kane? What for? He's gonna shoot you. Over my dead body. How do you know that? Erica Page hired him to do it. I seen her pay him $3,000 to kill you if the railroad don't come through Oracle. The railroad? They're just waiting for you to read that later, Mayor. I better go after him. No, no, you can't. Can't arrest a man on Jake's hearsay. You better do it. We emphatically agree. We just have to wait until he does something. But then it may be too late. So Eric is paid him. She's well. probably behind Scott's killing, too. Sure she is. And she's in love with Kane Miro and him with her, too. Hey, can I hit you, Wormy, just once? Oh, Jake. You gonna let him be? Speaking words of wisdom? Yeah, that's right. Good night, little man. Don't call me that! Eric calls me that. Ooh. I don't like it! Touched a nerve. I don't like it! Well, you are kind of little. You're making a big mistake, Rose. Stay in school. You ought to move in tonight. On what evidence? Jake's testimony? Any cheap lawyer would prove him mentally incompetent in three minutes. Hey, they haven't invented that yet. Hmm. No, we... We just have to wait it out. Huh. Why am I such a misfit? Even, Jake. <gasps> I'm a pixie! Don't say hi. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud, he's upset. Little! What's got into you, little honey? There. See? Hey! Did it, did it again. Oh, so they're just incorporating the fact that they're just false fronts. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! He's everywhere. <laughs> little honey, did I say something? I don't think Little Man is cut out for a rampage. Oh, right in the Little Man! Ow! Owie! Ow! Now, what were you so mad about? <laughs> Should I taunt him? Nah, he's dead. Oh, oh, hi, <laughs> just cleaning up down here. Look what I found. <laughs> Does he belong to you? Hmm. Oh, good, you killed little man. Am I in time for happy hour? I could really go for some mozzarella sticks. Oh, uh, you're standing on his head, dear. Yeah. How did it happen? Jake tried to kill him. It was self-defense. And thus, the first L.A. cop was born. All right. You might call it that. Hmm. Huh. She's quiet today. Oh, goodness, yes. I always come here on Saturday because they have that really nice breakfast burrito. You know, they take eggs. What and... time is it? Still 7.15, like the last time you asked me. Take it easy, Gideon. Did you see Kane Miro this morning? Not yet. You're hard to talk to. You feel up to meeting the mail at eight? No, but thanks for asking. My duty. I failed it once. I won't again. No, you probably will, but let's go. 
Wait until he gets here. No sense muffing this with a miss at long range. You didn't pay for this. It's your turn. Hey, shot. she got her horse reupholstered. Hi, folks. Agar. Brings you way out here so early. Have you got the railroad letter? Right here, safe and sound. It's nice it's to chill. know. Hand it over. You got to sign for it. There's postage due on that letter, ma'am. Yeah, which one of you gets the star log? Now get out of here. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, there's a switch. Someone's shooting a postal worker. <laughs> uh, Mom wants to stay with us. Uh, see for yourself. Not coming. Hmm. Yeah, but Peg sends her regards. She's going to build a line through Rockdale. Shame. Is that all you can say? The darn shame. That's better. Are you ready to help me knock over the town? I've got two bullets. One for Rose and... One for Captain Polk. Hey, she's littering. There's a fine for that. Nine o'clock. Never been this late before. Something's happened to him. I better ride out and meet him. Oh, you gotta stay here. You go on, Rose. Get in and I can take care of ourselves. Speak for yourself, honey. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <clears throat> oh, Oklahoma. Where the way? Oh, forget it. Move away, folks. Might be some shooting around here. Nobody on the street except Fred, Mayor Polk, and me. Well, that's pretty much the whole town, pretty much. Ow, 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 ow. Lucas McCain, he's got... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Tell Sergeant O'Rourke it's the Hakawis. Well, look, they have a photo mat over there. Yeah, and it's saying, oh, no. Army man. Joshua. Light show. Looks like he means to hold us up. You'll have to get him. You'll have to pay for it. I gave you 3000 to take care of the law and Oracle. He's part of it. Oh, so you did. I should have listened to the fine prints. Take the other side of the road. Let's fire him up. Yes, ma'am. They've shot Joshua. They didn't shoot the sheriff, but Tell they did the shoot the deputy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I haven't got a gun to protect myself with. I'm losing power, Captain. I'll find you one. And put on another pair of pants, for God's sakes. Where are you going? After something to shoot with. You better stay here. That won't do you any good. Gideon asked for a gun, and I aim to find one for him. But there's a 10-day waiting period. I'm afraid it's too late. Hey, could you tell us where the Red Dog Red Saloon is? She rode out of town. What's the matter? Thought I saw an old friend. Oops, gotta pee. You haven't got time for the mayor. I waited 15 years. This is as good a time as any to settle it. He's after you. Hmm? Get out of sight. Oh, guess he's not the hero anymore. Mm. Felicity. There's a beef roast in the... Uh, Yes, oh, where? Just get yourself away from here. Retired of Florida. You don't have to be brave. Just for some no-count killer. Got you out to school, Marm. Sorry. You're supposed to get me a gun. Oh, great. What's next? Uh oh Draw. I mean, wait a sec. Uh, could we maybe settle this with a game of Scrabble? <laughs> uh, oh. American Gothic, solo. The chores! The hell? I'm sorry, you look too stupid. I can't shoot you. <laughs> so bad idea. Fork thing didn't work. Well. Oh, hi, honey. Gee, I've had a very productive day. All right, you've taken care of your personal pleasures. Rose will be here any minute. It's your show. Hi. Glad to the alley by your hotel and wait. I'll be in the land office across the street. Who's this guy? You drive these bodies up to the street by the alley. When Rose gets here, keep her talking. If you give us away, I'll kill you. Anything you say. Get moving. Plan fast. I always have. I'll signal you when to take her. You seem really crabby today. 
tow, you leave town and your work piles up. I don't like being the sheriff anymore. Should be two L's. Yeah, one's okay. Oh, hi, everyone's dead. Got the mayor and his wife, too. Killers rode out of town. Nooner, come on. No, not now. Did you see who they were? No, I didn't get a good look. Nooner, you know. No, what, what do you mean? Are you sure it wasn't Kane Mayor on Erica? Oh, I'm positive it was. No, come on. No time. Guess there's no Nooner then. That's why I couldn't talk. Who am I after? Kane Miro. Thanks. Remind me to kill you later. <laughs> Robbie! Steve! Dodie! Uncle Charlie! <laughs> hey, there's cheap tracks on that yeah, camera. I thought so. <laughs> This film makes Dirty Dingus McGee look like a John Ford film. <laughs> the 12 days of the Baja 500. Are they circling each other? I think so. Wait, what? No, now he's in Ireland. What's going on? From Vermont to New Mexico. <laughs> Power assisted anti lock hoops. Well, I'll just follow these jeep tracks. <laughs> Guys, that's a baobab tree. Now they're in the Serengeti. Man, I wish there was a pump and lunch around here. Tonight, on a very special Guns of Will Sonnet. Son? Okay, name it. <laughs> I like all the horses so affected by the gunfire. <laughs> nice day for shooting rabbit. Actually, it's better when it's a little overcast. Got any way to talk to an old friend? Don't be a fool, Kane. I'm on here to kill you. I wouldn't do that to you. I know you've been missing on purpose, but it won't do you any good. You know, they should start dating other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or shooting them. You haven't been doing so well yourself. I think maybe they should read, you just don't understand. You know, back in those days when you had relationship problems, you really had relationship problems. That hurts. Rose? Yes? In case I don't see you again, there's something I'd like to ask you. What is it? Do you? What's Fred McMurray like? Is it a two-way thing? Oh, he just popped that out of his shoulder. Hmm? It's a two-way thing. Oh, I guess it's kind of one way now. Oh. This is kind of like Ride the High Country, except it's not very good. You shoot like a girl. Hey, you don't have eight or nine pints of plasma on you, do you? Rose! Come on, pick up. I know you're there. Oh, right in the hat. Oh, now I'm gonna have to make new friends. She'll have to start a new town now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did you mean by that two-way thing? God, the paperwork. Huh. Well, now she's the sheriff of herself. Yeah. Well, at least the horses are cheap now. Yeah. You found him. Well, we canceled crazy days. Yeah. Here. Look, before we say anything else, are you setting me up here? by the twisted tree near Boot Hill. Oh, I love that place. Freddie, I'm leaving Oracle. I never want to see this place again. 
Well, Marshall gets here. Give him this. We don't need a Marshall. There's no people. My things are packed. They're in the Marshal's office. Give him all my bras, too. Is that a pay for me? I'm glad to, Mrs. Hood. By the way, who are you? And don't set up the new Marshall. Well, goodbye, everybody. We're all dead. Oh, that's right. Hi, I'm here to kill you. Excuse me, ma'am. My name is Sam Bass. Can you tell me where I might find the marshal's office? Right down there. Third body on the ma left. Like a nice, quiet little town you've got here. Dead quiet. Yeah. yeah Except for all the bodies. <laughs> all that glitters is gold. Hey, lady, you forgot to tell me where the... Oh, my God! Ah! <laughs> oh, my. oh, boy, that was a turd, wasn't it? You know, Roger Corman can make almost anything seem dismal, but still the 1870s had to be a pretty foul decade, eh? Well, I barely remember the 1870s, but I was around for the 1970s, and you're right, it was a pretty foul decade. Cool, Did you wear chaps and cowboy hats and stuff? Uh, no, but I knew people who did. Were the James Gang still around? Oh, no, uh, Joe Waltz broke up and started Barnstorm. Oh, hey, did you ever rope cattle or bust broncos and stuff? No, but I rolled my charger a few times. Wow. Well, uh, let's read some letters, huh? Where are they? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, they're down there. Oh. Yep. Fresh, crispy letters. Mm -hmm. Hey, they are fresh and crispy. Ew. Yeah, yeah, we uh, deep fried them. Why? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question, Joel. Oh, never mind. Let's just uh, blot off some of this grease, mm. uh, break off some of this admittedly uh, delicious looking crust. Ooh, caution, filling is hot. Yep. <laughs> Careful. Okay. And uh, about how many weeks worth of uh, letters did you fry anyway? Well, like four mailbags full, whatever that is. Yep. We had a lot of frying medium and a yep. lot of letters. Well, honeys, <laughs> don't deep fry any more letters, okay? Uh, okay. okay. Okay, this letter's from France. Ooh, this is French. Oh la la. And uh, put knee. that on still store. It's French. And uh, French. The, that's from Mike, Murph, Amy, Dan, Nancy, Jeff, and Marie. And they write, dear fellows, our club is made up of members from Nice, Monaco, and Menton. And we meet regularly to scarf down Mexican food and watch the latest tent tape sent over by our supplier in Southern California. Wink, wink. <clears throat> so far, our club is exclusively American as the British folks we've tried to recruit just haven't gotten overly excited. But hey, what can you expect from the people who gave us Benny Hill? Hey, they gave us Monty Python too. Yeah. yeah. But there is that Benny Hill thing. Yep. There it sits. Oh, uh, what do you think, sirs? Don't. Oh. Wow, it worked! I blew Frank's head up. Well, remind me to snap on a new one, Joel. Until next time. Oh.